opened by fire in the name of Jesus. Does that to move me forward? Open by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You say every power questioning my breakthrough. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Now with violence and anger, pray this third one. Every agreement against me, at witchcraft covers, can you shout this loud and clear? Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Scatter the evil agreement. Basenta, Likapola Kaya Boko Shendera Basanta. Scatter the evil agreement. In Jesus' name we pray. My days of greatness. Shout this loud. Assigned to bury my destiny.
beginning. Can your voice be loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. Open your mouth, open your mouth. I know that, I know that. That's why you are here. He didn't hear that you are me. Basente Katela Kaya Boshenta Raba. Ribo Soponda Kaya Boshenta. Mopia Laka. The Ribo Kosoponda. Continue, continue, continue. Don't be tired. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, call Jesu. Like Badura. We're making progress. And tell you, Ajo. Those of you at the altar here, at my front here, your head, which is the symbol of your destiny, begin to shake that head now. Shake it vigorously. As you shake it, the arrows of discouragement, the arrows of death and hell, will begin to go back to the senders. Shake it. Amen. Basanda Katela Bakayaba. Ribo Sopala Kayaba Shentera Baraba. Yes. Yes. Beginning from tonight. All the doors that the enemies have closed against you. I command them to open now. Let them be open. 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 Whatever distance I've been stolen from your life by the enemy, recover it now. Recover it. Recover it. Recover it. Recover. 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 Recover it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Cover your children at the altar with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We go back to your seat now. Rejoicing. Declaring that I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. Maseka pota likare bosanda yaba. Makanda rabosanta. Aha. Every wind. Bogwa fefe of satanic storm. Ti Jesusani fired against me. Do you want to see me? Can I hear you shouting this? Can your voice be louder than that? Backfire! In the name of Jesus! Something is happening here! Aha, aha, aha. 
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Three powers to confront. Before we leave this place. One. Is the power of the emptiers. Work hard. Put in effort. The thing is gathering itself together. All of a sudden, something comes and pour everything that you have worked hard for away. Power on the empty. With more aggression, but to battle the second spirit. Power of the wasters. I got a finish of Continue, continue, continue. That's why you today is today. Oh, no, no, no. Enough is enough. Jesus name we pray. This is number three. As we are praying this number three. If you are in this meeting. And you can remember clearly, very clearly. That somebody issued a curse on you. That it will not be well for you. And you can see the outworking of that curse. Maybe it's your stepmother. Or even your own parents. Find a way quickly to this altar. And be on your knees. And pray like a man or woman from another world. It is dangerous to keep quiet. It is dangerous not to pray with fire and with power. You will shout this louder than anyone here. Power of failure. Then we pray. Father, I'm praying for these children at the altar. Those of you at the altar here. This sevenfold, amen. I want you to shout. When you shout the seventh one, it is likely you may not be able to remain kneeling. You may fall. Because 
the personality sponsoring curses in your life we jump out when you shout the seventh prayer when you shout amen to the seventh one every curse of failure every curse of retrogression every curse of lack of prosperity you should against anyone at the altar here by the power in the blood of Jesus by the power that establishes the heavens and the earth let them break now in the name of Jesus. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Aha. Basati ali katenda ya boshende laba. And I coming out. Thank you, Jesus. We show Jesus. We go back to your sister rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. 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 That's right. Yes. The satanic handcuff that put on your two hands that is binding your prosperity look at what is happening fire is burning in those two hands now that's right thank you Jesus 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 Operation of the night. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Then we 
to pray. There are three prayers to pray just now. Before we now go into the three prayer proper. I don't know who these prayers are for. But I want to recommend. That let no man's voice be louder than yours. Say power sir. Speaking to evil altars. Sir. Because of me. Can I hear the sister shouting it? Your voice is not loud enough, sisters. Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Makatera kaya bo shendera bo sente. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, oh God, arise. Connect me to opportunities that will change my story. In the name of Jesus. Connect me to opportunities that will change my story. In Jesus' name we pray. Shout this loud, say, shrines of darkness, firing arrows at me. Shout this loud, scatter in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray and all eyes closed these are periods of serious praying the kind of prayer that goes right down into the deep the kind of prayers you should not joke with the kind of prayers that many people's destiny have been waiting for To pray this first prayer. If you are in this meeting and you notice all is not well with your head, it's either migraine or headache or forgetfulness, find a way to this altar and pray the way you have never prayed before. Everybody will shout this with holy anger. It is important to get angry in your spirit. Every evil tree grow in my body. Die in the name of Jesus. Begin to say it. 
Stand for yourself now. In Jesus' name we pray. Any tree the Father has not planted in my life. Duh! In the name of Jesus. Pull your mouth, pull your mouth, pull your mouth. Something is happening. In Jesus' name we pray. Power, son. Mocking God in my life. Jesus. Oh, put your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Open your mouth. name we pray. Ten persons are here. The blessings that should move your life forward is being hidden under a rock by the powers of the wicked elders. Because of the prayer you have just prayed now, the thunder of God has broken that rock to pieces. Yes. Strong man. Planting evil in my land. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Continue, continue. Don't negotiate and don't keep quiet. Student here, don't let anybody's voice be louder than yours in this prayer. Power, sir. Working hard to take my glory. Can I hear everybody shouting it loud? Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. a woman here. I have a strange word to you from the Lord. The Lord said, I have released my fire that cannot be quenched 
on the head of the wicked elders that are rejoicing over your tears. Thank you, Jesus. Fire from above. Consume every evil tree in my family. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through. Yes. In Jesus, then we pray. With this word of prophecy, as someone that is specific for. You may not be able to stand on your feet. The Lord said, the wisdom of the wicked assigned to make you useless to your generation has been damaged now. Just Amen. Yes. That's the first person. That's the second person. That's the third person. There are three people on the gallery over there. Just that's the power of God falling upon you. Silence. Don't say anything now. The tree of promise and failing. Get and lose. Be silent, beloved. The tree of promise and fail. Get and lose. Be uprooted now. Be uprooted. 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 In the name of Jesus. Shout this with holy anger. Blood drinking demons. Jesus. Jesus. Level, I want you to be more aggressive. Got military angels dressed in military attires are just moving to the midst. There are people here. You are suffering from polygamous brain exchange. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that joke is broken. Shout 
about this now with holy anger. Hammer of the wicked. Them we pray. Shout this with boiling anger. Any sacrifice offered to cage my life. Lose your power in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray it. Command them to lose their power. Jesus name we pray my destiny and your mommy jump out of the cage of the wicked elders for go my destiny and your mommy jump out of the cage of the wicked elders in the name of Jesus open your mouth and begin to ask you to jump out of the cage of the wicked elders Jesus in Jesus name we pray so every covenant installed against my progress break in the name of Jesus yes the covenant, break it. For my gem, no. Then we pray. Lord, you Sisters who are here tonight, make sure you pray this prayer with boiling anger. Sister, say garment of reproach. Garment of shame. I show it to you. Can I hear the sister shouting those two things? Is that the Lord that sisters can shout this? Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Catch fire! In the name of Jesus! Burn them to ashes! Jesus. 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 
Now's the power of God, now's the power of God, now's the power of God is going to your body. In Jesus' name we pray. Double your anger as you pray this particular prayer. Pass! Insulting God in my life. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus. That's the power of God. That's the power of God again. Jesus. Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, call Jesus, La Badura. Amy Daniel Olukoya is escape totally from the grip of any embargo. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and set yourself free from the grip of any embargo. In Jesus' name we pray. Somebody has just prayed that prayer. Your father. Your father. Your was deep into the occult and has completely captured the virtues of all the children but as a result of the prayer you just pray now your own virtue has been released unto you can you shout this again loud and clear power of ancient idols Speaking against my destiny. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. The power of ancient idols. Open your mouth and decree. Yes, yes. Ben, ben. This must not be a night for negotiation. In Jesus' name we pray. That prayer you just prayed. Within the next 24 hours, the kind of wealth that has never come into your hands has been released unto you now. Can you shout this again loud and clear? Please don't joke with this. Every prison. Every prison. Fashioned against me. In the land of the living. In the land of the, living. In the, land of the dead. Can I hear you shouting that?
Uh, somebody, you are a pastor, you are not praying. You better pray this prayer. Can you shout it again? Scatter! In the name of Jesus! Scatter the prison! Bakatenda kaya bo shendera bo kopola ba. Opu yama, opu yama, opu yama, opu yama. Aha, 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 aha. Yes. name we pray please I want you to pray this next prayer with wicked violence don't say it doesn't concern me that's why the psalmist prayed very wicked prayers said let their ways be dark and slippery okay let the angels of God pursue them day and night. They are not gentleman's prayers at all. And when you face a Goliath, that's the only kind of prayer to pray. And when you face a Goliath, that's the only kind of prayer to pray. 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 That's the Kill you and feed the birds with your flesh. It's not the kind kind of prayer you pray against us once. Assigned to drink my blood in the dream. Jesus. Oh yes, Daddy. Open that mouth. Don't be afraid. Basse katenda kaya bo shende raba. Riba sapo. Likatenda ke. Likatenda ke ya bo shanda. Yes, be released. 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 That is good. Oda. Say hands of the wicked. Owo awon eka holding my glory. To gba ogo mi mu holding my shining. To gba titan mi mu Can I hear you shouting that with anger? E ti gbere pelu ibinu. Is that the loudest you can shout it? Shall you keep it very loud? Is that the loudest you can see shout it? Shall you go so many? Be roasted, Jonah, in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus.
Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. Like the angels are so busy in the mist. I want to tell you, I want to share Going from person to person. On the Lord, I don't know what to do. Altars of my father's house. Slowing down my speed. Don't fire at your missing. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Lord, who called Jesus. Yes. Daddy. Jesus. 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 Something is up over there. Aha. 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 Jesus name we pray. Lord who called Jesus like Badura. Last sister. Arabian. They have placed your menstrual pad on an altar. What in more shall go should it won't be so pepper and therefore stolen your menstruation. If I see that one G right there where you are the power of God is coming upon you and that yoke is broken they came to prophet Elijah they said man of God you are on the top but come down they wanted to insult God in the life of Elijah. Can you shout this loud and clear? Pause! Insulting God in my life. Destroy yourself! In the Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A machine gun prayer is a prayer that picks a point. You are emphasizing it. Emphasizing it. Emphasizing it. Like the cry of black Bartimaeus. All he was saying, Lord. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. So it was, it was a machine gun prayer he was praying. Can you shout this loud and clear? Power, son! Giving me the name God did not give to me. Is that the loudest you can shout it? Jesus.
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer, if you are in this meeting, you come from a family where a sickness has formed a pattern. Find a way to the altar. Everybody in the family is having a sickness. Find your way to this altar. Pray with fire and with power. Don't negotiate. Power, sir. Assigned to destroy my job. In the name of Jesus. Carry your load in this prayer to machine gun prayer. Carry your load. Once, once you say it once, it's carry your load that you should be saved. Powers! Transferring their problems into my life. Carry your load! In the name of Jesus. Carry your load. Carry your load. Jesus. Then we pray. Voices from the grave calling my name. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Father, let your power fall upon this hand. 
Let this hand become the hands of healing, deliverance, and power. Let it become a yoke-breaking hand. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you have any infirmity in your body, smite it 21 times and shout blood of Jesus. Let's go. Continue. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Check your body now. Begin to do what you could not do before. Put your faith into action. Thank you, Jesus. Begin to announce to you that it is time for you to change position to where God wants you to change. It's time for you for God to push you to a place where people will now begin to envy you. It is more glorious to be envied than to be pitied. Oh, It is more glorious to be envied than to be pitied. And that will be your story in the name of Jesus. In 1 Samuel chapter 2, verse 8, connecting to the God of turnaround. It is important you listen to this message carefully. First Samuel 2 8. Samuel Kini Orikeji Are we there? First Samuel chapter 2, verse 8. Samuel Kini Orikeji Are we there now? Let's read together. Let's go. He raised up the poor out of the dust. And then he lifted up the beggar from the dungeon to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. Keep that scripture at the back of your mind. God raises from one extreme to the other. From the from the poor, he lifted up from the dust and made him a prince. And the same thing with the beggar. Back on up, the dungeon to the throne. In Psalm 75 now. Psalm 75. Psalm 75. Psalm 75. Verse. Six. For promotion cometh. Neither from the east. Nor from the west. Nor from the south. But God is the judge. He put it down one. And set it up another. He put it down one. And set it up another. Anything that must be put down for you to rise, the Lord shall put them down in the name of Jesus. Listen to these seven important statements. Listen very carefully to these seven very important statements. The change that will move your life forward is not a plastic change, but a change from the inside. The change that will move your life forward is not a plastic change, but a change. From the inside. 
Many of what we need most is an internal deliverance. That chain that will move your life forward is not plastic. But it's a change from the inside. That is statement number one. Statement number two is this. You can turn your life around. You can turn it around. God has given you some level of capacity. And the choice now belongs to you. Statement number three is this. When you get to the top, then you will become a topic and that will be a lot in the name of Jesus statement number 4 that you need to note very well any man of any man or woman who is comfortable in Egypt will not get to the promised land statement number 5 is that you can move from negativity to positivity. You can. And that's why Jesus has redeemed us with his blood. You can. Statement number six is this. The Bible is a book of turn around. The Bible is a book of turnaround. around. In fact, you can simply call the Bible a turnaround book. Statement number seven. The Almighty God is a God of turnaround. around. And I pray that you will connect to that God tonight here in the name of Jesus. The Bible is full of turnaround stories. When you begin to look at it from Genesis, and you begin to look at the men and women that are detailed therein, the first thing you notice about those men is that they got into plenty of trouble. But as they were getting out of the trouble, the Almighty was bringing them out. The Bible is full of positive turnaround stories. That's why you can simply call it a turnaround book. It lifted the beggar out of the dunghill and set him amongst bridges. It lifted the poor out of the dust transferred him among princes. It complete Turnaround. A complete turnaround. There are people sitting here tonight. If the word that God is bringing to your hand, you just conserved it. You just conserved it. The one you've gotten so far, not even an additional. They will be one of the richest people around. There are people here tonight. That if this message can be clear in the spirit man. And they could pray like a wounded lion. They will move from where they are to the level where there will be a blessing to their generations. Abraham's story was the story of a turnaround. Abraham was an unknown idol worshipper in the oil of Chaldees. Abraham this unknown idol worshipper now underwent a turnaround and he became a worshipper of the true God. Abraham 
So those who knew Abraham before, now seeing him now, now they wondered. Say, when you the one that you know, said, "Ah, were you the one?" They say, "Well, no, Nisha." That was doing this before. Did you ever tell it? Were you the one? Say, "Well, Nisha." That was doing that before. Did you ever tell it? Were you the one? Say, "Well, Nisha." That was doing that before. Did you ever tell it? A complete turnaround that happened. Are you part of people or did you tell it? David, David. The Bible did not even bother. To tell us who the mother of David was. Maybe the mother was even a girlfriend. The father did not consider him as one of the children. When he said, Bring forth your children here, David was not chosen to come. If David at at in his own city wanted to become a governor or something. He went for an election. His own father would not have voted for him. Because he didn't even bother to bring him out. He just brought the other ones. And one the prophet said, "No, not this one." So at least all your children. Yeah, yeah. Uh, is the one in that place looking after the sheep and this ignored shepherd boy whose father would not have voted for if he went for election now became a deliverer king a turnaround a turnaround a turn around. Perhaps you are here tonight. And the enemy has been telling you at this this level you are now. As how you are going to die. There's no one worry your brain. Just begin to just be yeah, yeah, just no, don't nothing nothing good can happen again. I have another message for you. That that enemy is a liar. In the name of Jesus. There was this terrible ham robber. Police were afraid of him. Everywhere you went in those days, it's not in Nigeria here. You see, wanted, wanted, wanted. These posters are all over the street. They're looking for him. They wanted dead or alive. Whether you kill him or you bring him, they will give you. A price. He was a terrible robber. So terrible that if he can, he can shoot with his two hands, left and right, straight. That's why police were afraid of him. But one day after a robbery operation, somebody threw a small truck into his car. He looked at it. Let it be. When he got up at night, he took it home. He read it. And for the first time in his life, he knelt down and cried. He cried to God. And the next morning, he packed his guns in a bag. Went to the first police station. When he got to the front of the police station, and he said, I am so so and so. so see, I mean, like, the police ran, and all of them disappeared. He said, I'm not here to kill today. I'm, oh. I'm here to surrender myself. You can be the worst crook. But if you surrender to Jesus, you can still turn your life around. Paul was a persecutor of Christians. Actually, killing the Christians. Now, the same person wrote 13 epistles and became a church planter. So, you can see for yourself that these are just few examples. You can see for yourself that. The Bible is a turnaround book and God is a God of the turnaround. That God of Abraham, that God of Paul, that God of Moses is your God. 
and he can take your life and turn it around. Unfortunately, our Christianity has moved so far away from what God recommended. Many people don't actually understand that when you accept Jesus, it's a complete transformation. The ministry of Jesus was a turnaround ministry. His first miracle was to turn water to wine. A turnaround thing. In Luke chapter 4, Luke Rikari was 18. Luke chapter 4, Luke Rikari was 18. God can bring something out of nothing. It can bring oil from flinty stone. It can bring water from stones. Luke chapter 14, verse 18. Luke 4 18. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. Luke Jesus reading the scripture. So the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted. To preach deliverance to the captives. And recovery of signs to the blind. To set at liberty them that are bruised. And to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. You can call this one the manifesto of the gospel. These words are probably the most powerful turnaround verses in scripture. It is true that you might have been born in a manger, but you don't have to die in the manger. You do not have to sit where you are sitting and suffer in silence. Oh, no, remember those lepers say we do not wear say we must do something and they moved as they moved God moved what are the keys to make you connect to the God of Tonara there are seven keys which I want to discuss very briefly before we now start praying turn around prayers. Glory be to the name of Jesus. The step number one for you to connect to the God of turn around is to make God your friend. Make God your friend. Your friend. Ba Olorun Dore. Get born again. Di Atobi. Change your kingdom. That's what it means. Ye job at all. I know Pada Bo Pada. On Totimo Sini. He says, My friends, ye are. If you do what I've commanded you. Or I mean yeah, he shall be a bash on to palace for you. Make God your friend. Ba Olorun Dore. You may say this is strange, saying make God your friend in the church. But plenty of church goers actually are waging war against the Almighty. Anytime you say, well, it's my leg, I can do what I want to do with it. It's my leg. I can go where I want to with it. I can go to where I want to with it. It's my hands. I can use that what I want. It's oh, my, my hands. hands. But it was his hands that were nailed. It was his legs that was nailed, not yours. So you have to make him your friend. You have to ensure that your salvation is thorough and complete it is a sad testimony of our day that many people who come to church are not born again 
that are bishops that are not born again. I want bishop Umberti one that to be. The general of assessors are not born again. I want labor to be John Umberti one that to be. Plenty of pastors who are not born again. I want local leadership to know what one that to be. Plenty of church members who are not born again. I want local one more to know what one that to be. Make God your friend. Because God is not under any obligation to bless a rebellious child. That is the key number one. Key number two is genuine repentance. Genuine repentance. Every genuine turnaround starts with repentance. Repentance means a, is a change of heart. The first process that God uses to turn around somebody's life is repentance. And when we say repentance, don't think about repentance in terms of sin and in terms of morals alone. Repentance goes beyond sin. It means to change your mind. Many times, people who claim that they have repented have only regretted. They are not repenting they, they regret that they have been caught most people say i'm sorry i'm sorry this, it's not repentance when there is true repentance you will be aware of what is wrong you will have godly sorrow and regret that you will accept personal responsibility for what you did wrong that's true repentance in true repentance you are aware of what you've done wrong in true repentance you have godly sorrow and you regret it in true repentance you accept personal responsibility you don't blame people it's easier to blame others than to blame yourself we must get out of the blame game anybody who is still blaming somebody has not repented a lot of what is causing sicknesses and illness amongst us we caused it by ourselves when you are supposed, not supposed to eat something you are eating it you are not supposed to do something you are doing it then the sickness comes you start praying you need to accept responsibility for what you are doing wrong if you don't accept responsibility that this thing that I'm doing is bad I will not do it again then you have not repented you can see the quantity fingers you caused it you are the one that caused it you are the one that caused it I told you I was not interested I was not ready for repentance so true repentance will be aware of what is wrong it will have godly sorrow and regret it will accept personal responsibility now it will undergo a change of mind then it will determine not to repeat it if you want to really repent one good way to this is you take a bible write it down I used to get angry I do this I do that by taking a pen and writing it you are accepting responsibility writing them down is an acknowledgement that acknowledgement that something is wrong it is sad that people sometimes are even not 
true with themselves, they are dishonest with themselves, even, even in secret. The problem with lack of repentance is that it weakens your spiritual life. I don't know whether you have ever watched any documentary program on lions, how lions operate. Lions determine who to attack. Lions look for limping animals. They look for old animals. They try and avoid the strong ones because they could run, run, run and get themselves into trouble and they may not even catch the animal. The lion will always be the lion. Lack of repentance makes it. I need to know that your mukoro are from that latik bogutio. Unfortunately, we are the major architects of most of the attacks that we get. The boche ni la no kwe awagono lukuleche okolo kwa ibogutio nde ba. When you are fully repentant, you drop all the destructive habits. You drop all of them. You no, know, habit is a very serious thing. Habit is a constant companion. Your habit can be your greatest helper or your greatest burden. Your habit can drag you down to failure or can move you forward. Your habit is completely under your control. But if you don't control it, it will become a lion to swallow you. The habit is something you have to be firm with, very firm. The habit is a servant. But can also be a master. This kind of thing, we shake ourselves loose from it when we repent. That is the second step to connect to the God of turnaround. The third step is to disconnect from our old ways. Disconnect from your old way. You must renounce all your old ways so that you can embrace the new way. You renounce all those things you've been doing in the past. You renounce and cut off all those things of the past that are holding you down. You become ashamed of those things of the past. If you see somebody is saying, hmm, hey, hey, yeah, we are very lucky. When I was an unbeliever, I will have showed you pepper. You should even be ashamed to refer to that time when you are unbeliever. Disconnect from all those things that is in the past that has put you in bondage. You say, I'm born again, I'm a child of God. You don't, you shouldn't have complimentary cast of your former sinner boyfriend in your handbag again. You have to burn all the bridges. All the pictures you took with your strange woman or with a strange man or with your sinner boyfriend, you are still keeping in your album and you're looking and I say what a handsome person is this one what a pity destroy the picture when you see somebody who say well you have to be born again you have to change your way and you say well uh, 
I began to quote Solomon. After the, Solomon has plenty of wives, Abraham too had plenty of wives, David has plenty of wives. Those ones are not ready to disconnect yet. David, Abraham, There are some people too you must disconnect from. Disconnect from those people who, whose presence will pull you back into sin. It is better to starve to death than to sell your body because of money. You must live your new life clearly. Avoid living double life. We're talking about connecting to the turnaround goal. Number four. You must carry out what we call generational deliverance. You must get yourself delivered from any inherited bondage. There are some families. All of them, they like eating salt. Salt, 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 salt. Some families, sugar, 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 sugar. And sicknesses are coming. You must deliver yourself from these kind of things. When you get to some environment and you see the children, you can almost predict that they are going to land where their parents landed. In some families, there is no one in living memory who has ever been financially independent. Nobody ever built any house or bought anything useful. Key number five. You take steps to renew your mind. Using the word of God to constantly renew your mind. Our inner man needs constant renewal by the word of God. You must know the Bible. Six. You must pray destiny inquiry prayer. Destiny inquiry prayer. Prayer to know where you are supposed to be. Because if you don't know where you are supposed to be, you won't be angry enough with the position in which you find yourself. When you pray destiny and quality prayer, and God says, Son, this is where you are, that's when you become mad in the spirit, you become divinely dissatisfied. It is unfortunate that you see many kings without a palace, you see many, many, many company owners without even a job. But when you pray this in inquiry press, you know where you are. The prayer could take you one night, could take you ten nights, take you one week, you got to say, son, for this purpose, I fight called you. For this purpose that I send into this world. There are people here tonight are behind 10 years. 5 years. 7 years. 8 years. And it can be very, very terrible. This is a very, very sad situation. And you need to change it. You pray and quarry prayer. The inquiry will tell you where you are supposed to be. 
measure where you are to where you're supposed to be then you know what you should do so maybe you were crawling before but you don't have to have to start running or you were running before but you have to start flying and you have to make it the tragedy of life is not that somebody dies it's when the destiny dies the seventh key is to cry for a change cry to the almighty God for a change he is the one who can turn your life around these are the seven keys beloved I want to recommend that you take this message and listen to it over and over and over again especially if you want to connect the God of Turnaround. Rise up on your feet now. God of this mountain. Let me encounter your messenger before I go home. Can I hear you shouting it? Can you shout it again? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray Loruko Jesu lagbadura any satanic joy about my life Gbogbo ayo satani lori aye mi expire in the name of Jesus Loruko Jesu command the satanic joy about your life to expire in the name of Jesus Loruko Jesu Jesus name we pray Lord who call Jesus like a drop any good oil any good oil from my head to watch you grow Lord in me can I hear the sister shouting in anger you're going to keep going to you brothers can I hear you worry like thunder and you're going to keep going to be a lot Gather back to my head now. In the name of Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Gather back to my head now. Lord Jesus. It's happening. 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 Become a terror to the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Command your destiny to become a terror to the enemy. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, who called Jesus, like Badura. Powers! And you are going to. Wanting me to be a candidate of incurable disease. Go back in the end of your shite on your bogu. Can you shout it with a dread? Water you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Refuse to be a candidate of incurable disease. Yes. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray loruko jesu lagbadura powers agbara seeking for my shame before I leave this place in the name of Jesus yes Jesus 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 name we pray powers tie me down with failure at the edge of success can you say it loud in the name of Jesus Oh, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up. Yes. Benny. Jesus. Jesus. Benny. In Jesus' name we pray. No, look at Jesus. Say, my Jesus. father. Baba me. My father. Baba me. My father. Baba me. Let my enemies run when no one is pursuing them. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Let them begin to run. When no one is pursuing them. Jesus name we pray Lord shall this last say every time in my dream oh God appear and defend me in the name of Jesus every time in my dream oh God appear and defend me and defend me, 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 Jesus name we pray Lord who called Jesus la badura communication gadget of darkness irinse ibale ni soro okunkun can you say that loud ekigere lo rara transferring my information to gbe iroyi nipa mi can i hear you shouting that ekigere lo oke catch fire in the name of Jesus, Jesus. somebody is breaking through over there. Yes. In the name of Jesus, then we pray. Lord, who called Jesus, Lagadura, Camera of Darkness. Eloi Yaworo Kuku, shout you with hatred. Ekibere Belu Korira. Taking my pictures in the dark world. Catch fire! In the name of Jesus. Set the camera on fire. Jesus name we pray Lord who called Jesus Lagbadura negative powers negative powers programmed into my head to one she told us you know what me jump out and die for that they call ku negative powers Program into my head. You want to tell us, you know, jump out and die in the name of.
as you shout this loud and clear satanic bullets lodging in my body but in the name of Jesus yes Sisters, are you here this morning? Say this after me loud and clear. Oh God, arise and distribute sorrow to all covens assigned against my life. Can I hear the sisters shouting that? Uh -huh. Sisters, your voice is not loud enough. Brothers, can I hear you shouting this loud? Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray like that. Yes. My pot has satala kaya basha. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Sister, say this again after me. Say, Oh God, arise. Let your anger be the breakfast, lunch, dinner of any power assigned to waste my life. Oh God, arise. Let your anger be the breakfast, lunch, dinner of any power assigned to waste my life. Can I hear the sister saying this? Can I hear the brothers roaring like thunder? Everybody shouting it together. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and shout it loud and clear. Somebody's breaking through. That's right. Let the anger of God be their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Just. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Sister, send this after me again. So all heavens arise and release catastrophe and poverty. Can I hear the sister saying that? Upon any power assigned to rubbish my destiny. Can I hear the sister saying this now? Say, oh, heavens arise and release catastrophe and poverty upon any power assigned to rubbish my destiny. Let me hear the sister say this again. Brothers, can I hear you shouting this again? Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to decree. This is a decree. Open your mouth and do these prayers. That's why you are here. In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer is to be said three times. As we are saying this prayer three times, all those who are in this morning service, and presently, your kiss, your agenda, have been circulated around the evil houses, and it's already affecting you. As you pray this prayer, the angels that are here will lay their hands upon you, and their arrows shall go back to the sender. Make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours in this prayer. Every voice giving instructions against my life. Can I hear you say that? Whether the instruction is from the waters, whether the instruction is from the sea. That instruction is from the which doctor? Wherever the instruction is coming from. Every word giving instructions against my life. In the name of Jesus. That's right.
Masipe la kaya bushente rabasanta. Apara, the kateli katanda. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. Silence now. I can see the hands being laid on some people. That's right. Your case is in the covens. Taken there by domestic witchcraft. Taken there by envious witchcraft. That's the first person. Number two. Three. That thing running around, running around your body. I silence it now. That's number four. Five. Get yourself ready. This is number two. It's number two. There are two persons here. One name is called Rose. The other one is called Amaka. Pray very hard now. Something is about to happen. Are you ready? Every voice giving instructions against my life. That is it, that is it. Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Silence. Silence. I'm going to count seven from here. The hand of God will fall upon seven groups of people. You may not be able to stand on your feet, but don't worry. The first group of people, an unbeliever has used fetish power to take over a position meant for you. As I count, the hand of God will fall upon you and the yoke of bewitchment shall be broken. Two, those who are here, and your family members they are now laughing at you mocking you the power of God will fall upon you where you are and the point of mockery shall become your point of testimony three as I come seven from here all those who are here and the harder you pray it's as if the harder the problems are becoming as I come seven from here the power base of the enemy and the covenant attaching them to you shall break instantly. Four, as I come seven from here, you that brother, you that woman, that you have been pursued by the spirit of death and hell, you have already started seeing dead relatives. The power of God will fall upon you, something will fly out of your head, and the yoke shall be broken. Five. As I can to serve you, those strange creatures that have been attacking you in the dream. Sometimes you wake up tired. Sometimes you are even afraid to sleep. The covenant attaches you to them. And the introjects they are planted into your body. At the count of seven will fly back to the senders. And six, there are those who are here. You are expecting a letter. That letter is a letter of destiny. As I count to seven, whatever power is sitting on your letter of breakthrough shall be scattered to pieces. And finally, as I count seven from here, those who are here, and the enemy has planted a strong man at the front of your business, and progress seems to be running away from it, that yoke shall be broken instantly. 
focus on Jesus now. I'm still going to count the seven. The full steps of Jesus is now passing by. Bearing balm for the wounded, healing all who apply. As he said to the sufferer who lay at the pool, he said, In this moment, will thou? Be made old. Will thou be made old? Will thou be made old? Oh, come, weary sovereign. Oh, come, sin sick soul. See the life stream is flowing. See the cleansing wave roll. Step into the current and thou shalt be old. Yeah, the footsteps of Jesus is now passing by. Bearing balm for the wounded, in it all who apply. As he speak to the sufferer who lay at the pool. He say in this moment will thou be made whole? Will thou be made whole? Will thou be made whole? Oh, come weary sufferer, oh, come see, see so. See the light stream is flowing. See the grace in wave roll. Step into the current and thou shalt be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Get to separate again. Pray this prayer without apology. And pray with merciless violence. Let your voice embarrass your neighbor. Just like the voice of blind Bartimaeus embarrassed everyone. It was the man whose voice embarrassed people that got the breakthrough. Blind Bartimaeus embarrassed people with his voice. He got the breakthrough. Say anything that voice is not loud enough the grave is holding against my life yeah! in the name of Jesus open your mouth and decree it Yes. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Every bird used as instrument against me. If you are that fellow, there are regular lane of bats, bats, regular lane of bats in your abode, regular lane of bats in your abode. While we're praying these prayers, find a way to this altar and be on your knees and pray seriously. This is not a day to joke. This year is running to an end, and the enemy is raging. Every bird. Use as instrument against my life. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Somebody ought to shout this loud. 
Yes. Deal with the birds. By the time you get home from this service, you must meet them dead. Thank you, Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, every strange altar. Call him my name. My name. You are a liar. Die. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, them we pray. Those of you at the altar here, it is only you who will pray now, not all of us. Pray with merciless acidic violence. Animals like bats, owls, vultures, cats represent witchcraft. So don't don't joke with it at all. So those of you at the front here, you will shout this loud and clear. Say every killer bird dispatch to my abode. Go back to your sender. Attack your sender in the name of Jesus. Those of you at the front, pray now. Jesus name we pray. Aha. By the time you get home from this meeting, you shall meet them dead. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. You may go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Can you shout this loud and clear? Pharaoh of my father's house that has refused to let me go. <laughs> hey, look at this sister. Hmm? Is that how you are going to say it? Pharaoh of my father's house that has refused to let me go. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards me now. Father, these hands that are stretched forward, let the acts of God be deposited into these hands. Let these hands become the battle acts of the Almighty. Let these hands shake down the citadel of darkness. Let these hands become divine antibiotics. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Just lay that hand on your head and don't say anything. Nothing at all. Just lay it on your head. Let the anointing that has entered into your hands now begin to penetrate your body from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. From the top of the head to the soles of the feet. I want to give time for that to happen. The name that is above all names, Jesus Christ. I command a total rearrangement of this person's body over there. What the enemy has disorganized in your body has been rearranged, 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 rearranged. It's rearranged. It's rearranged.
Thank you, Jesus. Introduce you to the atomic or nuclear power of the spiritual realm. In Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. Philippians chapter 3, verse 10. That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings be made conformable unto his death. Here was a prayer point prayed by Paul the Apostle that I may know him. Two, that I may know the power of his resurrection. Keep that at the back of your mind. In Gospel according to St. John, John chapter 11, verse 25. John 11, 25. The Bible says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Turn back to the first chapter of that John. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word, and the word was God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. All things were made by him. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. And the light shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. The darkness could not just understand it. I pray for somebody that your life will be a mathematics the enemy cannot solve. The darkness cannot comprehend it. Can you just understand it? In Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, Visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created by him and for him, and he is before all things, and by him all things consist. By him all things consist. I hope you are noticing all these sweeping words. All things. No exception. All. All. No exception. Whether it's visible, whether it's invisible, whether they are throne, whether they are dominion, whether they are powers, everything. Ranging from your Bible to the air on your head. All things were created by him. Go right back to the Old Testament. In Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel chapter 37 from verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were very many in the open valley and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O oh Lord God, thou knowest. Again he said unto me, prophesy unto these bones, and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause bread to enter into you, and ye shall live. Verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to bone. And when I behold, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them. And the skin covered them above, but there was no breath. Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, 
prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe unto this slave, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. A particular power entered into dry bones, and they lived. That particular power took the bones, put the flesh back on it, and breathed into their nostrils, and they lived. In Second Kings chapter 13, Second Kings chapter 13, look at verse 21. Second Kings 13, verse 21. And it came to pass, as they were burying a man, behold, they spied a band of men. They cast the man into the sepulchre of Elijah. And when the man was let down and touched the bones of Elijah, he revived and stood on his feet. Connecting to the resurrection power. Beloved, there is a power known as the resurrection power. Again, this is another area of serious ignorance that many Christians don't know about. Paul, who had been born again for 30 years or more, prayed this prayer for him 30 years after conversion that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. There is a power that creates. There is a power that energizes. There is a quickening power. There is a power that can make a life and can also kill. Most powers can kill, but they cannot make a life. Because it's easier to kill than to make a life. There is a voice that can speak to the dead and the dead will hear. Beloved, it is a lamentable tragedy. That there are many weapons in the word of God that we do not use or we don't know how to use or we are not aware of them. Our ignorance of these weapons is at our peril. Connecting to the resurrection power will certainly change your life. And that's what I'm introducing you to today. What is known as the resurrection power is the power that make it alive. The power that kill it without hands. The power that makes all things to consist. The power that changes dry bones. The power that speaks creative words. Creative words. A man got married for years. And he was looking for food of the womb. But they've gone to the hospital. The hospital said the man has zero sperm cows. And once they say that, it's only by divine intervention. Then the man came to a meeting. And in that meeting, the man of God quoted John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And that word was God. All things, all things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. Without him was nothing made that was made. The man of God now digressed for a few seconds. And said, this means God has every organ of the body in his warehouse. And that is capable of replacing the, any dead organ. Everything that the man of God said in the sermon, this man did not hear again. The one he just focused on, God has spare parts. God has spare parts. God has a spare parts. God has spare parts. And when the man of God said, begin to pray, he laid his hands under his tummy and smote the place and prayed vigorously. Prayed vigorously. He prayed more painfully because a woman who lives across their flat, one day that there was a quarrel, you must say, shut up. Shut up. You did Mr. February. Mr. February. So, as he was praying there, you this with February. You this with February. Made him to pray more aggressively. By the next month, the wife became pregnant. I'm praying for somebody. Any organ that is not functioning well, or that is diseased, that the enemy has attacked, or that the enemy has removed, or that the enemy has defied, I decree right now that the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ should fall upon that place in the name of Jesus. Receive that resurrection power. In the name of Jesus. 
receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. What do we mean by the resurrection power? Is the power that accumulates fire within your bones. Is the power that destroys stagnation and eliminates decay. Is the power of though dead but yet speaking. Is the power that brings the breath of life. Is the power that raises both physically dead and spiritually dead. Is the power that speaks living words to dead things. Is the power that speaks words that matter on earth and matter in the grave. Is the power that arrests coughing spirits. Is the power that actually ensures our justification. Is the power that shows that Jesus Christ actually defeated death. Is the power that confirmed all this truth of the scripture. Is actually the power that differentiates Christianity from all other religions. There is no founder of any religion that rose from the dead. Is this power that gives Christians a living hope? Is the power that affirms all that Jesus said? Is the power that frees us from sin? Is the power that defeats Satan? Is the power that actually demonstrates the uniqueness of Christianity? Is the power that sustains life? What is the most powerful force in the universe today? Is it the power of electricity? No. Is it the power of uh, physical, nuclear, and atomic power? No. Is it the power of the waves? No. Is it the power of the wind? No. Is it the power of thunder and lightning? No. The most powerful force in this universe is the power of resurrection. Because it has the power to change lives. Changes people from death to life. Releases people from bondages. Revise people from coldness, physically and spiritually. The power of resurrection is the power I'm inviting you to connect to at this time. The resurrection power is a great and tremendous sign that God has said what he has to say and he will do everything he promised to do. It is the power that arrests the spirit of death and hell. I pray that tonight the ability to key into this power will fall upon you in the name of Jesus. It was many years ago at the prayer city. A woman was to deliver a baby and by the time she got to the hospital, the nurse got confused. Everybody ran away and they went and called the doctor. Meanwhile, this sister was already scared. She had prayed for that child for 11 years and she fell into labor, went to the hospital and the first nurse to check didn't say anything, but ran away. Brought the matron. That one took him. Put the stethoscope on. Check. Ran away. At that level, the sister was already crying. She knew there was a problem. So they brought in the doctor. The doctor took him, checked, and said, Madam, we can't hear the heartbeat. And I said, that's not the problem now. Right? Is it heartbeat that is the problem? She didn't understand. Say, Madam, it means that the baby has stopped breathing. The baby is dead. Say, what? Dead? She's only crying. It's okay. Why is your husband? Why is your husband? Why is your husband? They called the husband. The husband came. And I told him, what do we do now? Can we evacuate the dead baby? The man said, no. We are going to press it. And they came when the power of Sinjans was on. And as the prayers went on that day, there was a word. That we should form ourselves into a circle of five. Five. The woman was the first one in the circle. And the prayer they were to pray for anyone in the circle. Is that receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. They prayed. And as they left the circle. There was a word from the Lord. That there is a pregnant woman in that circle. Your baby has come alive. And immediately there was vibration. She ran back again. This time, not to the hospital, but to a Christian maternity home. And there, she delivered the baby. When the baby came out, the baby was as black as charcoal. 
it was already dead. But by the power of that resurrection, David started was breathing again. And now, I think this child has entered the secondary school. Now, what happened in that meeting? This power I'm asking you to connect to was what fell upon that woman. I'm praying for somebody that that resurrection power will fall upon you in the name of Jesus. That amen is not loud enough. Remember, we're talking about all things. Body, soul, spirit, business, finance. There is none that resurrection power will fall upon them and you will see a blossoming. Jesus was meek and gentle. However, sometimes it becomes loud and noisy. Jesus himself is that resurrection and the life. The resurrection power is not theology, it's a person. He said, I am that resurrection. Things can't remain still and quiet when the power of resurrection is manifested. The stillness and quietness of the cemetery will be disrupted once the power of resurrection appears. Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus. He prayed to his father gently. He said, Father, I thank you. Because you always hear me. But by the time he turned to the tomb of Lazarus, the Bible said he cried in a loud voice, Lazarus! Comfort. And that young man had the voice of resurrection and came out. His spirit came back and reunited with his body. The resurrection power called Lazarus back to life. Anything the enemy has killed in the body of anyone today, in the life of anyone, the power of resurrection will bring them to life in the name of Jesus. Let out a man roar like thunder. How do you connect to this power? You must surrender your life to Jesus. Repent from all sins. Then learn to control and tame your tongue. Many of us talk too much. And so in the spirit realm, our words carry no power. Die to self. Receive the baptism of Holy Ghost and fire. Have violent faith. And pray the kind of living prayers we're going to start praying. So, tonight, we're not here to play or to joke. Get yourself ready now. Bow down your heads where you are. Say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, why all eyes are closed? Just see what I'm going to say after me. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. few minutes to pray many life-changing prayers. Connecting to the resurrection power. I see destinies being restored. I see the yoke of delayed disappointment stagnancy being broken. This is not a night to negotiate like I told you. It's a night to strike when the iron is hot. Down resurrection Angels have just started work. I pray that Lord will strengthen you here tonight. I don't want you to go away from here. He said, "Can you shout this again loud and clear? Every coffin arrow, go back to your sender in the name of Jesus." In Jesus' name we 
pray. We are now getting into deep waters. This is an arena where if you keep quiet, it is very unfortunate. Every dead good thing in my life. Can you shout this with only anger? Come along! In the name of Jesus! Yes, yes, yes. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This prayer is for so many people here who can cling to it. By the power of resurrection, it is my turn to laugh. In the name of Jesus. Yes. name we pray now you need to be specific if it's my body say my body if it's my career say my career if it's my marriage say my marriage you will shout this loud and clear power of resurrection blow upon my career in the name of Jesus yes Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Stubborn infirmities. In my blood. Can you shout this loud? Death. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray it. Open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Don't say anything. Now, you strangers. It is written. But as soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall fade away and they shall be afraid out of their closeness. Every stranger inside the body, the stranger inside the blood, the stranger that wants to embarrass and disgrace you, hear the word of the Lord. That place you are, it's not your habitation. Get up now. As the first person, he's going. Get out now. That's number two. Get out now. That's number three.
any sickness unto death inside the body I bind you, I cast you out, 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 I bind you, I cast you out of that body in the name of Jesus. Can you shout this loud and clear? I fire back. witchcraft by the power in the blood of Jesus open your mouth and fire it back Thank you, Jesus. Even if you don't feel concerned, pray the prayer. Fire of favor that cannot be quenched. Possess me now in the name of Jesus. is not loud enough. Yes. It's happening. It's happening. It's happening. In Jesus' name we pray. With a voice louder than anyone around you. If you can still ask, hear yeah, somebody pray. If you've not started prayer. This is 70 days pastor's prayer meeting. My glory. Hear the word of the Lord. Get out of the room of battle. Can you say it? Which room did you command you to get out from? Room of battle. My glory. Hear the word of the Lord. Get out of the room of battle. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Be released, 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 be released. Aha, aha! Now the power of God coming upon you. In Jesus' name we pray. Power, sir! Holding wicked meetings against me. Command them to destroy themselves. Yes. Receive, receive the anointing to be greater. Receive the anointing. Receive it. 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 In the name of Jesus.
Then we pray the next series of prayers. They are not gentlemen's prayer. As we pray this first prayer, if you are here and somebody physically approached you and told you to your face that I would destroy you find a way to this altar and be on your knees pray the way you've never prayed before so that their arrows can go back to their senders this is a very very serious matter Pass! that hates my existence can you shout it loud Jesus. Don't negotiate. This is not a money to negotiate. Bakatela kaya bo shendera bo sente, ribo sopole kaya bo koshatia. Thank you, Jesus. 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 To shout my own. Strong man! Your time is up! Down! In the name of Jesus! Shout it, shout it. Don't negotiate. Strong man. Stop on pursuers. Your time is up.
Yes. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. You that infirmity in the breast. You the infirmity in the backbone. You the infirmity in the womb. You the infirmity in the eyes. Hear the word of the Lord. It is written by the stripes of the Lord Jesus Christ. The people of God are healed. You are a stranger where you are. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. 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 There are 71 women here. These 71 women. The amen you are going to say to this prayer now will bring you unending laughter. Father, I'm praying for this woman. Makita le kayabo shenderaba. Ribo soponde kayabo shen. Everywhere they are tied down your children. Repossess them in the name of Jesus. We possess them. 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 In the name of Jesus. It's happening. It's happening. Jesus. Amen. I am going to pray now. After the prayer, I'm going to ask you to pray. Because already the cloud of God's power is hanging all over this place. For those who will pull it down upon their own heads. Father, as many as are here today you said when the day of Pentecost was fully come clothing tongues as a fire came upon those who are gathered father gather those tongues of fire upon this place now and as many as will call upon you here let your power everything they shall decree let it decree be established in the name of Jesus thank you Heavenly Father in Jesus mighty name we pray Let's have a seat. God bless you. As we take our Bibles. Second Samuel chapter 12. I read from verse 9. Second Samuel chapter 12 from verse 9. Your battle and your parentage your battles and your parentage you would do well to listen very carefully before we start praying now your battle and your parentage second samuel chapter 12 verse 9 wherefore as thou despise the commandments of the lord 
to do evil in his sight. Thou hast killed Uriah the Hittite, the sword, and hast taken his wife to be thy wife, and hast taken him with the sword of the children of Haman. Now therefore the sword shall not depart from thine house. David was the man who took another man's wife. David was the man that slept with another man's wife. David was the one who came and arranged to kill the husband of the woman. But now when the punishment for that wanted to land, it not only landed on the head of David, it was spread to his house. So David organized a battle for children yet unborn. The battle is still going on now as I'm talking to you. The battle has even spread even to Nigeria now. That battle that was that it caused then, that you can see the after effect now. So because thou hast despised me, and hast taken the wife of Uriah the Hittite to be thy wife, thou said the Lord, Behold, I will raise up evil against thee out of thy own house. I will take thy wife before thy eyes, and give them unto thy neighbors. And he shall lie with their wives in the sight of the sun. But I will do this thing before all Israel and before the sun. And David said unto Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. And Nathan said unto David, The Lord hath put away thy sin. Thou shalt not die. The punishment for what David did before was death. But because he repent has been issued against his family, remained. Up to today, that battle is still raging like no man's business. Up to today, that battle is still killing and killing. Seven men from one family. The oldest was 60. The youngest was 35. All seven men could not marry. Seven. They could not. This one wants to marry a woman, the woman runs away. So wants to marry a woman, the woman runs away. The one that was 60 has tried to marry 10 times. That was what brought them running to the house of God. Prayer started. Why? Because if you are a good pastor, every time a problem is brought before you, the first thing you should start thinking about is to see the problem as a tree. Trees have leaves, they have branches, they have trunk, they have roots. Most people will come to you and present the leaves and the branches, but they will tell you the root. But then you are able to identify that root, you are able to solve the problem. So we started praying, what is the root of this? Until we discovered many, many years ago, some people were carrying bride price materials to another village. And the bride price included kegs of palm wine and some food. They were carrying this bride price from one village to the other. The grandfather of this man who did not marry. They were small boys, they were young boys then. They ambushed this party who were taking the bride price away. They beat them and scattered them. They now sat down, ate the food very well, and then drank the whole of their palm wine. Those people who were beaten up now issued a curse. These boys that had hijacked material for wedding, that marriages will never take place in the life of their children, that was many years ago. Somebody drank palm wine many, many years ago, and now the effect of that is now shown now. Several men they could not marry. It was after deliverance, after deliverance, I want you to decree this with boiling anger. Make sure that nobody's voice is louder than yours. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every load of my parents, they refuse to carry you. Jesus. In 
in Jesus' name we pray. Sit down, beloved. Eli was the one that caused trouble. By the time the curses will come, the curses came to Eli. There shall not be an old man in thine house forever. Let me now put together some conclusions before we start praying now. Your parentage determines the battle you fight. If Jacob never moved his family to Egypt, because it was Jacob that moved his family to Egypt to where Joseph was, if Jacob never took them there, there will be no reason for Moses to try to take them out. One of the tragic occurrences in scripture was that the Egypt that Jacob took his children to was the same Egypt Moses was trying to deliver them out of. May every power trying to take you to Egypt be destroyed in the name of Jesus. So your parentage determines the battle you fight. Don't deceive yourself. Once you see a trend in your family line, don't wait for it to envelop you before you start praying. Once you look at your family line and you see poverty, you see lack of marriage, you see bad luck, you better don't wait before you begin to pray. Don't let anybody deceive you. Just start praying. Even though you check your name, well, this name shows that it's a problem in this family. Don't wait for somebody to pressurize you before you begin to pray. Your parents could put you in serious spiritual trouble. Right from the womb, they can put you in serious spiritual trouble. I shared with you here many years ago. One pregnant woman was a drunkard. She was always drinking. Drunk, she would be drunk with the baby like this and sleep. What she did not know was that the alcohol she was drinking was getting to the baby. So in the womb, the baby too was becoming a drunkard. When that baby was born, right from day one, the baby began to cry some strange cry. They will give the baby milk, the baby will keep crying. They will give the baby breast, the baby will be beating the breast, doesn't want the breast. The baby was bad tempered. Until somebody said, ah, you know the mother behaving. But this one is always drinking alcohol. Give the baby small alcohol to drink. So he just took one small spoon of ogogoro to the mouth of the baby. The baby yes. followed it and smiled, smiled for the first time. The mother had converted the baby to a drunkard. May anything swallowed by your mother that may be affecting you now catch fire. A seven for the man. It is possible. To suffer from the consequences of the sin of your parents. It is possible for the parental cup of iniquity to be shared by the children. It is possible that a punishment has been declared against somebody's parentage and that cup is not full yet. Until that cup is full, the following generation will just continue to suffer. It is possible, even if you claim to be born again, to be drinking from the cup of iniquity of your father's house now. It is possible, beloved, that your ancestors can write spiritual promissory notes on the life of their descendants. They will go and make promise on the life of people, and the promise stays. It is possible. This is why we advise Christian parents. You put a baby girl at the back. The baby girl is just six months old. And you are telling an old man, say, it's your wife, it's your wife, it's your wife, it's your wife, it's your wife. They are usually cast on a young girl. And when it begins to operate, nobody knows what it will operate. I prayed for a very brilliant lady many years back. Very, very intelligent girl. So intelligent that when she was in medical school, there was a day they set the exam for them. And she started the exam. Immediately they said, Start. She removed her shoes, put it down. Move her wristwatch, put it down. She put, put her, her dress, she folded it, and started writing. Her speed was terrible. So the invigilators who were walking about, 
watching the students. One of the videos was stood by her neck, was seeing what she was writing. <laughs> it was as if she was just copying the answers directly from one textbook. Everything she wrote was 100% correct. The man said, stand up. She searched her bag. Where are you copying from? So I'm not copying from anywhere. She said, no, you must be copying from somewhere. So I'm not copying from anywhere. So said, what's your name? She opened the back of her book. I said, Miss Amakri. So Miss Amakri, I'm sorry. I don't believe you wrote this from your brain. I'm going to seize this paper and give you another one and see what you do. So she seized her paper. In spite of the fact that he could not, he could not find anything, he gave her a new answer sheet. She took the answer sheet and looked at the man in the face. Hear me, sir. A macri does not cheat. A macri cannot cheat. A macri can never cheat. He sat down again and started. The man stood there, was amazed. A brilliant lady. She now got married. Got married at the age of 26. 26. For 14 years, no child. She's a doctor. They checked her womb. They went to the best hospitals. They checked her span. Everything was all right. Perfect. So they could not understand what the problem was. Until she started praying. We gave her prayers to pray. She was praying the prayer. Father, show me the secret of my problems. Anytime she prayed, she would see a bottle. Any time she prayed a bottle, she now came to tell me, I said, man of God, why is it that every time I pray, I see a bottle? What bottle is this? I said, let's, let's pray too. And the Lord said, let her go to her father and say, daddy, any time I pray about child bite, I see a bottle. So she went, the man says, yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. So when you were a young lady, young girl, because you were beautiful and intelligent, I didn't want anybody to impregnate you. I went to a native doctor who did something in the bottle. I should turn the bottle upside down and put it under my bed. The bottle is upside down and it's under my bed. And the man ran into the room. Look at this old bottle. The next problem. The native doctor who did the medicine was dead. How do we reverse this now? That's when prayer started. It was the parent that went to the native doctor. It was the parent that got the bottle. It was the parent that turned the bottle upside down. So, the ancestors can invite trouble into the life of the children. That's why I'm praying for somebody here this evening. That anything that a dead wrong in your life, the power of God correct them now. In the name of Jesus. The sorrow for the man. If you have only me shout hallelujah. Your ancestors, they can accept curses on your behalf. Forces from somebody's background can ensure a back to square one, back to square one, back to square one syndrome. Your parents can acquire a killer sword that will kill members of the family at a particular age. Parenting can acquire disgrace that will cause trouble for the family. Look at Lamentations 5-7. We are getting ready to pray now. Lamentations 5-7. Find Lamentation after the book of Jeremiah. Lamentation chapter 5. Look at what it says in verse 7. Our fathers have sinned and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. Because of what those our fathers have done, look at the consequences. Servants have ruled over us. There is none that deliver us out of their hand. No assets to deliver us. We got our bread with the perils of our lives. And this difficulty in finding good jobs because of the sword of the wilderness. 
Our skin was black like an oven because of the terrible famine. See? Untimely death comes as a result of this. Terrible famine comes as a result of this. Skin changes and countenance disfigurement comes as a result of this. They ravished the women in Zion and the maids in the city of Judah. There is bastardization of womanhood, abuse of womanhood. Princes are hanged up by their hands. The faces of elders were not honored. So there is bastardization of women. There is marital cruelty against women. There is prostitution. There is bewitched hands. Shame. Slavery. 13. They took the young children to grind, and the children fell under the wood. The elders have ceased from the gate. The young men from their music. The joy of the heart is seized. Dance is come to morning. The crown is falling from the earth. Say, woe unto us that we have saved. All these harassments because of the problem caused by the parents. Curses issued on parents and acquire more power and be more violent on the children. This is where we are today now. We need to break this yoke. We need to break parental yokes that have turned a lot of people to a land of sorrow. And therefore the prayer you are going to pray here tonight, which is just seven in number, pray them the way you've never prayed before. And we don't have a long time to pray them. Rise up on your feet. Let all eyes be closed. If you can see here the voice of the person next to you, then you have not started praying. If God brought you here this Monday, it must be that He has an agenda for your life. That's why He brought you here. Can you shout this with holy anger? Evil harvest by my parents. Death. In the name of Jesus. Thou power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. In Jesus' name we pray. Ah, we are making progress. Something has started to happen. That's right. Destructive and senseless promise made for my sake. Shout that again, loud. Death in the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Jesus, your voice is not loud enough. In Jesus' name we pray. The blood of Jesus deliver my roots. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Something's about to happen to a lady over there. Your own father has married you in the spirit realm. That's why you're having problems. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And the yoke of that evil marriage that your father has done on your behalf is broken. That's the power of God coming upon you. Aha. Today is today. Let the evil wedding rings on your fingers. Let her go. Aha. Foundational power. Calling me to the bottom. 
Can you shout this loud? I wish you could see what is happening here. Aha. Aha. Thou power of bad luck. Prepared by my ancestors. I am not your candidate. Dad. In the name of Jesus. Put your hand in your belly button. This is number six prayer. Belly button. Aha. Say dark inheritance. I cut you off. Can you say it loud? Say it again. Shout it loud. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and cut it off. Makapote setende kaya bo shangaraba. Aha, aha, that's better. That's better. In Jesus' name we pray. Now get yourself ready. Father, I stand here as a servant. I prophesy upon the right leg of anyone here. Any satanic manipulation and deposits attached to the right leg of anyone here, as they stamp it on the floor, let the plantation of darkness enter into the ground and be buried alive in the name of Jesus. I'm going to start with your right leg now. I'm going to count seven. If you feel heavy on that leg, don't worry. If you can't stand, don't worry. But there are materials there that need to leave. Get yourself ready. Just the right leg, not the two legs. One, some fit like a soldier. Two, look at what is happening over Three, four, five. Six, and seven. Something is coming out. So you shall trample upon serpents and scorpions on every part of the enemy. Get to simple ready again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's why right. you release that flame. Now move over to the left leg. Get yourself ready again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can't hide. We've been hiding for years. Left leg again. Get yourself ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is prayer number seven. Shout it louder than anyone here. Every power that wants me to suffer what my parents suffered.
Your voice is not loud But support Riba pia likatansa tanda Da kapola katende kaya bo shanta Da sepende kaya bo koshenta Rabo sepela kaya ba Da pia lika Riba sepende kaya bo shanta Yes 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 In Jesus name we pray Thank you, Jesus. Father, as we have decreed in our mouth tonight, let the stamp of heaven come upon our prayers in the name of Jesus. As we go, I cover you with the blood of Jesus. It is well with you. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now, with a voice that carries mad violence, the Bible says, all those that want to drink your blood, they shall drink their own blood until they be drunk with it. Shout this now. Say, eaters of flesh, drinker of blood, raging in Nigeria, drink your blood, eat your flesh, drink your blood, eat your flesh. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree it. Command us to drink their own blood until they be drunk with it. Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me a disciplined soldier. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me a disciplined soldier. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me a disciplined soldier. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me a disciplined soldier. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me a disciplined soldier. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and make me a disciplined soldier. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, power, sir. Assigned to disrupt my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to disrupt my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to disrupt my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to disrupt my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to disrupt my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to disrupt my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to disrupt my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every unwriting of indiscipline upon my life. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every unrighteous of indiscipline upon my life. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every unrighteous of indiscipline upon my life. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every unrighteous of indiscipline upon my life. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every unrighteous of indiscipline upon my life. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every unrighteous of indiscipline upon my life. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every unrighteous of indiscipline upon my life. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Be wiped up by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, blood of Jesus. Terminate every poison in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Terminate every poison in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Terminate every poison in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Terminate every poison in my soul. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Terminate every poison in my soul. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise. And defend your interest in my life in the name of Jesus. 
Oh God, arise and defend your interest in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and defend your interest in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and defend your interest in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and defend your interest in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and defend your interest in my life. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and defend your interest in my life. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I bind and cast out every spirit of error. In the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of error in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of error in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of error in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of error in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of error in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of error in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every spirit of error in the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray amen can you say this loud and clear everywhere i go favor of god overshadow my life in the name of jesus everywhere i go favor of god overshadow my life in the name of jesus everywhere i go favor of god overshadow my life in the name of jesus everywhere i go favor of god overshadow my life in the name of jesus everywhere i go favor of god overshadow my life in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen so every idol in my heart opposed to my moving forward be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every idol in my heart opposed to my moving forward be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every idol in my heart opposed to my moving forward be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Every idol in my heart opposed to my moving forward be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. Be broken to pieces in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Anything in my life making everyone unhappy be cleared away by the blood of Jesus. Anything in my life making heavens unhappy be cleared away by the blood of Jesus. Anything in my heart making heavens unhappy be cleared away by the blood of Jesus. Anything in my heart making heavens unhappy be cleared away by the blood of Jesus. Anything in my heart making heavens unhappy be cleared away in the name of Jesus. Anything in my heart making heavens unhappy be cleared away by the blood of Jesus. Anything in my heart making heavens unhappy be cleared away by the blood of Jesus. Anything in my heart making Making heavens unhappy, be cleared away by the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If there is anyone here tonight that your mind is going here and there, please, I beg you. Call the mind to come back now. Let your mind go back to its resting place. Because some transactions are about to take place. As you pray these seven strange prayers. As you pray this prayer. The congregation of Arrestas. Assigned against someone here shall be scattered to desolation. As you pray this prayer, the people here, the enemy has planted stones into your body. Stones into the womb. All of a sudden, you will hear a sound from heaven and the stones shall go back to the senders. As you pray these seven prayers, by like someone here, the enemy has exchanged your organ. An organ in your body has been exchanged. But the organ exchange 
shall be reversed. I should pray this prayer too. All those congregation of the devil issuing that certificate to you in the dream, their arrows shall be fired upon them. As you pray this prayer, those good things that have been swallowed, heaven shall first the swallowers will vomit them. We have few minutes to pray them. But strike when the iron is hot. If you can still notice somebody is praying beside you, you are not catching the fire yet. But you need to pray like blind Bartimaeus. Say, arrows! Fired into my life through my parents. Jump out my fire! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and command the arrows to jump out. In Jesus' name we pray. I want to encourage you to pray harder. There are multiple angels scattered all over this place. And they are already giving people gifts. Don't miss out. Powers! Preparing shame for me. Carry your Lord! In the name of Jesus. Command them to carry their load. Bapota sepe la kaya bo shende la bo sa. Rimo soponde kaya bo shente la bo kopo la baraba. In Jesus name we pray. Disguising to destroy my portion. They are spoiling the person's portion. And they are masquerading. They are disguising. Can you shout it loud? Power! Is that the loudest you can shout it? Your time is up. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Yes. As you pray this next prayer, which you should pray with fire and with power. If you are in this meeting and the doctors have told you that you have a sickness that has no cure, find a way to this altar and pray your back to the sender prayer the way you've never prayed before. Bible says, by stripes you are healed. The Bible says, he himself bore your infirmities and took away your sicknesses. The shastrophes of, of, of his pieces upon you and by stripes you are healed. The doctors told you there is no cure. Those are the people who should come out now. But coming out is just one step. Second step is to pray with holy anger. Pause! Assigned to drag my destiny on the ground. 
You are a lord. The name of Jesus. of you at the altar. There are angels surrounding you already. Something is going to happen to your life today to change your life forever. As you are praying this next prayer, be smiting where the infirmity is. Be smiting it mercilessly. As you are praying this next prayer, power, sir! Empowering my battles. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth and pray. It. Open your mouth and pray. Bakapota sete la kaya bo shenya raboa. Ribo sepende kaya bo shenya rabosa. To smile the place more seriously. Powers! Say, my glory will not be allowed. Can you say that loud and clear? Your time is up! Just Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Those of you at the altar, begin to shake your head. Shake it vigorously. That woman, Shake off the spirit of death and hell. Shake off the spirit of death and hell. Shake off the arrow of household wickedness. Shake off the plantation of marine powers. Shake them off. 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 In the name of Jesus. Infirmity. Hear the word of the Lord. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Let her go. Let him go. Let her go. Let him go. Let her go. Let him go. Remove your plantation from the head. Remove your plantation from the breast. Remove your plantation from the womb. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this again loud and clear. This is one of the most wonderful prayers you have to pray here today. The Bible says without faith it's impossible to please God. Let your voice be the loudest in this prayer. And watch what will happen within seven days. Say mighty works. 
that will take all testimonies away from my mouth. Can you say it loud and clear? Can you say it again loud and clear? Manifest by fire in the name of Jesus. Sisters, are you here tonight? Something is going to happen. Mysterious testimonies. Sisters, let me. You say you are here tonight. Okay. Shout this if you are here tonight. Let your voice be the loudest here. Say, my days of joy. Where are you? Can I hear the sisters shouting? Is that the loudest you can do, sisters? Brothers, let me hear your voice roaring like that. Everybody together now. Manifest by fire. In the name of Jesus. say anything now. I'm making some pronouncements as directed by the Holy Ghost on certain situations here now. You that brother over there, you that sister over there, the demon hiding in your body, that fights you at the edge of breakthroughs and makes you to lose great opportunities. Let there be silence. I separate you from that demon now. Let there be silence. Don't even say amen. Be separated. Be separated from that demon now. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. Be separated. Let her go. Let him go. 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 In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Silence. Silence. That which has been planted into your body that makes them to push you to the back when you are meant for the front. The battle that has made you to be lost in the crowd. I bind them. And I cast them out. I bind them. 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 And I cast them out in the name of Jesus. The 
power of God is going to follow some people. And those people will experience uncommon testimonies. You are here and your parents categorically told you that the acts of you from the waters from bad spirits right there where you are the ownership certificate that they placed on you from the waters um, from the evil powers it's been dashed and crushed to pieces one two three four five six seven Father, lay your hands upon your people gathered here and write them by the power of God. In Jesus' name we pray. And be on your seat. Pour some anointing oil on your palm. A lot of transactions are going to take place here tonight. And I don't want you to miss out on those transactions. Put some anointing oil on your palm. Father, we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. Let the anointing of the overcomer, the anointing of complete deliverance, the anointing of resurrection power fall upon this oil in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of healing. The of deliverance, the of power, in the name of Jesus. Start with your right leg. Begin to rub it with that oil down to the feet area. Yes. As you are doing that, you will pray this prayer. I'm, we're on the right leg. We're just on the right leg alone. Right leg for now. As you are doing it, as you are doing it, pray this prayer loud and clear. Arrows of the strong man upon my feet. Death. In the name of Jesus. Pray on your right leg. Fresh oil on your palm. Go to the left leg and begin to rub it on the left leg too. Down to the feet area. Just. And you will shout this loud and clear. Power of death. Assigned against my feet. Die. Begin to pray now in the name of Jesus. Makatenda yabushenta, bokari bosutenda yabushenta rabu. Apika tela kaya busha. Something is happening over there. Fire is burning in that leg. Fire is burning in that leg. In Jesus' 
Jesus' name we pray. Put fresh oil on your palm again and go back to your right leg. To that right leg. Don't keep quiet, beloved. If you can see the transaction taking place, you will pray harder than I'm encouraging you. I shall rub in the right leg again. Say, my feet hear the word of the Lord. Locate my prosperity in the name of Jesus. On the right feet. Locate my prosperity. In Jesus' name we pray. Fresh oil on your palm again. See what is going on here. See what is going on here. That lady over there. The powers that have converted your legs to things from the river. They're on fire now. Arrows of failure fired into my feet. But fire in the name of Jesus. Put fresh oil on your palm again. You must now try to reach the sole of your feet. The sole of the feet now. That's where this one is meant for. Both legs. You must reach both legs. Begin to rub the sole of your feet with the anointing heart where you are shouting it's a shout chains upon my feet Bread. in the name of Jesus shout it very good. You can close the bottle of oil now. Lay your two hands on your two legs. The right hand on the left, on the, the right hand on the right knee. The left hand on the left knee. And shout with fire and with power. Don't negotiate. Don't negotiate at all. My feet receive deliverance by fire in the name of Jesus.
Jesus' name we pray. Rise to your feet now. It is time for you to begin to trample upon every serpent and scorpion assigned against your life. Pray this prayer without any apology. Pray it without doubt. Every gathering sponsored to punish me can you shout that loud? Try and understand that prayer. Whether it is garden of witches and wizards, that is garden of wickedness, that is garden of wicked elders. Can you shout it loud? Scatter! In the name of Jesus. name we pray. Raise your two hands to the heavenly as you shout this loud and clear. It is my time oh Lord. Lift me up by fire. In the name of Jesus. been wiped away from my feet. Say it loud and clear. Come back by fire. In the name of Jesus. Shadow my legs. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. I'm going to pray now. It is certainly not a gentleman's prayer. There are people listening to me here tonight. At any time they try to move forward. There is an evil wind arising from their father's house to blow them back up. There are people here tonight that all they just need is a small push and they will enter into uncommon laughter. But to get that push is becoming a problem. There are people that have been captured by foundational powers. 
that does listen to me now that heaven is waiting for them to manifest their families are waiting for them to manifest something is about to happen as I pray this prayer now the only thing I'm begging you for is that let your amen shake down the gates of hell and don't bother, don't care about what is happening around you you shout your amen believing the Lord for his touch upon your life Father in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus Father in the name of Jesus Father we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus Thank you for your power which never fails Thank you because you have brought your people to bless them. And so Lord, I pray right now that any power circulating anybody's name for evil, any power assigned to push down the star of anyone here, anyone shooting wicked bullets at the eagle of your life, I command them to die in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Anything planted in the life of anyone, whether it's plantation from the sea, whether it's plantation from the forest, whether it's plantation from the foundation, anything inside anyone's body assigned to disgrace you, I command you right now, lose your word in the name of Jesus. Depart, 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 occultic consultation against your life I command the consultation to backfire in the name of Jesus any decision taken by satanic diviners against you I cancel the decision in the name of Jesus yes spirit of almost there spirit of failure all the gang up against your career, the gang up against your marriage, the gang up against your children. Papa Katen de Kayaba. I command the gang up to scatter. 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 In the name of Jesus. Organized battle against you. I command the organized battle to expire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is a man here that from the eastern part of this country. I want to beg you. The amen you are saying is not moving the angels closer to you. Can you say your amen with reckless abandon? When we get there now, say Katenda Kayabusha. Riba Pali, the Katenda, the Kayabushon Torabosun Tender. Every wickedness of the wicked against your life, I command you to expire. Expire, 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 expire. Amen to even be more violent than this. Please be more violent than this. Something is taking place here tonight. My part, the Katena. Every evil hand, every veil of darkness, 
that is covering your glory. I command it to catch fire. 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 In the name of Jesus. the brothers in this service lay your right hand upon your chest all the sisters lay your right hand upon your womb and be quiet there is an angel going about carrying out surgery strange surgeries removing stones evil materials cryptic hidden powers long standing yokes disguise inside the body what is happening? Fire. 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 Inside the womb. Fire. Inside the chest. Fire. Inside the chest. Fire. Inside the womb. Fire. Inside the chest. Fire. Inside the womb. Fire. Upon the head. I'm going to pray three more prayers. I want to beg you once again. Let your amen be the loudest here. I decree right now. At every power, staying awake to frustrate your progress must be cut down now. I cut them down. 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 In the name of Jesus. And every power assigned to eliminate you shall eliminate themselves in the name of Jesus. Yes. Every battle against your career, every battle against your staff of bread, I kill that battle in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Silence now. I'm going to count seven from here. On my getting to number seven, any one at all in the nation of tonight who is being harassed by domestic witchcraft. The power of God will fall upon such people and the unconscious covenant that is making them to trouble you shall be broken to pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A sevenfold amen. Let's have a seat. God bless you. Let's take our Bibles. As we look at what I call the mobile wasteland. The mobile wasteland. Acts of Apostles, chapter 28, verse 26. Saying, Go unto these people and say, Hearing ye shall hear and shall not understand and seeing ye shall see and not perceive for the heart of these people is wax gross and their ears are dull of hearing and their eyes have they closed lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and should be converted and I should heal them. Strange situation. Strange deafness. Strange blindness. Strange dullness. Very strange. Our world 
is gradually become a dangerous place for the poor. The reason is that a lot of people, majority of the people, are running other people's race. They are running another man's race. They are passing the examination nobody said for them. They are passing examination for another person. You must violently and vehemently refuse to be another wasteland. It is this that has converted many to mobile wasteland. They, they, they have been wasted. They are just moving about. You must refuse to be a wasteland. The richest place on earth is a graveyard. Because it's in the graveyard and in the cemetery you find music that was never performed. You have experiments that were never carried out. You find pilots who never flew a plane. You find lecturers who never lectured anybody. You find poems that never arrive on this earth. That's why they say the graveyard of the cemetery is the richest place on earth. It is a tragedy when a man dies unfulfilled. It's a tragedy when you are 40, 45, 50, you have not even discovered yourself. Let's even leave that aside. It is a major tragedy. In fact, 21, 22, 23, 24, you don't know yourself. You have not discovered what you are here for. If you die undiscovered, without fulfilling the purpose of God for your life, then you are a wasteland. If this world does not benefit from you at all, no benefit from your talents, you are just seeking for qualification, qualification, but nobody is benefiting anything from you. I am sad to tell you that you are just hiding manure or wealth to the graveyard. And let me tell you one thing, as you are listening to me now. If nobody is learning anything good from you, you are living a wasted life. This is why you have to cry out vehemently and violently tonight, that my father, I refuse to be wasted. Others may be wasted, but my case must be different. If nobody is learning anything from you, you have come to waste your life. And there's a lot of mobile wastage going on now. There is no product that determines its purpose in the market. No. It's the manufacturer who will decide what that product is meant for. This is very, very important. If you bought a DVD player, you bought a TV set, there is something inside that box called instruction manual. That instruction manual was put there by the manufacturer. And if you read it carefully, they will tell you that there are certain things you must not do. If it happens, please refer this product back to the manufacturer. That don't open this kind of place. It may be electrocuted. So it's the manufacturer who decides the purpose of a product in the market. So God is our manufacturer. So it is him who you should ask. The manufacturer, you must ask him what you are here to do. One tragedy of our world that a lot of people are all over the world in strange, strange places where they cannot even fulfill their destiny. The tragedy of our world that millions of people are doing what God did not create them to do. There are thousands of pastors who stand behind the pulpit on Sunday who really should be doing something else. Millions are doing what others say they should do. Millions are doing what their friends ask them to do. Many are becoming general pastors because their wife wants them to become general pastors. Many composers of song are flooding the market with unreasonable music. When they were supposed to be doing something else. You must find out what God has called you to do and stay there. The currency of your call is purpose. Are you sure you are in the right career now? Are you sure you are in the right city, you are in the right village, you are in the right country? God asks Elijah. When Elijah went away, and Elijah was saying, Ah, oh, that they have killed all your prophets, I'm left alone. The Lord said, What doest thou here, Elijah? What are you doing here? You know that God is still asking that question today. What are you doing there? 
As you journey through life, what are you doing where you are? Where you are? Check out where you are. Your location determines your location. If you stay in his will, you will get where he wants you to get to. If it is his will, if it is his project, then it is his budget. Discover who you are. Stop imitating people. This is a tragedy and it's a serious matter. But why is this thing so? It's because of this strange blindness. Like we read in Acts. He said, they are just opening their eyes, they cannot see. They are hearing, they don't understand. There is a tragedy that has plagued man. And is still plaguing man now. Many are in the place of divine blessings. Yet the place could not become for them the place of celebration it was meant to be. They are in the place of divine blessings. It was supposed to be a place of celebration for them. But it is not. The place of celebration to many people has become a place of fear and defeat. It is possible to be in a place of blessing and not enjoy the glory of that location. God has brought many people to a place of blessing, but they are more conscious of other things, but not what God has brought them there to do. They come to the house of God, but they don't face what God really wants them to come and do there. They are interested in what really should not interest them. This is a strange form of blindness. It is one thing for you to arrive at your place of blessing. It's another thing to know that you are there. A man could be in the very center of divine blessing and yet be destroyed by lack of knowledge. Until you know that you are there, you cannot begin to do what you should do to maximize that opportunity. Jesus wept over the city of Jerusalem because they did not know the time of their visitation. They have been crying to Jehovah for salvation for a long time. When the salvation eventually came, they did not recognize it. They were unable to tell where they were at that time. They could not avail themselves of the opportunity it offered them. They were still looking ahead for another visitation, another visitation. Whereas the correct visitation was already overtaking them. They had reached the point of answered prayers. Unfortunately, they did not know it. They were blinded to their moment. What a strange blindness. And what a pity that Jesus had to weep over them. They failed to maximize the moment. This is why I'm praying very strange prayers to anyone here who will say the kind of amen that everyone wants. That any blindness assigned to limit your destiny must expire tonight. You must expire tonight in the name of Jesus. Jacob was fleeing from Esau and he got to Bethel, the house of God. Yet he did not realize where he had reached until God graciously intervened through a dream in the night. And that's why you find, surely, the Lord is in this place. The Lord was there, but Jacob was not aware. Thank God for that dream. Only then did he realize that the place was not only the residence of God, but the very gate of heaven. Listen very carefully. As God brought you already to the place of breakthrough, but you are yet to realize it. As he brought you at last to the place of freedom after years of painful oppression by the enemy. And you don't even realize that that is why you are in of fire. Is it possible that you cannot even know the time of your visitation? Are you hiding? Whereas the time has come for you to manifest? Have you arrived at the right place? But still doing the wrong things? It is a tragedy not to know where you are reached in God's journey for your life. No one comes to the mountain of fire and miracles ministry by chance. It's a tragedy not to know where you are. I ask you a question tonight. What time is it in your life now? Now, What time is it now? It is not the time of enemies triumph over you. It is not the time of captivity and trouble that you are now. It is time for you to discover yourself and your place in God's agenda. 
it is time for you to realize that if God has brought you to the mountain of fire, it is time for you to realize that those that you fear, unknown to you, they fear you even much more. But you are not using your facilities. You have to learn the principles of converting your prayer to rain. May the Lord open your eyes in the name of Jesus. A pastor, bachelor, was posted to pastor a church. The congregation there was about 2,500. Well, uh, this pastor wanted a wife. His method was not prayer. His method was to ask all the single ladies to gather. That he wanted to be anointing them one by one. Although the agenda is not anointing them one by one. It's anointing that he was doing was because he wanted what he, he thought was the most beautiful lady there. And so they, they were passing, they were passing, they were passing, they were passing. Very soon, a lady arrived, cat walking, yes, looking like Miss Nigeria. And said, so you wait there. And others went away. And within a few weeks, few months, pastor was married to this girl. It was a noisy wedding. But then, he noticed that when any, any, any time they were at home, if he gives instruction, the lady carries out what he wants, she wants to carry out. Nothing. So the pastor used to say, you this lady, this da da da, that I'm, the, I'm the head of this home, you, do, you can't disobey me. I'm a, you, I want to give instruction. You, this is, you, you must answer the instruction. You cannot disobey me. Do you understand? But he noticed that the lady would be smiling. Anytime it was boiling like that. The one day the pastor got annoyed. Hey, boy, that is the boy. The lady laughed. At night, 12 midnight, the lady woke up pastor and opened her mouth. And right there in the presence of the pastor, she became a lion. Hey! Blood of Jesus! He jumped on the bed. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a Rachel, it's a Rachel. Ha! Ha! Then the lion said, Do you now know who I am? Now, I want to ask one question. Who is your husband now? It's you, it's you. That one. Who will be giving instruction in this home now? It's you, it's you. Give the instruction, I will follow. Please, please, don't, don't eat me. I'm the only child of my birth. Then she, she transformed back to Richard and climbed on the bed by the side of the pastor. The pastor did not sleep. His, his body shook for fear all night. So in the morning, he said he was going out. He went to his friend's company and told the friend that, please, since this is your company, can I stay here for a bit? I don't want to go home. The man said, okay. So all the workers closed and went home. Pastor locked himself in his friend's office and he didn't go away. And he slept on the couch there around 11 p.m. Somebody tapped him. When he looked up, it was Rachel. He said, ha. He said how, how did you enter this place? The gates are locked. The door is locked. The key of this place is in my pocket. How did you enter? He said, shut up, let's go home. He said, I don't want to follow you. So you have to remember, who is your husband now? It's you. So, follow me. So, pastor went home. Again, that night, he did not sleep. There are certain problems that can happen to a man. And you don't need, you don't need to avoid food before you get lean. He lost weight in two days. Again, he didn't sleep that night. His body shook for fear on the bed. Next morning, he decided to enter a vehicle to go to the mountain to pray. He stole out of the house when the woman was still sleeping. And entered the vehicle that was going to one of these mountains where they go to pray. As the conductor was asking for money. They got to the front of the pastor. There was a voice at the back. I will pay for him. I'm here. When the pastor looked back again, it was Rachel. At that level. Why are you laughing? At that level, he started crying. 
Everybody in this bus, help me from this woman. Hey. No, said, don't, don't, it's my husband. We just had a small disagreement. Don't, and I want him to come back home. Yeah. And the people say, hey, it's your wife, follow him. Say, ha, follow her. Ha. Ha. It's this strange blindness. May you not exhibit strange blindness. May the Lord deliver you from any power that does not want you to discover yourself. That pastor is is that problem. That's how I got to here. The only small solution he has now, that anywhere he hides, the woman does not appear again. Doesn't appear again. But his blindness has caused him trouble. Rise to your feet now. The first thing I'd like you to do is to lay your hands on your two eyes and sing this song loud and clear. Open my eyes, O Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord. Open my eyes, O Lord. like fire and like thunder. I told you we have very strange prayers to pray here today. Can you say this loud and clear? Consistent enemies. Hear the announcement from heaven. Your time is up. Turn the name of Jesus. Then we pray. Powers assigned to blind my destiny journey. What are you waiting for? Death! In the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to blind my destiny journey. What are you waiting for? My katende yaboshente. Jesus' name we pray. Wasting powers are signed against me. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Waste the wasting powers. Makatenda yabo shendera boko soponde keyaba. In Jesus' name we pray. We have now arrived at a critical point in the prayer of tonight. A point where if you lose your voice and you get the miracle, you have made a good bargain. You will shout your name loud and clear. Daniel Olukoya, hear the word of the Lord. You shall not be wasted in the name of Jesus. You shall not be wasted. I refuse to be wasted by the power in the blood of Jesus. Yes. 
Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Huh. This prayer. Pray to her. Hmm. Joseph had a dream. And that dream powered his destiny. Can you shout this loud and clear? My Joseph's dream. Riba Pandi Katandika Makatende Kayabo Shanta Rabo Santa In Jesus name we pray Say Oh God Arise Show me myself In the name of Jesus I want to know me show me myself Jesus name we pray. Satanic blindness. I am not your candidate. Death. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Stretch your right hand. Father these hands that are stretched forward the word says we shall lay our hands on the sick and the sick shall recover these hands that are stretched here let them become the hands of healing the hands of deliverance the hands of power the hands of strength the hands of glory the hands of breakthrough in the name of Jesus let these hands become the battle acts of God in the name of Jesus. Get yourself ready now. Anywhere you are having pain or disability in your body, smite it 21 times. And as you smite it, you will shout blood of Jesus. Let's go! Receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. Yes, 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 yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, Father, open our understanding tonight. Lay your hands upon our lives. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Tonight, a great surgery is about to take place. Listen to me very carefully. We are in very, very dangerous times. And so we are looking at deliverance from prayer malaria. Deliverance from prayer malaria. In Matthew chapter 26, verse 30. Please open to this passage so you can, you can understand us very well. And when they had sung an hymn, so Jesus used to sing hymns. They went out into the Mount of Olives. Then said Jesus unto them, All ye shall be offended because of me this night. For it is written, I will smite the shepherd, and the sheep of the flock shall be scattered abroad. But after I am risen again, I will go before you into Galilee. Peter answered and said unto him, Though all men shall be offended because of thee, yet will I never be offended. Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, that this night before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me thrice. Peter said unto him, Though I should die with thee, 
Yet will I not deny thee. Likewise also said all the disciples. Then cometh Jesus with them unto a place called Gethsemane, and said unto the disciples, Sit ye here, while I go and pray yonder. And he took with him Peter, and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be sorrowful, and very heavy. Then said he unto them, My soul is exceeding sorrowful even unto death. Tarry ye here and watch with me. And he went a little further, and fell on his face, and prayed, saying, O oh, my father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not as I will, but as thou wilt. Verse 40. And he cometh unto the disciples, and findeth them asleep, and said unto Peter, What? Could you not wash with me one hour? So one hour prayer is really nothing. You cannot pray for one hour? And you are sleeping? So watch and pray. That he enter not into temptation. So but the spirit indeed is willing. But the flesh is weak. He went away again a second time. And prayed saying, Oh my father, if this cup may not pass away from me, except I drink it, thy will be done. And he came and found them asleep again, for their eyes were heavy. And he left them and went away again, and prayed the third time, saying the same word. Then come to the disciples, and said this dangerous words unto them, Sleep on now, and take your rest. Behold, the hour is at hand, and the Son of Man is betrayed unto the hands of sinners. Rise, let us be going. Behold, he is a son that doth betray me. And while he yet speak, lo, Judas, one of the twelve, came, and with a great multitude with sons and staffs, from the chief priests and elders of the people. Please listen very, very carefully. In verse 31 here, Jesus said unto them, all ye shall be offended because of me this night. In that verse 31, Jesus predicted a particular night. A very dark night. A night of satanic attack. A night that is the hour of Satan. A night of invasion in which all of them shall be offended in him. He predicted it. It was a night of attack. It was a night of trials. It was a night of persecution. It was a night of backsliding. It was a night of denials. The prophecy now zeroed down to Peter. That Peter shall deny the Lord. He too said it without thinking that no, it's not possible. So Jesus knew that that particular dangerous night was coming. So Jesus gave a prescription on what they can do to preempt that dark night, to preempt the plot or the invasion. Listen, beloved, sometimes when you wake up in the night and your sleep goes away, what heaven is telling you? There is an attack coming. Take preemptive action now. Pray preemptive prayers. Don't wait for battle to come upon you before you start praying. But most times we turn deaf ears to this command from heaven. Some, instead of kneeling down or standing up and beginning to pray at that hour, he puts on the television, he prepares tea, he goes to the fridge, he goes to the freezer. Whereas those who are not the command, the command is son, daughter, life now as I'm waking you up, your matter is on discussion in the coven. Wake up now. Pray preemptive prayer. Just as you are holding vigil, I want you to understand that the enemy is also holding vigil. The Bible says, while men slept, his enemies came. That is satanic language. While you are sleeping, they are moving about to walk, 
I'm praying for anyone here who has received an injury. Because the time heaven says you should rise up to pray, you did not do the prayer. Therefore, you are injured. Receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus. Every arrow that you have received from that injury, I command the arrow to backfire. To backfire. To backfire. To backfire. To backfire. To backfire. In the name of Jesus. Let your heaven roll and come back. So Jesus had warned them. A dangerous night is coming. Up. Take preemptive action. Pray. Although the enemy has planned a dark night, there was something they could do about it. Nobody can catch God by surprise. The prescription was that they were to watch and pray so that they would not enter into that evil hour. If you have already entered into an evil hour, we receive your deliverance now. You don't, you don't understand that prayer. Ah, you don't understand it. If you understand it, the man will reach heaven. I said, if already have entered into that evil hour, receive your deliverance now. In the name of Jesus. He said, watch and pray. So as not to enter into the evil hour. The disciples carry out the instruction? No. They opened themselves to satanic move, which was sleep. 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 Do you know that some people have so much entered into evil hour that even in church, why messages are going on? They are sleeping. I never could understand why somebody could come to a night VG and you are sleeping. Anybody who can sleep with the great noise going on at night VG needs serious deliverance. It's a serious matter. You should have sat at home and drank a bon vita or milo and slept. But now you are at the VG. A dangerous arena. And you are sleeping. Sleep. Satan knew that if those disciples kept awake and prayed, they will punch that attack. He knew. So what does he do now? So Satan sent his own preemptive attack. He sent sleep. He knows that if they slept, they will not see the disaster approaching. That night will take them by surprise and scatter them. One of the greatest tragedies of Christians is when something happens, they say, ah, and I saw it. You saw it, but you could not handle it. You saw it, you could not handle it. One woman who comes to our fellowship who was kidnapped, but she was released, she told me that a few days for being kidnapped, she had a dream that herself was inside the room and they locked her up and she couldn't come out. She had seen it, but no action taken. Let me tell you something. The enemy of our soul, Satan, is not an entertainer. He's not here to play with anybody. It's a serious matter they are doing. The field of destiny robbery is a serious field. That's why I'm praying for anyone here. If your star has been stolen by the battle of the night, recover that star now. Recover that star now. In the name of Jesus. Smite your head seven times and shout fire. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sit down. Because they did not pray, the enemy took them by surprise. This kind of strategy of the devil is a popular strategy. <laughs> there was a time in the Bible, no, don't go there, in Numbers 24, the people of Moab discovered that Israel was too powerful for them to handle. 
Even the prophets, the evil, the prophet Balaam could not handle them. I said, what do we do now? They now sent girls into the camp of the soldiers. And as the soldiers began to sleep with these girls, defeat came upon Israel. Those girls that they sent inside them was a preemptive attack. Satan tried to strike before we strike. I don't know whether you're understanding me here tonight. If you understand me, shout hallelujah. So in every age, before Satan strikes, he will first of all send a spirit of slumber upon those who should be keeping watch. He will send a spirit of slumber upon the intercessors. A spirit of slumber upon the prayer warriors. Many of you here, the Lord picked you to come to Mountain of Fire to be the prevailer and the watchman over your family. When the enemy wants to strike, he sends that spirit of slumber. When in your family prayer meeting, they are praying at night, Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, I say, Amen. Father, lay your hands upon us. Lay your hands upon us. Father, with Amen. 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 Is ordinary. It is a preemptive attack. In every age, listen, before Satan will strike, that slumber will come. Before Satan strikes a family, sense a slumber. In every age, great spiritual disasters have usually followed the night of satanic slumber. During which those who should pray are sleeping. Check the history of the church. Check the Bible. Revivers have always followed watchings and prayers. Disasters have always followed slumber. When people who should be praying are sleeping, when flesh has already taken over, you don't need a prophet or a prophecy to tell you that disaster is coming. The enemy has merely sent a slumber to blind the watchman. This is a very, very serious matter. Serious matter indeed. Serious matter indeed. There are many of us here, we cannot do personal my DJ. There are many of us here, the only time we pray hard is when we gather here like this. When you get home, it's as if there is a spirit of slumber in that your house. That we say, calm down. Cool temper. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. And then trouble begins to happen. I am believing God that there will be somebody, even if it's just one person, here tonight who will receive the engine of prayer. Somebody will receive that engine of prayer. In the name of Jesus. Verse 41 in Matthew 26. 26, 41. Very revealing. Matthew chapter 26, verse 41. Watch and pray that he enter not into temptation. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. That verse 41 is one of the most revealing passages in the Bible. The spirit is willing. The spirit is on fire. He wants to walk. He wants to pray. He wants to read the Bible. But the flesh that will carry the spirit is weak. Meaning that there are two forces at war in you. The spirit and the flesh. The spirit and the flesh. Part of the advantages of fasting is that when you fast, you weaken the flesh so that the spirit can easily defeat it. You weaken that flesh so that the spirit can easily defeat it. Because when the flesh has plenty of food, it is difficult for the spirit to defeat it. If you are on seven days dry fast, you can't rape any woman. Where will you get the strength to do it? 
Where will you go find the anointing to do it? A seven days drive. When you go to pray, it's by force you are opening your mouth. That is the power of the flesh and the spirit. So, you have become the battleground of two opposing forces. Of two opposing interests. No wonder Jesus said, the flesh profited nothing. It is the spirit that quickened. I must spend my leave. I must spend my leave. I must spend my eyes. I must spend my head. I must spend all the painting you have been painting. And everything, everything. Has it prevented the spirit of down from manhandling your life? It's just flesh. Flesh. All these people, all these guys who are wearing dangerous mini skirts, I will say, don't wear it to church. Don't wear it to church. It's the flesh. Because that leg that she wants to display, if there are pimples, crocro, and eczema covering all that leg, and the leg is bringing out small, small, smelling liquid, she will wear a long one to cover it. It's still the flesh. At the end of the day, I don't know. I must attach something. I must attach something to my hair. I must attach. I must attach. I must attach. If there is no ear on the head, she will wrap the thing tight and use pin to hold it. So it's still the flesh. The spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak. Jesus was telling the apostles, "You hold the key to the outcome of this evil night. Watch and pray." They did not. And that night, the flesh won. The devil won. They lost. May you not lose. <laughs> By the morning, they had to flee. They scattered. All those who were boasting, Jesus, I will do with you. I will die with you. When the forces of the night came in, they ran. The Bible even says one, while one of them was running away, they held his garments. He put it, he did it for them and ran away naked. If they had prayed that prayer in the night, there would have been no need to run a task. If you had prayed that prayer, there would be no need for the sweat we sometimes sweat. That's why that songwriter got it. He said, Oh, what privilege we forfeit. Oh, what needless pain we bear. It's needless. All because we do not watch and pray. You can stay in your room and control what happens at an interview tomorrow. You can stay in your room. The scholarship that people are sweating and they want to kill themselves to get, they will bring the letter to you by your door. You can stay by that your business and close down all other shops apart from your own. But we don't know. We can't pray. Slumbering prayers. Salivating prayers. By the morning, they had to flee. They had failed in the night. So they had no more place. When the day came, they fled. Darkness had overrun their territory. Sleep that was sent in advance had ruined them. Had ruined them. Our ancient fathers. They used to say something. Pray so that you will not pray. Fast so that you will not fast. That is the prayer you do not pray now. It will cost more prayer later. It will cost more prayer later. The prayer you refuse to pray will cost more while later. The invading army led by Judas came after sleep had perfected his work. Jesus came and warned them twice to pray. But the truth is, God will not always trouble people to pray. There will be a time when it will no more bother you to pray. You know, when the third time when they were sleeping, he didn't come to say, pray again. Say, you can sleep now. Sleep. The thing will go wake you up. It's coming. And by the time the brigade of the night came, the sleep they were sleeping and they could not pray. They don't, nobody could sleep again. God may get to a level and say, won't bother you. They cannot sleep anymore now. The enemy have arrived after sleep has finished his agenda. The flesh says sleep. The Lord says pray. Sleep was raining where prayer should be heard. The noise of snoring and salivating almost water. Yes. 
the noise of snoring and salivating sleep rather than the voice of prayer is what is coming out of many of our Gethsemane. And many of us keep complaining. I don't want this. I want this. I want this, I want this breakthrough. I want that. I want that. I want that. This spirit of slumber that is troubling us now, the cage of slumber, the chain of slumber will be broken completely in the name of Jesus. That amen is not loud enough. Once the Lord says, sleep on now and take your rest, it means your prayer, even if now, shall be of no use anymore. Prayer becomes too late for people who had not prayed earlier. This is what is known as prayer malaria. Malaria, when malaria catches a man, the man will be oscillating between hot and cold. Hot and cold. Hot and cold. Sometimes the body will be hot. Sometimes cold will be catching the person. The person's body will be shaking. It's hot and cold. Sleeping, half asleep, waking. We call it prayer malaria. I'm praying tonight. And everyone gathered at this particular session shall be delivered from prayer malaria in the name of Jesus. Let your amen be loud and clear. If you are afflicted by the demon of prayer malaria, there are symptoms. Ability to pray only when you are in the meetings, the sign of prayer malaria. Praying only when there is a serious problem, it's prayer malaria. Inability to wait before the Lord for a long time. Prayer malaria. Intensive fear for fasting. Prayer malaria. Breaking your fast out of forgetfulness. Prayer malaria. Prayer times becomes very boring for you. Funny boring. It's, 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 it's not exciting. It's prayer malaria. Blaming somebody else for your prayer failures. Prayer malaria. Suppression at home. Causing inability to pray. Prayer malaria. Blaming your house for your prayer failures. Prayer malaria. Sleep taking away your prayer time. Prayer malaria. You believe that only, only those who have serious problems should be praying hard. Prayer malaria. It's those who are making it. We should pray more. It's those who are making it, who are trying to see that you even pray more. Because a man who has never tasted fried rice, he doesn't know what they call spring roll. What's that other one? It's a samosa. You don't know what they call samosa. You don't know what they call sausage rolls. You've never tasted them. And somebody is saying, I, you will eat fried rice again. Who will affect you? But for somebody who has been eating all those things, all of a sudden, they demote you to smoking gary. It will feel it hard. That's why it is those who are doing well that their prayers will be harder. That poem said, He that is down, need fear, no fall, it's already down. But if you that you are standing, your prayer should be hard. Prayer should be hard. When you are harboring the spirit of slumber, in the house of God. It's prayer. When you get tired very quickly during prayers, it's prayer malaria. When you can only pray in English or your language, you cannot pray in tongues in the spirit. It's prayer malaria. When concentration is very difficult for you when you are praying, your mind is just going all over the place, it's prayer malaria. When television and newspaper, they are taking over your time, it's prayer malaria. When Nollywood, film show, television, they've taken over your prayer life, it's prayer malaria. When you can be watching film, part one, part two, part three, part four, part five, part six, but you cannot pray for 30 minutes, prayer malaria. When you lack prayerful friends, all your friends are coconuts and lizards who roam around joints to eat and to drink, 
going roaming about eateries, going about at night as if you are a spirit. Malaria. When you can chat with your friend for hours, but only pray for minutes, prayer malaria. Thank God that telephone, they charge money. If they don't charge money, that is where some people will spend the whole of their lives. But when you, when you hold this, and say you have one minute remaining, and then switch it off your head, you keep quiet now. People keep talking to the phone, when it's off, then you are mad. When your speciality is to eat very heavy meals at night, that will make your spirit so heavy you cannot pray, it's prayer malaria. When you have more interest in listening to music than praying, it's prayer malaria. When you always feel tired when prayer times are announced, it's prayer malaria. When you are not able to carry out personal night vigils, it's prayer malaria. When vain thoughts, bad thoughts, they always fill your heart during prayer, it's prayer malaria. When you cannot sustain a prayer point for a long time, it's prayer malaria. When your problem seems to be waxing stronger, while your brain is becoming weaker, it's prayer malaria. When your visions are always unclear and cloudy, it's prayer malaria. When your hear rings like somewhere, but you hear no voice, it's prayer malaria. When you're always impatient before God, it's prayer malaria. When you never prophesy, when you pray, it's prayer malaria. When your prayer life is dependent on whether you are happy or not, it's prayer malaria. When you don't enjoy prayer, it's prayer malaria. When you are now spending decreasing amount of time in prayer, it's prayer malaria. When you only pray at convenient times, it's prayer malaria. When you wake up in the morning, the first thing is to go to your phone or go to your newspaper. Instead of going into prayer, it's prayer malaria. When you are always, you always want to take breakfast before you pray, it's prayer malaria. When prayer times are forgotten, it's prayer malaria. When prayer and telephone are in contest in your hand, it's prayer malaria. When prayer malaria is troubling you, it is a sign that you have started a relationship with Satan. And you need to shake yourself out of it very, very quickly. Many people have a lot of breakthroughs facing them. But their prayer altar is too weak to carry the breakthrough. Those who are prayer warriors, they are always happy to go to prayer meetings. They enjoy praying with people, they enjoy praying alone. They sing melody in their hearts to the Lord. They have supernatural insight into things. God will be telling them secrets. They don't worry about anything. They spend time praising God. They pray in the Spirit. They sing in the Spirit. They fill their environment with faith. They are never afraid. It is such people God made a promise. In Isaiah 65. We are getting ready to pray now. Isaiah 65. Verse 24. Isaiah 65. 24. And it shall come to pass that before they call, I will answer. And while they are yet speaking, I will hear. It's because of such a God made that promise. We need to be serious. There are many things anti-prayer strategies that the modern day man is facing. Modern day men, they are afraid of being alone. Husband does not want to pray. Wife does not want to pray. Provision of television with late night movies has done plenty of damage to prayer lives. When we were younger, by the time it's 11 o'clock, you will hear ba 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 that is that was the old Nigerian national anthem. By eleven o'clock they will close the television on your face. But now twenty four hours TV's hour 
provision of videotapes, even including Christian ones, music and musical systems. These are strategies. Family strife. They are fighting. Visitors who will not go away on time. Reading large volumes of spiritually useless material. Playing games. Attending useless parties. All these are strategies that the enemy has used to prevent us from entering into our breakthroughs. Your angel of breakthrough is waiting for you to become a Daniel in order to possess your possession. Rise up on your feet now. The prayer of tonight is a prayer for champions. It's not a prayer for spiritual babies. If you don't want the spirit of prayer to come upon you, I recommend you don't pray. If you don't want the spirit of prayer to possess your life, I recommend you don't pray these prayers. But if you want that engine of prayer to enter into your soul, prayer is not the preparation for the battle. Prayer is a battle. Prayer is the greatest force on earth. With a voice that roars like thunder. So to pray and get results. Fall upon my life now in the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through over there. Jesus name we pray. Can you shout this louder than anyone here? Spirit and power of prayer. Oh my shout oh my Lord. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, beloved. Something is happening here tonight. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus prayed until he sweat. Were like drops of blood. Hannah prayed until they call a drunken woman. With fire in your voice. You will shout this again loud and clear. The power of slumber. I am not your candidate. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Touch of heaven, receive the power of God. In Jesus' name we pray. One more prayer before you go home. Anti prayer witchcraft. And if you know that that's from tonight, with your feet you shall possess your possession. Shout the loudest, hallelujah. Who has the final say? The Sing it loud and clear. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Who has 
the final say. Jehovah has the final say. Who has the final say? Jehovah has the final say. Jehovah comes my life, my life. Jehovah comes my life, my life. He makes a way when I just seem so way. Of Jericho, of that flat, the walls of Jericho, that flat, where children of God were praising the Lord, the walls of Jericho, that flat, the walls of Jericho, the walls of Jericho, where children of God were praising the Lord, the walls of Jericho, Hallelujah. 
And that's why you are here. This was a prophecy. Those who would like to claim it, have to claim it with seven loud resounding amen. If you want to receive it. The louder your sevenfold amen, the better. But hear the word of prophecy first. Before you begin to shout your amen if you want to claim it. I decree upon you that you will become Poison to the enemy. Amen. But I've not finished though. I've not finished. Let me finish what I've said. You will become poison to the enemy. And also become a book they cannot read. In the name of Jesus.
listen to this. All the satanic bullets fired against your harvest shall backfire in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to stop your advancement shall be treated like Pharaoh in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And this one, don't tell anybody, say, men be louder than yours. The warehouse that has been keeping your blessings shall be forced open by the power of God. He shall be forced open. He shall be forced open. He shall be forced up in the name of Jesus. I'm going to pray now. Let your amen be dynamic as I pray. And after that prayer, I'm going to ask you to pray too. Father, we are gathered here tonight. We have no power of our own. You are our power. You are our strength. There are people here tonight that the enemy has been afflicting for years. There are people here tonight who have been saying, when will my deliverance come? There are people here tonight that even family members have gathered together to mock them. There are people here tonight who are hearing, we shall see what your God shall do. Father, as it is written, that the God whom you seek shall suddenly come to his temple. Father, as the Lord of the Sodalists, arise for your people gathered here in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, 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 in the name of Jesus. Father, as many as are in this gathering now, and there are virtues belonging to them locked up in the grave, or locked up in the forest somewhere, or locked up in the waters, at the count of seven from here, let that yoke break instantly. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Aha. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's the power of God coming upon them. That's be released. Be released. Doesn't matter who handed you over. Let the chain upon the head be broken. Let the chain upon the neck be broken. Let the chain upon the womb. Be broken. Let the chain upon the legs. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. Father, all your children who are gathered there, and wherever in the world anyone is watching us live, or wherever they watch this, let the fire of the God of Elijah begin to break every stubborn chain now. In the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken. Let them 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 be broken. In the name of Jesus. You spirit of paralysis, hear the word of the living God. You the cobweb spirit, hear the word of the living God. You the manipulation of the dream with witchcraft powers, hear the word of the Lord. That place where you are is not your habitation. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I speak against the blockage in the throat, the blockage and bloating in the intestine. 
I speak against the heaviness in the right leg and the left leg. I speak against witchcraft arrow fired into the head. I speak against the serpent moving about in the legs. Lose your hold in the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Something great is about to happen. Father, this hands that are stretched here. Your word says, we shall lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let the power to recover fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Let the hands of fire and power fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Let his hands break every yoke of infirmity in the name of Jesus. Let his hands destroy every plantation of darkness in the name of Jesus. Get us ready. Anywhere there is infirmity in your body, even if it's very painful, smite it 21 times, shout him back to the sender. Back to the sender. Many things are about to disappear. Many things are about to go back to the senders. But do it aggressively 21 times. Let's go! Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before you got here. Immediately you found that you have been healed. Don't let the devil put it back. They overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. Run quickly to this altar here. Don't let the devil put it back. Something has happened to one woman over there. She still could not believe it. Yes, it's gone. That's the power of God upon your life. That body is still shaking, but run quickly to the altar so that the devil will not put the problems back. That's right. Every problem you have been battling with all these years, look at the fire of the God of Elijah melting them to ashes. That's right. Just try that hand. Try that leg. Aha. And run quickly to the altar here. If you could not run before you got here, receive the strength now. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Get yourself ready now. This prayer, pray it the way you've never prayed before. This is not a day to negotiate. This is a day to cry to the heavens. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers! That stop my parents. You cannot stop me. Can I hear you shouting this one? Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Deal with those powers. Powers that stop my parents. You cannot stop me. Powers that stop my Yes, 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 enough is enough, thank you Jesus. In Jesus name we pray.
Aha. That's right. Silence. Something is going to happen to 21 persons. These 21 persons have been suffering from constant witchcraft attacks. Every night they are under attack. The power of God will fall upon you right now. You may not be able to stand on your feet, but don't worry. Whatever covenant is tying you to them will be shattered to pieces at the count of seven. At the count of seven, they will be shattered to pieces. Aha! And immediately that power falls upon you. Long term problems shall disappear. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. Number four is on the floor over there. That's the power of God coming upon you. You cannot hide. I've been hiding for years. Whatever covenant is tying you down with any serpent power, with any spirit husband, with any spirit wife, by fire, let that covenant be broken now. In the name of Jesus. Number five, number six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Aha. Aha. Can you shout this again louder than anyone here? This is not a prayer that you pray sitting down. Powers troubling my future. Can you shout it loud? You are a liar. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. It is a decree. It is a decree. Yes. Right there where you are. Be set free. 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 My part has set tender. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, we cover the signs and wonders with the blood of Jesus. Lay your hands upon your people here. Affliction will never rise again. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Hallelujah. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am. I am that I am. I am that I am. Go and tell Pharaoh, I am that I am.
the goodness of the Lord in my life. They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of the Lord in my life. Talk to somebody and say, They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of the Lord in my life. Hallelujah. They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of the Lord. Talk to somebody and say, They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of the Lord in my life. They shall see, they shall hear the goodness of the Lord in my life. Father, as we enter into this particular segment of this service, lay your hands upon your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Abuli Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Please let's have a seat. God bless you. Romans chapter 10, verse 15. As we look at deliverance of defeat and why it needs to be done. In Romans chapter 10, verse 15. Romans 10, 15. It says, and how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Straight away, that pregnant passage is telling you that human legs are divided into two categories. Beautiful feet, ugly feet. Spiritually beautiful feet, spiritually ugly feet. The feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, they have beautiful feet. There are some feet that have other messages that are negative. The psalmist understood this principle in Psalm 22. Look at what it says in Psalm 22, verse 16. Psalm 22, verse 16. It says, For dogs have compassed me. The assembly of the wicked have enclosed me. And look at what they did to him. They pierced my hands and my feet. I'm praying for anyone here whose hands and feet have been pierced by the enemy, that they will receive their deliverance tonight in the name of Jesus. If they pierce the hand and pierce the feet, of course, physically, you know the effect. Listen to me very carefully tonight. There are some places, when you go to those places, if you don't come back home and begin to break curses off your feet, you'll get into trouble. Unfortunately, the feet is always mostly neglected in spiritual warfare. Most of the time we concentrate on just washing our heads, anointing our heads. But the feet is very important. When in the white man's language they say you have you develop cold feet, it means you are backing out of somebody, something. You are changing your mind. Saying you have cold feet, referring to the feet. When they say somebody has the foot in the mouth, it means that the person is saying the wrong thing. It's saying something that is not appropriate. When they say put your feet down, put your feet down, it means to be firm. And to be strong. They're talking about feet there. When you go to follow somebody to eat, and the person says, Excuse me, where we are going? You are going to foot the bill. It means you are going to pay. You, the person will pay. If they say, Get on your feet, it means get established. I'm saying this to you so you know the importance. When they say you are stepping on toes, it means you are talking about things which others would not normally like to talk about. And so when you talk about the arena of worship, the feet is there. He said to Moses, take off those sandals from your feet. Where you are is a holy ground. We read in scripture that a woman came to Jesus, poured anointing oil on the legs of Jesus, began to wash the, hair with her, wash the feet with her hair, and began to kiss the feet of Jesus as a form of reverence. In the Bible, when they say you put your feet on the neck of the enemy, it means that you are defeating that enemy. The Bible says, The Lord says unto my Lord, 
be at my right hand until I put your enemies under your feet. So you can see the importance of the feet, even in our day to day languages. I may be dangerous to even neglect them. In Psalm 8, verse 4, Psalm 8, verse 4, it says this Psalm 8, verse 4. What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visited him, thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his words, feet. He has put all things under his feet. The mystery of the feet is something that many Christians don't understand. As far as heaven is concerned, and as far as God is concerned, your feet has been empowered by God to establish your dominion. Your feet has been empowered by God for rulership on earth. It is with that feet you have dominion. He said, every place the soles of your feet shall tread. He said, I will take it for you. But your feet must go there and walk first. If that feet has a problem, then shame and disgrace is the outcome. There are plenty of people with cursed legs. There was a man we prayed for many years ago when we were still in Old Jabba Road. He was going to walk in the morning. And as he was going to walk in the morning, something got stuck to his sandals. He pulled out his leg. The sandals fell down. As he moved forward to put the sandals back into his legs, he stepped into hot feces. And he said, what is this? So he rubbed the leg on the sand, rubbed the leg on the sand. But right from that day, his life totally changed. Nothing good was coming again. Bad luck began to trail him. That day when he got to work, they sacked him. I'm praying for anyone here whose leg is cursed by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every curse upon that leg break in the name of Jesus. A seven fold amen. So in the Bible, when they say they put somebody under your feet, it means subjection. When the Bible says they bruise the heels, it means attack. When the Bible says you tread something, tread upon something, it's the symbol of subduing and conquering the thing. It says, I have given unto you power to tread upon serpents and scorpions. And to tread upon every power of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. But if there is a problem on that foot spiritually, it will not be able to establish your dominion. So technically those legs are the symbol of your possession. Instrument of your establishment. Once your feet is blessed and beautiful, hindrance will give way at the presence of your feet. Your Jordan of hindrance will give way once that feet is blessed. That feet is also your instrument of protection and direction. It could be instrument of deliverance. As written in Psalm 25, verse 15, the instrument of deliverance for you. As written in Psalm 25, verse 15, My eyes are ever towards the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the net. To pluck my feet out of the net. That your feet is also your, the instrument of your expansion and progress. You expand, you grow. Look at what it says in Psalm 31 verse 8. Psalm 31 verse 8. And has not shut me up into the hand of the enemy. Thou hast set my feet in a large room. It's the key to your establishment and ability. Is the key to establish your dominion over your enemies. Therefore, that your feet is a weapon of warfare. A polluted, a weak, or a paralyzed feet cannot succeed in the battle of life. And when that feet is under attack, it can be caged, it can be tied, 
it can be defiled, it can be amputated spiritually, it's not even there, it can be paralyzed, it can be weakened, it can be changed. Then it can be cursed. There are many people walking around with cursed feet. They walk into a business, the business collapses. They walk into marriage, marriage collapses. It's cursed feet. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28. Deuteronomy 28, verse 20. Deuteronomy 28, verse 20. The Lord shall send upon thee cursing, vexation, and rebuke. In all that thou settest thy hand unto on, on, on to do, unto thou be destroyed and unto thou perish quickly, because of the weakness of thy doings whereby thou hast forsaken me. Now look at verse 19. Cursed shall thou be when thou comest in, and cursed shall thou be when thou goest out. All having to do with the feet. So feet can be cursed, it can be injured, it can be cobwebbed, it can be broken. It can be twisted. It can be rendered impotent. It can be suspended. It can be covenanted for evil. It can be remotely controlled. It can even be exchanged. It can become possessed. There could be things in the legs that are taken over that leg. If the feet is bad and is not beautiful, that kind of feet will always be walking to trouble. Walking into danger. Any environment that legs get to, there will be death and bad luck. Such legs, they will be arriving late at the place of honor. They walk into frustration and disappointment. They do business, the business is not stable. Career, marriages, relationship, trouble. Some walk away from honor. Some just possess vagabond powers. They just go from place to place. They don't even know where they are. Those with bad feet. Their entrance brings sorrow. Their exit brings joy. They bring bad luck. I told you the story of one of my friends many years ago. They used to go to somewhere to do business. Normally they leave at 7 a.m. in the morning. That day my friend arrived there at 7 a.m. He didn't find the seven colleagues they used to go together. Where did they go? So he went back home. Second day, he got there again at 7. They had gone. What's happening? So, third day, he went at 6 a.m. He didn't see them too. They've gone. So, the next day, they arrived at 5 a.m. When he got there at 5 a.m., he found that they were just leaving. He now stopped them. He said, Excuse me, we do this business together. Why are you uh, abandoning me? Why are you going without calling me? They were all looking at each other. There was a white man amongst them. The white man answered, the honest truth is that we are discovered. Anytime you go with us, things don't work. But since we started dodging, things are now working well. That is a bad fit. I am praying for anyone here. Any curse, any chain upon the leg, I command them to be broken in the name of Jesus. Some legs bring bad luck. May you not enter into a very crew that people with bad feet have also entered. When the feet is bad, there will be geographical confusion. This will always be wrongly positioned. There will be acidic poverty. There will be constant bombardment of demoting powers. This is why this special program is called, which is going to last for two weeks. Because we are starting now, and we are concluding next Wednesday. Meaning that you still need to bring your anointing oil back again on Wednesday. Bring out that oil now, and stretch it towards this altar. Stretch it towards this altar. You can remain seated. Just stretch it towards this altar. Father, this oil that we brought here today, let it be the oil of fire and power. The oil of deliverance and glory. The oil that will break every yoke of the enemy. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Flow into this oil in the name of Jesus. 
Now put the oil on your palm and rub it on your two legs down to your feet level. Start with the right leg, then go to the left. Rub it, rub it, the legs and the feet as if you are massaging the leg. Aha! Look at what is happening immediately. A sick hatter. The feet of somebody is on fire. It's on fire. It's on fire. Say, I place this anointing oil on my feet to sanctify my work. I receive the anointing to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy according to the word of the Lord. Nothing shall harm me. I shall not walk in the counsel of the ungodly. I shall not stumble. I shall move and I shall not be paralyzed. I shall not walk into slavery. I shall walk every day in victory and liberty. Anywhere I step into, the Lord will give it to me. There shall not be anyone who will be able to stand on my way of progress all the days of my life. A sevenfold man. Put a little bit of oil on that hand again. Lay that hand with the oil on the right leg. On the right leg. Thank you, Jesus. A Neman operation is about to start now. Right leg. Makapote setele. Father, I stand here as a servant. Any possessed leg, any leg that the enemy has infiltrated, you the strong man in the leg, I bind you now, I cast you out. I bind you, I cast you out. I bind you, and I cast you out. I bind you, and I cast you out. I bind you, and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. We are still on the right leg. We are ready to smite that right leg now. One. Something is happening over there. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Aha. Put the oil on your palm again. Now the left leg. Makatenda yabo shentia. Any plantation of backwardness, any agenda of backwardness upon that leg, every plantation of darkness on that leg, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Get us up ready again to smite that left leg very well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Happening. That is the surgery. It's taking place. Now you need to lay your two hands upon your two legs and pray these seven prayers on your legs. Make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours as you pray these prayers. Chains from the grave. Break away from my feet. In the name of Jesus. Break the chains from the grave. In Jesus' name we pray. Second prayer. Be more aggressive. Thou power of resurrection. Overshadow my feet. In the name of Jesus. Now power of resurrection. Overshadow my feet. Overshadow my feet. Overshadow my feet. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus.
Jesus' name we pray. Serpents are signed against my feet. Can your voice be loud again? In the name of Jesus. Kill the serpent. But Kapota Satanikai Abu Shandaraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. Don't say anything now. Silence. I command the fire of the God of Elijah to enter into every leg. Fire! Enter into every leg. Displace. Chase out every plantation of darkness. The leg. The serpent. The leg. The scorpion. The leg. The sorcery power. The leg. The witchcraft arrow. In the leg. Come out. 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 In the name of Jesus. This is this is wonderful. Yes. Those things that have been keeping your leg away from your prosperity. I see them being removed now. Say, any masquerading power hiding in my feet come out now in the name of Jesus. Any masquerading power hiding in my feet come out now. Jesus, then we pray. There are three more prayers, beloved. Because it's a mnemonic surgical operation. I fire back every arrow of witchcraft fired into my feet in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number six. You will shout your feet loud and clear. My feet! Divide my Jordan! In the name of Jesus. Divide my Jordan. Divide it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Put the oil in your hand again. Aha. And apply it under your feet. Anoint under your feet. Under it. Aha. Apply it under your feet. And once you've done that, remain standing. Thank you, Jesus. I wish you could see what is happening here tonight. The kind of transaction that is taking place. The kind of breakthrough that is taking place. Rise on your feet once you've done that. You will now shout this seventh prayer louder than anyone around you. My feet hear the word of the Lord. Walk into your breakthrough. In the name of Jesus. Walk into it, walk into it. 
Maseka tela ka ya bo shenti raba. Daribo sopende ke ya bo shenti. Walk into it. Walk into it. In Jesus name we pray. Father, I decree upon every feet represented here or connected to us. That beginning from today, bad luck is over. Beginning from today, the angels of God shall carry your legs to where it will prosper your life. Beginning from today, by the decree of heaven, your leg will not walk you into danger. Your leg will walk into your place of prosperity. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Can you shout this loud and clear? Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my enemies be scattered tonight in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every handwriting and pattern of non-achievement in my life. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every handwriting and patterns of non-achievement in my life. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every handwriting and patterns of non-achievement in my life. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Clear away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar of affliction raised against my moving forward, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every other of affliction raised against my moving forward. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I release myself from every family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from the family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, I release myself from any family collective captivity. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Every power that wants me to fail, fail in the name of Jesus. Fail in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers die in the name of Jesus. Powers chasing away my helpers. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I shall not fail because God does not fail. In the name of Jesus. I shall not fail because God does not fail. In the name of Jesus. I shall not fail because God does not fail. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, oh God, arise and lead me to the right people in the right place. 
in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, lift me with the right people in the right place. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, lift me with the right people in the right place. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, lift me with the right people in the right place. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, lift me with the right people in the right place. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and lift me with the right people in the right place. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Dreams of Joseph for greatness. Be activated in my life in the name of Jesus. Dreams of Joseph for greatness. Be activated in my life in the name of Jesus. Dreams of Joseph for greatness. Be activated in my life in the name of Jesus. Dreams of Joseph for greatness. Be activated in my life in the name of Jesus. Dreams of Joseph for greatness. Be activated in my life in the name of Jesus. Dreams of Joseph for greatness. Be activated in my life in the name of Jesus. Dreams of Joseph for greatness. Be activated in my life in the name of Jesus. Be activated in my life in the name of Jesus. Be activated in my life in the name of Jesus. Be activated in my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I will draw my name from the register of failure by the power and the blood of Jesus. I will draw my name from the register of failure by the power and the blood of Jesus. I will draw my name from the register of failure by the power and the blood of Jesus. I will draw my name from the register of failure by the power and the blood of Jesus. I will draw my name from the register of failure by the power and the blood of Jesus. By the power and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Shout this loud and clear. Every bullet of failure fired against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every bullet of failure fired against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every bullet of failure fired against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every bullet of failure fired against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every bullet of failure fired against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every bullet of failure fired against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every bullet of failure fired against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every bullet of failure fired against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every bullet of failure fired against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. But fire in the name of Jesus. But fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say my destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. No power shall demote you in the name of Jesus. My destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. No power shall demote you in the name of Jesus. My destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. No power shall demote you in the name of Jesus. My destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. No power shall demote you in the name of Jesus. My destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. No power shall demote you in the name of Jesus. My destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. No power shall demote you in the name of Jesus. My destiny. Hear the word of the Lord. No power shall demote in the name of Jesus. No power shall in the name of Jesus. No power shall in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arise and enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. Arise and enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, O oh Lord, my times are in thy hands. Deliver me from my enemies in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my times are in thy hands. Deliver me from my enemies in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my time are in thy hands. Deliver me from my enemies in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my time are in thy hands. Deliver me from my enemies in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my time are in thy hands. Deliver me from my enemies in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my time are in thy hands. Deliver me from my enemies in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my time are in thy hands. Deliver me from my enemies in the name of Jesus. O oh Lord, my time are in thy hands. Deliver me from my enemies in the name of Jesus. Deliver me from my enemies in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, O oh God, arise and deliver the calendar of my heart, life from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and deliver the calendar of my life from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and deliver the calendar of my life from the hand of the wicked. O oh God, arise and deliver the calendar of my life from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, O oh God, arise and deliver the calendar of my life from the hand of the wicked. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name. We pray.
Amen. So every demonic gadget monitoring my life, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic gadget monitoring my life, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic gadget monitoring my life, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic gadget monitoring my life, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every demonic gadget monitoring my life, catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I recover my name from any demonic diary in the name of Jesus. I recover my name from any demonic diary in the name of Jesus. I recover my name from any demonic diary in the name of Jesus. I recover my name from any demonic diary in the name of Jesus. I recover my name from any demonic diary in the name of Jesus. I recover my name from any demonic diary in the name of Jesus. I recover my name from any demonic diary in the name of Jesus. I recover my name from any demonic diary in the name of Jesus. I recover my name from any demonic diary in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So anything programmed into the sun, moon, and stars against me, clear away in the name of Jesus. Anything programmed into the sun, moon, and stars against me, clear away in the name of Jesus. Anything programmed into the sun, moon, and stars against me, clear away in the name of Jesus. Anything programmed into the sun, moon, and stars against me, clear away in the name of Jesus. Anything programmed into the sun, moon, and stars against me, clear away in the name of Jesus. Clear away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any enchantment made against me backfire in the name of Jesus. Any enchantment made against me backfire in the name of Jesus. Any enchantment made against me backfire in the name of Jesus. Any enchantment made against me backfire in the name of Jesus. Any enchantment made against me backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Father, I'm praying for those who are gathered at this prayer vigil. Mane Kaliko Sapila Kayabusha. Every stubborn person of your life, we bury them tonight in the name of Jesus. Every power that doesn't want you to succeed, we bury them tonight in the name of Jesus. Any power harassing your health, harassing your destiny, harassing your children, harassing your career, we bury them tonight in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold amen, 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 amen. Shout this loud and clear. Powers that do not want my story to change to glory, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that do not want my story to change to glory, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that do not want my story to change to glory, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that do not want my story to change to glory, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that do not want my story to change to glory, die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any evil thing the enemy has incubated against me, I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing the enemy has incubated against me, I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing the enemy has incubated against me, I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing the enemy has incubated against me, I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing the enemy has incubated against me, I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing the enemy has incubated against me, I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing the enemy has incubated against me, I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing the enemy has incubated against me, I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Any evil thing that you have committed against me, I destroy you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I remove my name from the quarter of disaster. Assigned against this year in the name of Jesus. I remove my name from the quarter of disaster. Assigned against me this year in the name of Jesus. I remove my name from the quarter of disaster. Assigned against me this year in the name of Jesus. I remove my name from the quarter of disaster. Assigned against me this year in the name of Jesus. I remove my name from the quarter of disaster. Assigned against me this year in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The so blood of Jesus arise, wipe up the andrising of the evil men against me in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus arise, wipe out the andrising of the evil men against me in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus arise, wipe out the andrising of the evil men against me in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus arise, wipe out the andrising of the evil men against me. In the name of Jesus, blood of Jesus arise. Wipe out the address of evil men against me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Every satanic priest and minister working against me, be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every satanic priest and minister working against me, be disgraced in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus, they will pray. Amen. I render every divine that working against me mad according to the scriptures. In the name of Jesus, I render every divine that working against me mad according to the scriptures. In the name of Jesus, I render them mad according to the scriptures. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus, they will pray. Amen. Say, so, oh God, arise and destroy every enemy of my moving forward. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and destroy every enemy of my moving forward. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and destroy every enemy of my moving forward. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and destroy every enemy of my moving forward. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and destroy every enemy of my moving forward. In the name of Jesus, oh God, arise and destroy every enemy of my moving forward. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Oh God, arise and destroy the enemy of my moving forward. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I break the power of stargazers and enchanters over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of stargazers and enchanters over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of stargazers and enchanters over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of stargazers and enchanters over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of stargazers and enchanters over my life. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of stargazers and enchanters over my life. In the name of Jesus. I, I break the power of stargazers and enchanters over my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every satanic prediction against my life, clear away in the name of Jesus. Every satanic prediction against my life, clear away in the name of Jesus. Every satanic prediction against my life, clear away in the name of Jesus. Every satanic prediction against my life, clear away in the name of Jesus. Every satanic prediction against my life, clear away in the name of Jesus. Every satanic prediction against my life, clear away in the name of Jesus. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Clear away 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 the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I will put every tree of bad luck planted against me. In the name of Jesus, I will put every tree of bad luck planted against me. In the name of Jesus, I will put every tree of bad luck planted against me. In the name of Jesus, I will put every tree of bad luck planted against me. In the name of Jesus, I will put every tree of bad luck planted against me. In the name of Jesus, I will put every tree of bad luck planted against me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus, they will pray. Amen. Fire of God, come down. Destroy the garment of bad luck. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, come down. Destroy the garment of bad luck. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, come down. Destroy the garment of bad luck. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, come down. Destroy the garment of bad luck. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, come down. Destroy the garment of bad luck. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, come down. Destroy the garment of bad luck. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, come down. Destroy the garment of bad luck. In the name of Jesus, destroy the garment of bad luck. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every lost virtues and blessing, I recover you in the name of Jesus. Every lost virtue and blessing, I recover you in the name of Jesus. Every lost virtue and blessing, I recover you in the name of Jesus. Every lost virtue and blessing, I recover you in the name of Jesus. Every lost virtue and blessing, I recover you in the name of Jesus. Every lost virtue and blessing, I recover you in the name of Jesus. Every lost virtue and blessings, I recover you in the name of Jesus. Every lost virtue and blessings, I recover you in the name of Jesus. Every lost virtue and blessings, I recover you in the name of Jesus. Every lost virtue and blessings, I recover you in the name of Jesus. I recover you in the name of Jesus. I recover in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. So angels of blessings, visit me this week in the name of Jesus. Angels of blessing, visit me this week in the name of Jesus. Angels of blessing, visit me this week in the name of Jesus. Angels of blessing, visit me this week in the name of Jesus. Angels of blessings, visit me this week in the name of Jesus. Angels of blessings, visit me this week in the name of Jesus. Visit me this week in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Embargoes and blockages are signed against my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Embargoes and blockages are signed against my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Embargoes and blockages are signed against my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Embargoes and, and blockages are signed against my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I overthrow principalities and powers assigned to pull me down. In the name of Jesus, I overthrow principalities and powers assigned to pull me down. In the name of Jesus, I overthrow principalities and powers assigned to pull me down. In the name of Jesus, I overthrow principalities and powers assigned to pull me down. In the name of Jesus, 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 in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I recover all my blessings that satanic doors have stolen from me in the name of Jesus. I recover all my blessings that satanic doors have stolen from me in the name of Jesus. I recover all my blessings that satanic doors have stolen from me in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every chain and fetus tie me down. Break in the name of Jesus. Every chain and fetus tie me down. Break in the name of Jesus. Every chain and fetus tie me down. Break in the name of Jesus. Every chain and fetus tie me down. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every tongue rising up to condemn me. I condemn you now in the name of Jesus. Every tongue rising up to condemn me, I condemn you now in the name of Jesus. Every tongue rising up to condemn me, I condemn you now in the name of Jesus. Every tongue rising up to condemn me, I condemn you now in the name of Jesus. Every tongue rising up to condemn me, I condemn you now in the name of Jesus. I condemn you now in the name of Jesus. I condemn you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Enemies secretly crawling into my life. Get out in the name of Jesus. Enemies secretly crawling into my life. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Enemies secretly crawling into my life. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Enemies secretly crawling into my life. Get out now in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Grip your head with your two hands. Grip your head with your two hands and shout this loud and clear. Powers assigned to bury my head die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to bury my head die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to bury my head die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to bury my head die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to bury my head die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to bury my head die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to bury my head die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to bury my head die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Arrows fired against my brain. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against my brain. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against my brain. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against my brain. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against my brain. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against my brain. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against my brain. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired against my brain. Backfire in the name of Jesus. I was fired against my brain, backfire in the name of Jesus. I was fired against my brain, backfire in the name of Jesus. I was fired against my brain, backfire in the name of Jesus. I was fired against my brain, backfire in the name of Jesus. I was fired against my brain, backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every evil oil of my father's house upon my head, dry up in the name of Jesus. Every evil oil of my father's house upon my head, dry up in the name of Jesus. Every evil oil of my father's house upon my head, dry up in the name of Jesus. Every evil oil of my father's house upon my head, dry up in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Dream criminals, dream enemies, be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Dream criminals, dream enemies, be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Dream criminals, dream enemies, be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Dream criminals, dream enemies, be consumed by fire in the name of Jesus. Dream criminals, dream enemies, be confused by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every altar bearing my name, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar bearing my name, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar bearing my name, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar bearing my name, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every altar bearing my name, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, oh God, arise and help me today by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and help me today by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and help me today by fire in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and help me today by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every evil mark upon my body be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every evil mark upon my body be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every evil mark upon my body be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Every evil mark upon my body be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers holding the vehicle of my destiny to ransom. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers holding the vehicle of my destiny to ransom. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers holding the vehicle of my destiny to ransom. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers holding the vehicle of my destiny to ransom. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers holding the vehicle of my destiny to ransom. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers holding the vehicle of my destiny to ransom. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to attack me, the harder I pray. Die now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to attack me, the harder I pray. Die now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to attack me, the harder I pray. Die now in the name of Jesus. Die now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any poverty assigned against my destiny, clear away in the name of Jesus. Any poverty assigned against my destiny, clear away in the name of Jesus. Any poverty assigned against my destiny, clear away in the name of Jesus. Any poverty assigned against my destiny, clear away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers bewitching my name for evil. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers bewitching my name for evil. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers bewitching my name for evil. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers bewitching my name for evil. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers bewitching my name for evil. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers bewitching my name for evil. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers bewitching my name for evil. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers bewitching my name for evil. Die in the name of Jesus. Power be which my name for evil. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers firing out at my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers firing out at my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers firing out at my glory. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power shedding blood. To fight against my life. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any power shedding blood to fight against my life. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Any power shedding blood to fight against my life. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every garment of hatred assigned against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any garment of hatred assigned against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any garment of hatred assigned against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Any garment of hatred assigned against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise and let my fear be upon my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my fear be upon my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my fear be upon my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my fear be upon my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my fear be upon my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my fear be upon my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my fear be upon my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and let my fear be upon my enemies. 
in the name of Jesus. Go go and arise and let my fear be upon my enemies. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The sword of my enemy shall kill my enemies. In the name of Jesus. The sword of my enemies shall kill my enemies in the name of Jesus. The sword of my enemies shall kill my enemies in the name of Jesus. The sword of my enemies shall kill my enemies in the name of Jesus. The sword of my enemies shall kill my enemies in the name of Jesus. Shall kill my enemies in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wicked elders cursing me, die in the name of Jesus. Wicked elders cursing me, die in the name of Jesus. Wicked elders cursing me, die in the name of Jesus. Wicked elders cursing me, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Arrows fired at me to make me lose good things. But fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired at me to make me lose good things. But fire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired at me to make me lose good things. But fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every arrow of unpardonable error, backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of unpardonable error, backfire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of unpardonable error. But find the name of Jesus. Every arrow from pandemic errors. But find the name of Jesus. Every arrow from pandemic error. But find the name of Jesus. Every arrow from pandemic error. But find the name of Jesus. Every arrow from pandemic error. But find the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Strong man assigned to put me to shame. I put you to shame in the name of Jesus. Strong man assigned to put me to shame. I put you to shame in the name of Jesus. Strong man assigned to put me to shame. I put you to shame in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to return me to zero level. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to return me to zero level. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to return me to zero level. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to return me to zero level. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to return me to zero level. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to return me to zero level. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to return me to zero level. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to return me to zero level. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assisting my enemies to fight me. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Powers assisting my enemies to fight me. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Powers assisting my enemies to fight me. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every hidden enemy of my destiny be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every hidden enemy of my destiny be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every hidden enemy of my destiny be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. Be exposed, be exposed and disgraced in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Power stealing the fruit of my destiny. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. Power stealing the fruit of my destiny. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. Power stealing the fruit of my destiny. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. Power stealing the fruit of my destiny. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. Power stealing the fruit of my destiny. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. Power stealing the fruit of my destiny. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. Power stealing the fruit of my destiny. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. Release it and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every arrow of affliction and sorrow, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of affliction and sorrow, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of affliction and sorrow, but fire in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of affliction and sorrow, but fire in the name of Jesus. But fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Wicked powers are assigned to assassinate my potentials. Die in the name of Jesus. Wicked powers are assigned to assassinate my potentials. Die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Eaters of flesh and drinkers of blood, your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Every instrument of stagnancy aside against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every instrument of stagnancy aside against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every instrument of stagnancy aside against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every instrument of stagnancy aside against me, die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every antagonistic dream animals, I kill you now in the name of Jesus. Every antagonistic dream animals, I kill you now in the name of Jesus. I kill you now in the name of Jesus. Antagonistic dream animals, I kill you now in the name of Jesus. I kill you now in the name of Jesus. I kill you now in the name of Jesus. I kill you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every demonic high beholding my life, become blind in the name of Jesus. Every demonic eye. Be holding my life. Be blind in the name of Jesus. Be blind in the name of Jesus. Every demonic eye. Be holding my life. Be blind in the name of Jesus. Be blind in the name of Jesus. Be blind in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every tongue of death speaking against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every tongue of death speaking against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Every tongue of death speaking against me. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any curse assigned against my head be broken in the name of Jesus. Any curse assigned against my head be broken in the name of Jesus. Any curse assigned against my head be broken in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every maggot of that be broken in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every maggot of darkness in my destiny, die in the name of Jesus. Maggots of darkness in my destiny, die in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Problems are coming to my life through the blood of my parents. Die in the name of Jesus. Problems are coming to my life through the blood of my parents. Die in the name of Jesus. Problems are coming to my life through the blood of my parents. Die in the name of Jesus. Problems are coming to my life through the blood of my parents. Die in the name of Jesus. Problems are coming to my life through the blood of my parents. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Power struggling to swallow me. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Power struggling to swallow me. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Power struggling to swallow me. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Power struggling to swallow me. You are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers marking my face for destruction. I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Powers marking my face for destruction. I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. Powers marking my name for destruction. I destroy you now in the name of Jesus. I destroy you in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The reproach of darkness assigned against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. The reproach of darkness assigned against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. The reproach of darkness assigned against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. The reproach of darkness assigned against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. The reproach of darkness, the reproach of darkness assigned against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. The reproach of darkness assigned against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. The reproach of darkness assigned against me, but fire in the name of Jesus. The reproach of darkness has not against me, but find the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every tongue of the wicked elders assigned against me, dry up in the name of Jesus. Every tongue of the wicked elders assigned against me, dry up in the name of Jesus. Every tongue of the wicked elders assigned against me, dry up in the name of Jesus. Every tongue of the wicked elders assigned against me, dry up in the name of Jesus. Every tongue of the wicked elders assigned against me, dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every evil lip speaking against me, dry up in the name of Jesus. Every evil lip speaking against me, dry up in the name of Jesus. Every evil lip speaking against me, dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Amen. Strong powers behind my battle collapse and die in the name of Jesus. Strong powers behind my battles collapse and die in the name of Jesus. Some powers behind my battles collapse and die in the name of Jesus. Some powers behind my battles collapse and die in the name of Jesus. Some powers behind my battles collapse and die in the name of Jesus. Collapse and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, they we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to waste my virtues, die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to waste my virtues, die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to waste my virtues, die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every marine army and terrestrial army assigned against my life, Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. Every marine army and terrestrial army assigned against my life. Destroy yourself. Destroy yourselves. Destroy yourself. Destroy yourself. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. Amen. Tongue of the dog backing against my life. Eh? Dry up in the name of Jesus. Every tongue of the dog backing against my life. Eh? Dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. Dry up in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers that hate my laughter and existence, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that hate my laughter and existence, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that hate my laughter and existence, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that hate my laughter and existence, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that hate my laughter and existence, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that hate my laughter and existence, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that hate my laughter and existence, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that hate my laughter and existence, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that hate my laughter and existence, die in the name of Jesus. Powers that hate my laughter and existence, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, let the confidence of my enemies be broken by the thunder of your power. In the name of Jesus. Father, let the confidence of my enemies be broken by the thunder of your power. In the name of Jesus. Father, let the confidence of my enemies be broken by the thunder of your power. In the name of Jesus. Father, let the confidence of my enemies be broken by the thunder of your power. In the name of Jesus. Father, let the confidence of my enemies be broken by the thunder of your power. In the name of Jesus. Let the confidence of my enemies be broken by the thunder of your power. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus, they will pray. Amen. Every trap of the enemy fashioned against me, catch the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every trap of the enemy fashioned against me, catch the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every trap of the enemy fashioned against me, catch the enemy in the name of Jesus. Every trap of the enemy fashioned against me, catch the enemy in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers raging against my moving forward. I silence you now in the name of Jesus. Powers raging against my moving forward. I silence you now in the name of Jesus. Powers raging against my moving forward. I silence you now in the name of Jesus. Powers raging against my moving forward. I silence you now in the name of Jesus. Powers raging against my moving forward. I silence you now in the name of Jesus. Powers raging against my moving forward. I silence you now in the name of Jesus. I silence you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, they will pray. Amen. Garment of darkness uh, oppressing against my life. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Garment of darkness uh, oppressing against my life. Uh, catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, they will pray. Amen. Ancestral strong man standing between me and my promised land. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral strong man standing between me and my promised land. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral strong man standing between me and my promised land. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral strong man standing between me and my promised land. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral strong man standing between me and my promised land. Die in the name of Jesus. Ancestral strong man standing between me and my promised land. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pray these three prayer points like a mad prophet. Every evil soul tie 
with any dead relative. Break in the name of Jesus. Every evil soul tie with any dead relative. Break in the name of Jesus. Every evil soul tie with any dead relative. Break in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thou power of destiny delay, die in the name of Jesus. Thou power of destiny delay, die in the name of Jesus. Thou power of destiny delay, die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to rubbish my destiny. I rubbish you now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to rubbish my destiny. I rubbish you now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to rubbish my destiny. I rubbish you now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to rubbish my destiny. I rubbish you now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to rubbish my destiny. I rubbish you now in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to rubbish my destiny. I rubbish you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Warrior angels of God. Arise and fight my battles in the name of Jesus. Warrior angels of God, arise and fight my battles in the name of Jesus. Warrior angels of God, arise and fight my battles in the name of Jesus. Warrior angels of God, arise and fight my battles in the name of Jesus. Warrior angels of God, arise and fight my battles in the name of Jesus. Warrior angels of God, arise and fight my battles in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers harassing my destiny. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Powers harassing my destiny. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Powers harassing my destiny. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Powers harassing my destiny. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Powers harassing my destiny. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Powers harassing my destiny. Clear way in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers closing good doors against me. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Powers closing good doors against me. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Powers closing good doors against me. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Powers closing good doors against me. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Powers closing good doors against me. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Powers closing good doors against me. Clear way in the name of Jesus. Clear way in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every demonic dragon walking against my life die in the name of jesus every demonic dragon walking against my life die in the name of jesus every demonic dragon walking against my life die in the name of jesus die in the name of jesus die in the name of jesus in jesus name we pray amen oh god of shadrach meshach and abednego arise and destroy my Nebuchadnezzar in the name of Jesus. O oh God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, arise and destroy my Nebuchadnezzar in the name of Jesus. Arise and destroy my Nebuchadnezzar in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Battle giving back to battles in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Battles giving back to battles in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Battles giving back to battles in my life. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every range of destiny haters, clear way in the name of Jesus. Every range of destiny haters, clear way in the name of Jesus. Every range of destiny haters, clear way in the name of Jesus. Every range of destiny haters, clear way in the name of Jesus. Clear way in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, blood of Jesus. Arise and overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, arise and overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, arise and overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so wicked celebrations arrange against my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Wicked celebrations arrange against my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And sensual serpents and scorpions aside against me. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. And sensual serpents and scorpions aside against me. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. And sensual serpents and scorpions aside against me. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now, this is a some destiny-changing prayers. I want to draw.
destiny changing prayers don't negotiate with the enemy in the following destiny changing prayers evil hands assigned to keep my destiny from shining can you shout that loud and clear can you shout it louder than that we die in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, call Jesus. Every bird of the air. Assigned to eat the seed of my destiny. Every bird of the air assigned to eat the seed of my destiny. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Jesus. In Jesus. Name we pray. Lord, who called Jesus, like Badura. Father, we are gathered before you tonight. Baba, Pedro, ne waji la chale. You have never failed your people. We give you praise, O Lord. Afi yifu yolua. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Baba, we are you who Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon us. Baba, eda wo yilewa. By the time we leave this place today, let all the blessings belong to us. Let all the shame belong to the enemy. Let all the glory belong to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let's have a seat. God bless you. We're talking about unlocking. Your personal mysteries. I also a lori titu o mwe jile tara resile. Unlocking your personal mysteries. Titu o mwe jile tara resile. Unlocking your personal mysteries. Titu a mwe jile tara resile. In Deuteronomy. You know we Deuteronomy. Chapter twenty nine. Ori koko dini. Verse 29. Unlocking your personal mysteries. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Deuteronomy popular passage, but it's always new. Say, this secret things. Things plural. The secret things belong unto the Lord our God. So there are certain things in this life that are not open to everyone. They are secret. And there are plenty of them because the Bible says things. But those things which are revealed belong unto us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. Now in the book of Daniel, another popular passage. Daniel chapter 2 Daniel verse 22 Daniel 2.22 Daniel That now throws more light into Deuteronomy 29 29. Daniel 2 22. Daniel He revealed the deep and secret things. 
things. He knoweth what is in the darkness. And the light dwelleth with him. Certain things are deep and secret. This and what we call the mysteries. A mystery is a coded information. A mystery is something that is undisclosed. A mystery is something that arouses curiosity. A mystery is something unrevealed. Something cryptic. Deep. Secret. Something beyond ordinary human understanding. That's what we mean by mysteries. Life itself is a mystery. For plenty of people living this life cannot explain what they are doing here. Death too is a mystery. Life has problems. Life has its own troubles. Job said, Man that is born of a woman is of a few days and is all full of trouble. Life has its own mystery, life has its own secrets. It is true there are plenty of trouble in this life. You can run away from life's trouble. But you can not hide it will locate you as you are sitting down there tonight the real deep truth is that there are hidden dimensions in yourself yourself there is a hidden part of you that you need to unlock because every life that God has created has an enormous potential in it. Every life has a purpose. Every human life involves a deep mystery. As a matter of fact, the ultimate mystery is yourself. Koda, that is what you of Murawa. Oh, we did let all lake and cut all tire you love only what you call it. Why were you born in the town where we were born? Kini did you want to be on your coco to be your son? born to the parents that we were born with. Kini said, I'll be your son, I won't be that be your You need the power of God in your life. Only love, but I'll learn in my year to unlock this mystery. That is she. Even power itself. What do you mean by power? Power is to have access to the mysteries of God. That's what I call power. Is to have access to the mysteries of God. If you want to trace where you are coming from, you want to locate where you are. You want to know where you are going. Then you need to unlock these internal mysteries. If we, if we don't unlock it, somebody else will tell you where to go, where you don't want to go. That's why I used to tell you here that recovery starts from discovery. Revelation. If you want, we produce direction. Your turn is on. And it's direction that will produce success. And it's that success that will make you to fulfill your destiny. Recovery starts from discovery. You to discover before you begin to now recover. You need some revelation before you can get direction. What most people need to succeed in life is just accurate direction. Accurate direction. 
you get that direction, then success follows you. You need to unlock your internal mystery and discover yourself. You need to know where to throw your net in the river of life. No one can be really successful unless God has revealed to you your internal mystery, the secrets of success. God's secrets is known as revelation. And in everything you are doing in life, information is very, very important. Information transforms a man. Let me rehearse a little bit again. I want you to understand me tonight. What I've told you so far is that every man or woman is a walking gold mine. If you can just locate that gold. God has planted something in you to make you great. One great discovery you can make in your life is to discover that treasure, your God-given resources. If you don't, the enemy will mess you up. The most terrible enemy you can have is an enemy that kills your internal Moses. The most terrible enemy you can have is the enemy that silences your internal treasure. The most terrible enemy you can have is the enemy that will allow your internal treasure to lie dormant till you die. That is the most terrible enemy you can have is the enemy that allows your internal treasure to remain undiscovered till you die. That is the most terrible enemy you can have is the enemy that allows your internal treasure to remain the most terrible enemy you can have is the enemy that steals your internal treasure, transfers your internal treasure, or kills your internal treasure. The most terrible enemy you can have is the enemy what I'm saying is that what you are looking for all over the place now may actually be in your pocket right there. God revelation to us is the secrets of the most high. And God reveals to us as we need no. So when you begin to go through life without access to your personal mysteries, you will live a life without impact. Going through life without access to your personal mystery makes you to choose a partner that will dispattern your life. This pattern the person's life completely. I pray that whatever has been locked up that needs to open so that you will be celebrated must open tonight must open tonight must open tonight in the name of Jesus when you go through life without access to this your personal mysteries you begin to find easy things very difficult you'll be fishing and catching nothing in the ocean of life and eventually the person will crawl unknown into an unknown grave 
is at the end of the person becomes material for the enemy to be testing new, new weapons. Only to you, what do you will look out? Are you my don't we? Jaori, she is she will. The person becomes a permanent slave. Only to you, dear Rutiti. Unfortunately. If you go through life without access to your personal mysteries, you may die before your time. There are some people by their divine constitution, by the mystery of God in their lives, they should never touch alcohol. Once they do, that's the end of their destiny there are some people by divine design by divine constitution they're not supposed to drink concussions even if they are sick they should not drink it but once they've started drinking it that's it they finished there are some people by their divine design by their divine constitution they're never supposed to visit any native doctor. Neither are they supposed to have physicians on their bodies. Once they do, that's it, they finished. That's one woman. They should never Never attach anything extra to their ear by their divine constitution, but because they don't even know that constitution, they don't know the personal mysteries, they are breaking the law unconsciously. Unfortunately, ignorance in the spiritual realm is not an excuse by design some are not meant to smoke at all by design there's plenty of women that are not supposed to be disvaging outside marriage once they do it they go against their divine personal mysteries all kinds of trouble will now follow by design some people are not meant to do juju or do anything fetish if they do they're in trouble Others may, but they must not. By their divine constitution. Because each personal mystery has its own conditions. It has do's and don'ts. So, so when you are ignorant of these personal mysteries. You can abuse it without knowing. You can walk against it without knowing. You can go to a location where it will not germinate. You may have a friend who will kill it. You may marry a wife who will kill it. You may marry a husband who will kill it. Because you are not aware. It's a terrible thing. And a lot of us who have been investigated by the enemy in the day we were born. If you know where you are going. And before you even got born again, they have stopped the process of your development. You are growing older, but what should make you feel happier? They've stolen it. They've discovered that you are a a gold man. What is she? A wadi pe le olora ni o. A sister. Arabi ni kon. Pray this prayer many years ago. Ogu adura yilo kolo kodi nse yi. Say father. Oni baba. Show me myself. Efi arami omi. Decode my life. Efi omu adi tu aye mi omi. Show me myself. Efi arami omi. Decode my life. Efi adi tu aye mi omi. She couldn't understand. Koye. Why the enemy doesn't want her to get married at 39? She prayed that prayer with passion and with desperation. That night, she saw herself at a wedding ceremony. They were in front of a large church. And a wedding was taking place. 
But somebody said, look at the face of your husband. The person you are getting married to. She looked. Behold, it was the face of her father. I said, no, no, no. I can't marry you. Daddy, I can't marry you now. I said, no, I can't marry you. No, 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 this wedding cannot go on. So she was protesting the wedding cannot go, the wedding cannot go on. But the satanic pastor went on with the program. So since the two of you, this, that, 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 those things they read, and the mind just continues, blah, 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 blah. When she woke up, she went to her father's room. Said, Daddy, this is the dream that I had. Confronted the man. And the man said, I'm sorry. Since your mother died, you are now my wife and my mother. And if I let you go, I will go into poverty and whoever you marry will be very rich. So you can't go. That is it. For the first time, the lady collected two information. Number one, that her personal mistress that any man she marries will be rich. Number two, that the daddy is the one that locked up that treasure. That's why I said every recovery starts from discovery. So now that she knew that she had two battles to fight. It was easy to fight with. Pray your way to break through that book. Oh, the more you pray, the more you discover. And the more you discover, the more you recover. When prayers get to a level, you will discover when prayers get to a level, deep secrets about your life are made known to you. Today is such a day that you should cry to the earth. The Bible says you shall know the truth and the truth you know shall set you free. It is only the truth that you know that will set you free. But if you don't know the truth, where do you go from there? Perhaps you are here tonight and you are tired of it all and you are overwhelmed by the many challenges you are facing you have uncommon financial troubles you have lost touch with yourself you see yourself as a total stranger to yourself you, need, you don't need to end your life you need to cry out to the Lord like a wounded lion decode me, show me Isa was the youngest boy in his family. Isa One day as he was going to school, he saw a long breasted woman. The breast of the woman was touching the floor. And he said, Isa, come here, Isa, come here. He said, do you know that you are my husband? I said, ah, Mama, I don't know you before. Do you have this strange long breast? And you are calling me your husband. I'm not your husband, though. He said, ah, he went to tell his father that daddy, is there is a woman sitting out there. His two breasts were touching the ground. And she was calling me. She was calling me. The husband. He thought the father was going to get scared. Rather, the father was very sad. Ha. 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 
and I've been praying for this woman to appear to me. Oh, the thing bad you are coping your father. And now she won't went and appear to you. If we are loving your father. Now to Lisa, that is that is our ancestral wife. Where are you? Where are you? Not in on you. She she wants to consolidate your own marriage. Over she we are open to what in you. Lisa had forgotten this thing that he saw when he was ten years old. Until at the age of 40 in 1990, when he came to Mountain of Fire and he could not get a wife to marry, nobody was willing to marry him that he remembered. I was a very handsome man, very rich person, but the woman does, you're just not interested. Remember that thing. There are powers in the foundation of the black man that has the ability to shut down their internal treasure. Shut it down. That of Isa shut it down until Isa was 40. Life itself is a mystery. You need a secret to move your life forward. Jacob did not know that his name was a problem. Until that day, the angel said, What is thy name? And then he began to move. Until you know those mysteries the person just go through life in confusion there will be lack of motivation there is this feeling of inadequacy there is this suspicion of people depression and all kinds of people there are many dead and living people around us they are on earth but they never showed up on earth this is why you should pray against the recreation of your destiny by the enemy the, the prayer tonight is not a gentleman prayer at all it is a prayer to go deep into the archives and pull out what you want for your destiny what do we do now to unlock our personal mistress the first thing to do is to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ that one is not negotiable at all the next thing to do is to pray inquiry prayer. Inquiry prayer. That is probe, probe your life by prayer. Pray to find out why things are going wrong. Pray to know who you really are. Pray to decode yourself. Those are the kinds of prayers you want to pray tonight. Surrender your life to Jesus. Pray inquiry prayer. Inquiry prayers are prayers to probe your life. Prayers to find out why things are going wrong. Prayers to decide to discern which problem is keeping you down. That's the second thing you should do. The third thing you should do is to become a friend of the Holy Ghost. So that the Holy Ghost will be talking to you every time. And the last thing you do is to live a holy life. So that you will be able to discover the kind of person you really should be. And how to key in into that personal mystery. 
I know a lady long time ago. She prayed. Very dangerous prayer. The Lord, Oluwa, show me who I am. Fear me, Timo Jeremy. Lord, Oluwa, show me who I am. Fear me, Timo Jeremy. On that night, I lay your journal. The Lord came to her. And showed her four things. Number one, she saw a cow. Number two, she saw a goat. Number three, she saw a dog. Number four, she now saw a leaf. And God said, That's what you are. Said, that can be true. Your word says, Everything you created in the beginning was perfect. How can I be called a cow? A goat. A dog. A and a leaf. And this lady, she's always in and out of hospitals. Today, they will say the head is not correct. Tomorrow, they will say this one is wrong. Today, all kinds of he queried the said, but why? But your word says everything you created is perfect. Say, yes, my daughter. You are correct. Say, but your household wickedness have recreated your destiny. Rise up your feet now. All eyes closed. Closed. You will do yourself a great favor tonight. By praying in such a way that your body, your soul, your spirit, they will know that you are in serious prayer. The Bible says. Jesus prayed in the garden of Gethsemane until he sweat were well like drops of blood. There are some prayers, if you are praying there, you have not sweated, you have not, you have not started. You have not started. But when you really start, things will begin to happen. Close your eyes now. Our prayers to force the serpent to vomit what it has swallowed. These are prayers to remove arrows that are already planted into the body. If you are in this meeting today and the enemy has been firing arrows into your head, arrows into your body, arrows of memory blankness, arrows of memory failure arrows of unexplainable hatred arrows of you failing where you should succeed as far as you can pray this prayers with reckless and violent anger the arrows shall backfire say oh God Allah and let my enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus Command them to scatter. Bashaki Wotuka. witchcraft gathered against me 
Can you hear you shouting that loud? Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Something is happening here tonight. This is not a night to negotiate. Yes. Every witchcraft covenant assigned against me. I blot you out of the land of living. Can I hear the sister saying that? I blot you out of the land of you. Brothers, can I hear you saying the same thing? Everybody together now. Aha. Uh -huh. In the name of Jesus, blot them out of the land of the living. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That person over there, the evil hand laid upon your head to suppress your destiny has been shifted out of your head now. Thank you, Jesus. Shame and confusion it is you at the Daruda Ball. Locate my oppressors. What in the name of Jesus? Jesus. My cat is setting up my shoulder. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Makatenda rabo sepe la kaya bo shente rabo sa. De keteni la katenda rama. Yes. Yes. Ben. Yes. Ben. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. My Father. My Father. Baba, me. By your power as of old. Embarrass my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Makatela kaya bo shente la bo sancha. By your powers of old, embarrass my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, then we pray. Lord, God, Jesus, like Badura. Every surrounding enemy. Bombo, tato yimika. Can you say that loud and clear? I can hear the Lord, Rara. Your time is up. Oh, to get scattered by fire. You can't live by no. In the name of Jesus, Lord, God, Jesus. 
Makatenda yabo shentera basanta. Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray every conspiracy against my next level for anyone who wants to go to the next level this is the prayer you should pray without compromise can I hear you shouting it loud Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Sisters, say this after me. We tell him. Terrifying noises from heaven. Are you well? What are you waiting for? Kila enduro de. Pursue my pursuers. Can I hear the sister saying so? Sisters, is that the loudest who can shout? Sister? Can I hear the brothers roaring like thunder? Terrifying noises from heaven. What are you waiting for? Pursue my pursuers. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let that be silence. Please don't say anything. This plantation of the spirit husband inside the womb of this sister that is causing you all kinds of trouble. Right there. Where you are, I set this material of darkness ablaze. Ablaze, and I burn it out of your body by the fire of the Holy Ghost. That's the power of God coming upon you. Everybody will now raise up their voices in this powerful mountain moving prayer. Can you say this loud and clear? Oh God, Allah! Lord, and let the world know that you are my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thou power 
of the great physician. Move. In Jesus' name we pray. Favor will overshadow our lives in the name of Jesus. Listen, beloved. Favor will give you what your sword cannot give you. What your knowledge, your weapon, your pen, your equipment can give you, favor can give it to you. Your labor can take you to somewhere. But that labor will not take you to where favor can take you. Favor will give you what no man can give you. Favor is the key to high places. It is favor that makes men to possess their possession. But lack of favor will leave people empty-handed. This is why people work for years and not, there is nothing to show for it. Whatever your certificate cannot give, whatever your bad certificate cannot give to you, whatever your knowledge cannot give to you, favor can give it to you. What friend and loved one cannot give to you, favor can give it to you. More than at any other time, we need divine favor upon our lives. And so we're going to start praying now. Let your voice be the loudest. As you pray this favor, magnetizing prayers. You can obviously see that one needs that favor in order to make it. So pray the way you've never prayed before. And the Lord God that dwelleth in Zion, that answers prayers, will answer your prayer in the name of Jesus. Say, favor of God, overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God, overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God, overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God, overshadow my life by the powers in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God, overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God, overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God, Overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God. Overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God. Overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I bind and cast out every anti favor spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind and cast out every anti favor spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind and I cast out every anti favor spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind and I cast out every anti favor spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind and I cast out every anti favor spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind and I cast out every anti favor spirit in the name of Jesus. I bind and I cast out every anti favor spirit. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so every curse of thou shall not excel. Be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse of thou shall not excel. Be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse of thou shall not excel. Be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse of thou shall not excel. Be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse of thou shall not excel. Be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse of thou shall not excel. Be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse of thou shall not excel. Be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. Every curse of thou shall not excel. Be broken by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every enemy of my next level fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my next level fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my next level fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my next level fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my next level fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my next level fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my next level, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my next level, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Every enemy of my next level, 
fall down and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you pray this prayer with all the seriousness it requires? Say any mistake attracted suffering to me. Be corrected today. In the name of Jesus. Any mistake attracted suffering to me. Be corrected today. In the name of Jesus. Any mistake attracted suffering to me. Be corrected today. In the name of Jesus. Any mistake attracted suffering to me. Be corrected today. In the name of Jesus. Any mistake attracted suffering to me. Be corrected today. In the name of Jesus. Any mistake attracted suffering to me. Be corrected today. In the name of Jesus. Any mistake attracted suffering to me. Be corrected today. In the name of Jesus. Any mistake attracted suffering to me. Be corrected today. In the name of Jesus. Any mistake attracted suffering to me. Be corrected today. In the name of Jesus. Any mistake attracted suffering to me. Be corrected today. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so powers. Introducing lateness to my breakthroughs. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers. Introducing lateness to my breakthroughs. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers. Introducing lateness to my breakthroughs. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers. Introducing lateness to my breakthroughs. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this loud and clear? Blood of Jesus. Flush out every anti favor cobwebs. Tie me down. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Flush out every anti favor cobwebs. Tie me down. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, flush out every anti fever cobwebs. Tie me down in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, flush out every anti fever cobwebs. Tie me down in the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, flush out every anti fever cobwebs. Tie me down in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, favor of God. Overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God. Overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God. Overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God. Overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God. Overshadow my life by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God. Overshadow my life. By the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor of God. Overshadow my life. By the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Say favor of God. Open all the good doors close against my life. In the name of Jesus. Favor of God. Open up all the good doors close against my life. In the name of Jesus. Favor of God, open up all the good doors closed against my life. In the name of Jesus, favor of God, open up all the closed door, the good door closed against my life. In the name of Jesus, favor of God, open them, open them, open them, open them, open them, open them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I'm going to make a pronouncement upon your life now. Let your amen be sevenfold. I decree upon your life that you shall encounter 24 hours miracles, 72 hours miracles, 48 hours miracles by the power and the favor of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Every door, good door, that had been closed against you before now, 
with the anointing of favor upon you. I command the doors to open in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. He reigns. We give glory to the Lord. He reigns. Adoration. Adoration to the Lord. He reigns. Adoration to the Lord. He reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. Adoration to the Lord, he reigns. We give glory, we give glory to the Lord, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. He reigns, he reigns, he reigns. We give glory to the Lord, he reigns. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. Be thou exalted, 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 Emmanuel. God is good. He has done me well, O oh my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done me well, O oh my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. God is good. He has done me well, O oh my soul. Rise up and praise the Lord. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for another session before you. Father, we thank you for the mightiness of your name and your power. Father, we thank you because you have never failed, you will never fail. Father, we thank you because you can do all things and you know all things. Father, I pray for everyone connecting to this outreach, that their lives will no longer remain the same in the name of Jesus. The power of God, the glory of God will overshadow your life as you join us in the name of Jesus. The Lord will connect your life to the marathon of divine favor in the name of Jesus. The spirit of the living God will overshadow every part of your life in the name of Jesus. As you are in this prayer program, blessings will never depart from your life and you go from strength to strength and from glory to glory in the name of Jesus. Every challenge the enemy has been bringing your way, let the challenges become testimonies. Let them 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 become testimonies. In the name of Jesus. Any area where the enemy has been introducing sluggishness. Slowness, delay into your journey. Let us all receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Let us all receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus. Let us all receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ 
in the name of Jesus. Makipo tali kayaba, you woman over there, everything you have eaten or swallowed, everything the enemy has fed to you in your dream, the poison in your dream, I command them to get out of your body now, in the name of Jesus. Get out of the body now, in the name of Jesus. Get out of that body now, in the name of Jesus. Get out of that body now, in the name of Jesus. Every swelling in the breast, every swelling in the womb, every swelling in the neck, every swelling in the head, every internal injury, receive the healing touch of Jehovah. 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 Mapika poto setekeri bokotondeka. Receive that healing touch of Jehovah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We continue to look at connecting to divine favor. And I'm going to read from the book of Luke, chapter 1. I'm going to read from verse 26. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hey, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. We now see the secret of Mary's glory. She was highly favored. So if you must have uncommon success, you must have favor. The supernatural hand that will guide you to greatness is favor. You need that divine favor to find a good wife. You need that divine favor to be a good husband. Divine favor is something every woman being on earth needs. Because there is no terrible situation that divine favor cannot turn around for good. With divine favor, there is no limit to what you can become in life. By divine favor, beloved, many have won battles. Many were made heroes. Many slaves became kings. Captives turned captors. Confirmed failures became successful. I decree upon your life as you are listening to me that you shall be plugged into the marathon of divine favor. You shall be plugged into the marathon of divine favor. You shall be plugged into the marathon of divine favor. You shall be plugged into the marathon of divine favor. You shall be plugged into the marathon of divine favor. You shall be plugged into the marathon of divine favor in the name of Jesus. By divine favor, you win the willingness of God to help you, protect you, and be kind to you. You need divine favor for complete victory and to make satanic agents your fools too. Divine favor will sustain you in times of temptations and lift you up when you are falling. Listen, beloved. A servant who has won divine favor will be treated with honor and will enjoy the privileges of the freedom. With divine favor, it becomes easy to have breakthroughs. Divine favor will open every door that was closed against you. It will remove all the obstacles on your way and bring you success where others failed. Divine favor will change your desert place of life to the Garden of Eden. Divine favor will change your mountains to plain land. Divine favor will turn your impossibilities to possibilities. Divine favor will make your wish to be his command, the command of God. To have that divine favor is to have concent concentrated presence of God that can do all things for you. Without that divine favor, tragedy can occur instantly. When divine favor is upon any man, that man will be powerful. Listen, divine favor frustrates all the efforts of the enemy against your life. I decree one more time that you shall be in the center of divine favor. You shall be in the center of divine favor. Your life shall be plugged to divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Your life shall be plugged to divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Divine favor, when it's upon a man, it will frustrate all the efforts of the enemy against his or alive. Divine favor makes you a mystery 
for you will be like lamb in the midst of wolves without being turned to pieces. Divine favor will make you a wonder to your contemporaries. When divine favor is upon you, beloved, Balaam could come against you with his seven altars, seven bullocks, and seven rams to curse you. His curse will turn to blessing because you have divine favor. With divine favor, you will have the shout of a king in your camp. With divine favor, God hears every sigh and bottles up every drop of tear. With divine favor, you can effect a breakthrough when the general condition is very adverse. Divine favor is a red mark the enemy must not cross. It keeps your enemy where your enemy belongs. May you be a candidate of divine favor in the name of Jesus. May you be a candidate of divine favor in the name of Jesus. May you be a candidate of divine favor in the name of Jesus. May you be a candidate of divine favor in the name of Jesus. May you be a candidate of divine favor in the name of Jesus. A brother was promoted from being a foreman to the general manager in a particular place because of divine favor. The day the owner of the company came to inspect the company, he was moving about with the inspectors. The owner of the company got to a particular place in that chemical factory and pointed at a pipe and was asking the general manager, look at what is happening to that pipe. What name do you call that? The general manager said, I don't know. Pointed at the supervisor, the supervisor said, I don't know. He pointed at this brother who was a former. The brother said immediately, he pointed at him, something like cold water poured on his head. He opened his mouth and began to talk. He didn't know what he was saying, but the man was shaking his head. An anointing came upon him that gave him the right answers. And this happened three times during this tour of the general manager to the company. At the end of the tour, the man said, this foreman seems to know a lot more than all of you, and he promoted him above his bosses. That can only happen by divine favor. Favor is grace in expression. Favor is manifestation without the harm of flesh. Favor is when everything is working for you. Favor is evil working out good for you. Favor is hatred breeding love for you. Favor is betrayal turning to betterment. Favor is selling a man for 30 silver coins and then he became a prime minister. Favor is receiving what you never asked for while you don't miss what you requested. Favor is doing your shopping. Why someone else picks up the bill? Favor will distinguish you in a world with a sea of people. Favor is standing out without being crushed. With favor, people show interest in you without you begging or loving for it. Look at David. Favor is the announcer of men. Favor causes men to locate you and deliver your rights into your hands. Favor makes men to remember you. I'm praying for somebody on this outreach. At every power that is making your helpers to forget you. Any power that is making your helpers to neglect you. I bind those powers and I cast them out in the name of Jesus. I bind them and I cast them out in the name of Jesus. Right there where you are. Be plugged into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be plugged into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be plugged into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be plugged into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Be plugged into the socket of divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Favor makes men to remember you. Favor makes your helpers to lose sleep until they come to your aid. Favor will make you somebody out of a nobody. Favor guarantees generous treatment of God. Favor guarantees divine preference, irrespective of the better qualities of others. Favor moves you forward while others are stagnant. Favor makes you laugh where others are crying. 
Favor announces a celebration, while others are disgraced. With favor, the more they persecute you, the more you grow. With favor, the more they take away from you, the more God adds to you. With favor, the more they divide you, the more God multiplies you. With favor, people's attention are commanded upon you. Favor makes you to be a source of wonder. Favor makes every good thing you touch to prosper. Favor opens up every closed gate of blessings. With favor, you forget all your past pain. People see you in a better light with favor. Ordinary men will become extraordinary in operation with favor. Favor confounds obstacles to miracles. Favor is God sharing his secrets with you. Favor immunizes you from wastage by the enemy. Favor is preferential treatment by heaven. Favor is God fighting your battles and stationing you to be a spectator. Favor is that which enables you to tower above every contrary circumstances. Favor is open heavens for you all the time, irrespective of your, of your circumstances. May you be a candidate of uncommon favor, of uncommon favor, divine favor, in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder, in the name of Jesus. Favor, beloved, is undeserved access, undeserved blessing. The hand of God will do wonders for you in the name of Jesus. Favor is undeserved access, undeserved blessings. With favor, you are selected for something good among many qualified candidates. With favor, you are chosen for the position that you are not actually qualified for, especially among others who are far better than you. With favor, you seek the face of God and you have all your requests answered. With favor, help is made available to you at a time and from a place least expected. Look at the man of Bethesda that Jesus went to. Favor will make you to be called to do a great work when you are not even thinking about it. With favor, you are guided to take a little effort that leads to great achievement. With favor, you always receive kindness from others as a result of God's answer upon you. For example, Joseph. With favor, what you touch begins to prosper, and people will begin to wonder how you did it. With favor, you begin to have the wisdom you never had. Favor will bring you advantages, privilege, opportunities, and promotions that are not qualified for. Favor will make you achieve more than 10 years of sweating and labor. Favor provokes rapid promotion. It makes all things to work together for you. Bible says that find it a wife. Find it a good thing, you obtain a favor from the Lord. Favor will give you a good wife. Favor guarantees supernatural prosperity. It delivers what labor cannot give. It produces wealth. It exposes enemies. It brings supernatural increase and promotion. It produces prominence. It causes rules, policies, regulations to be changed and reversed to your advantage. Favor is for heaven to give you a, hope, to, to give you a helping hand. Favor is unmerited mercy. Open doors, open heavens. God causing someone to desire to become a problem solver in your life. That's favor. Favor is an attitude of goodness towards you, not in exchange for what you have done. Favor is exit from a place of captivity and bondage. Favor is to treat someone better than someone else in an unfair manner. Favor is to place someone as an advantage over other persons. Favor is to be chosen among equals. So get to a place where you are not qualified for. Favor makes men seek help from you without knowing why. It's excessive kindness, unfair partiality, preferential treatment, gracious kindness, increased influence, supernatural turnarounds. Favor breaks your limitation. It awakens your dreams. It allows missed opportunities to be redeemed. Favor will open wide new doors of divine opportunities for you. The house you did not build, you will have it. The job you did not deserve, you will get it. The vineyard you did not plant, you will have it. You will have an approving attitude, an act of goodwill and generosity. You have bias at the expense of others. Anytime someone finds favor in the house of God, they bring forth something powerful. Now brought forth an ark. Abraham brought forth a nation. Moses brought forth a people. 
David brought forth a throne. Mary brought forth a son. You shall have divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. You shall have divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. You shall have divine favor by the power in the blood of Jesus. Shout this prayer loud and clear. You can say that it's a serious matter to have favor with God. Shout this prayer loud and clear. O God of favor, visit my life by fire in the name of Jesus. O God of favor, visit my life by fire in the name of Jesus. O God of favor, visit my life by fire in the name of Jesus. O God of favor, visit my life by fire in the name of Jesus. O God of favor, visit my life by fire in the name of Jesus. O God of favor, visit my life by fire in the name of Jesus. O God of favor, visit my life by fire in the name of Jesus. O God of favor, visit my life by fire in the name of Jesus. O God of favor, visit my life by fire in the name of Jesus. O God of favor, visit my life by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I plug my brain into the socket of divine favor. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my brain into the socket of divine favor. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my brain into the socket of divine favor. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my brain into the socket of divine favor. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my brain into the socket of divine favor. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I plug my brain into the socket of divine favor. By the power. In the blood of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, favor of the Almighty God. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Favor of the Almighty God. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Favor of the Almighty God. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Favor of the Almighty God. Overshadow my life in the name of Jesus. Favor of the Almighty God. Overshadow my life. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Hammer of God. Smite the head of any anti favor power. Fighting against my life. In the name of Jesus. Hammer of God. Smite the head of any anti favor power. Fighting against my life. In the name of Jesus. Hammer of God. Smite the head of any anti favor power. Fighting against my life. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So powers. Provoking my destiny to sleep. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers provoking my destiny to sleep. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers provoking my destiny to sleep. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers provoking my destiny to sleep. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers provoking my destiny to sleep. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers provoking my destiny to sleep. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire, 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 die by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say wicked powers. Hiding poison in my life. Die with your poison in the name of Jesus. Wicked powers. Hiding poison in my life. Die with your poison in the name of Jesus. Die with your poison, die with your poison, die with your poison, die with your poison, die with your poison. In the name of Jesus, wicked power, sir. Hiding poison in my life, die with your poison in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so demonic powers. Flying against my favor. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Demonic powers fly against my favor. Fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Demonic powers fly against my favor. 
fall down and die in the name of Jesus. Demonic powers flying against my favor, fall down and die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, bad truths of wicked elders against my favor. Die in the name of Jesus. Battles of wicked elders against my favor. Die in the name of Jesus. Battles of wicked elders against my favor. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Maki potola kayabo shondora bakantiaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say demonic mighty men. Fighting my destiny. Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. Demonic mighty men. Fighting my destiny. Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. Demonic mighty men. Fighting my destiny. Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. Demonic mighty men. Fighting my destiny. Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. 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 Demonic mighty men, fighting my destiny. Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every garment of battle that I was born with, blood of Jesus, shake them away in the name of Jesus. Every garment of battle that I was born with, blood of Jesus, shake them away, 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 shake them away. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers reporting me to the wicked. Wither by fire in the name of Jesus. Powers reporting me to the wicked. Wither by fire in the name of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Father, I'm praying for those who have joined us on this prayer outreach. All those powers that have been making evil pronouncement and evil, evil, evil decree on your family, on your life, on your progress, on your career, I command them to become useless now. In the name of Jesus, I cancel all anti-favor pronouncements. I cancel every anti-favor power. I cancel every anti-favor covenant. I break every anti-favor curses. In the name of Jesus. Those powers speaking death on your destiny, I command it to be wasted. 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 Any power speaking death against your destiny, I command the powers to be wasted. 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 In the name of Jesus, I decree upon your life that any power protecting your battles from dying, the end of that power has come. That power must die in the name of Jesus. And by the decree of heaven, in the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, receive divine favor. 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 
Receive divine favor. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Curses of Goliath over my destiny. Scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, O oh God, arise. Block those who want to block my progress. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and block those who want to block my progress. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and block those who want to block my progress. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and block those who want to block my progress. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and block those who want to block my progress. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and block those who want to block my progress. In the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise. And block those who want to block my progress. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say every battle assigned to knock me down. I knock you down. In the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to knock me down. I knock you down. In the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to knock me down. I knock you down. In the name of Jesus, every battle assigned to knock me down, I knock you down. In the name of Jesus, every battle assigned to knock me down, I knock you down. In the name of Jesus, every battle assigned to knock me down, I knock you down. In the name of Jesus, every battle assigned to knock me down, I knock you down. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you say this loud and clear? Every battle assigned to hold me down at the wrong place. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to hold me down at the wrong place. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to hold me down at the wrong place. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to hold me down at the wrong place. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to hold me down at the wrong place. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to hold me down the wrong place. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to hold me down the wrong place. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to hold me down the wrong place. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to hold me down the wrong place. Die in the name of Jesus. Every battle assigned to hold me down the wrong place. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say thou power of delay. In my progress, I cut you off. In the name of Jesus, thou power of delay my progress. I cut you off in the name of Jesus. Thou power of delay my progress. I cut you off in the name of Jesus. Thou power of delay my progress. I cut you off in the name of Jesus. Thou power of delay my progress. I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. I cut you off. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, O oh God, arise by the thunder of your power and enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise by the thunder of your power and enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise by the thunder of your power and enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise by the thunder of your power and enlarge my coast in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to block my best places. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to block my best places. Die in the name of Jesus. 
Powers assigned to block my best places. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to block my best places. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to block my best places. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to block my best places. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to block my best places. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to block my best places. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to block my best places. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to block my best places. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you say this loud and clear? Arrows of the night. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 We continue our session on connecting to divine favor. And we read quickly two scriptures. Two very important scriptures. The first one is Proverbs chapter 18, verse 22. It says, Whoso findeth a wife, findeth a good thing, and obtaineth favor of the Lord. So finding a good wife, finding a good husband, is part of favor, obtaining favor from the Lord. And then, if you look again, if you look again at the book of Psalm, Psalm 5, Psalm 5, verse 12, For thou, Lord, will bless the righteous with favor, for thou, Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor will thou compass him as with a shield. I pray that the Lord will compass with favor as a shield in the name of Jesus. We're still looking at this very important topic connecting to divine favor. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Favor is an exit from a place of captivity. And bondage. Favor is an attitude of goodness, attitude of goodness towards you, not in exchange for payment for what you have done. Favor is divine approval, divine accommodation, divine admiration, divine assistance, divine backing, divine bias, divine benefit, divine blessings, divine cooperation, divine goodwill. Divine help, divine kindness, divine grace, divine partiality, divine regard, divine respect, divine service, divine support, divine pampering. For the Almighty to make an exception of you, divine promotion, is the Almighty smiling on you, divine endorsement, divine honor, a favorable regard, gracious kindness for everyone to consider you as a favorite even speaking for you even settling you even giving you an advantage even giving you friendly regard it means concession favor will make you stand out without being crushed it will give you supernatural assistance to become something in life people will show interest in you without you begging or lobbying for it cause it's meant to locate you and deliver your right into your hands Favor guarantees continuity of life, is the strength of progress, the termination of struggles. Favor is divine visitation. Favor will make somebody out of a nobody. Without favor, destiny will be granted. Favor is godly delight, generous treatment of God, presence of God upon your life. Favor commands people's attention on you, makes you to be a source of wonder. And every good thing you touch begins to prosper. People see you in a better light. Favor makes you to forget your past pain. It makes you to be divinely honored. It makes God to share his secrets with you. Favor is your spiritual capital for advancement. Favor immunizes you from wasting by the enemy. Favor engineers productive performance. Favor is preferential treatment. F favor is God granting you access to the mysteries of his world. Favor enables you to tower above every contrary circumstance. Favor is divine lubrication, heavenly support, heavenly sustenance. Favor is supply of creative wisdom from heaven. Favor is for God to promote you above others. Favor is to be considered God's favorite. Favor is for God to bestow privileges upon you. 
Favor is for God to confer honor upon you. Favor is for you to be preferred above others. For heaven to give you saintly regard. Favor is to get open heavens for you all the time, irrespective of your circumstances. Favor is to have heaven single out for blessings all the time. It's to obtain favorable regard. Favor has power. With favor, bondages break. How do you provoke divine favor? This is why you must listen very, very attentively. What are the keys to promoting divine favor? I'm going to give you all the keys. But let me let you understand that God, who is a merciful God, will respect your effort at making these keys work for you. We respect all the efforts you make. So make sure you comply with all the keys. Make sure you put in your best. The Lord is with you. And that's why you are connected to this program. What are the keys for divine favor? Number one, you must be born again. Number two, you must control your tongue. Three, you must control your temper. Four, you must be disciplined. Five, you must be a good listener. Six, you must reject discouragement. Seven, you must reject depression. Eight, you must discover your destiny. Nine, you must give sacrificial offering. Ten, learn to pray in the spirit constantly. Eleven, be righteous. Twelve, do good. Thirteen, be humble. Fourteen, be forgiving and avoid bitterness. 15. Embrace the Bible 100%. 16. Obey God 100%. 17. Guard your mind. 18. Make God your financial partner. 19. Practice uncompromising holiness. 20. Go out of your way to be a blessing to others. 21. Be a prayer addict. 22. Be true. Don't let dishonesty be found in you. 23. Have a rugged determination to succeed. 24. See something of praise in others. 25. 25. Have violent faith. 26. Be a friend of fasting. 27. Be faithful in whatever you are doing. 28. Rejoice in the Lord always. 29. Live a life of thanksgiving. 30. Avoid greed. 31. Avoid sexual sin. 32. Be generous. 33. Be a faithful titan. 34. Fear the Lord. 35. Keep company with the favored. 36. Don't forsake mercy and truth. 37. Expect favor. Favor expectation makes you to recognize the fact that no matter how skillful and educated you are, you need supernatural divine assistance. 38. Study about favor. That's now Understand that favor flows through the anointing. 40. Begin to confess the favor of God in your life and be consistent with it. 41. Carry out constant self-examination to see where you are going wrong. 42. Strive for excellence. 43. Hunger and thirst for knowledge and truth. 44. You show favor to others. 45. Give to the poor. 46. Be a person of integrity, even, though, if, even when no one else is around. 47. Be a person of character instead of being a character. 48. Treat people the way you want to be treated. 49. Pray for and acquire divine wisdom. 50. Pray against antifavor spirit. 51. Pray for favor. 51. Pray for favor. And, and lastly, be a friend of God. These are the keys to be in the center of divine favor. The Lord will help you. Practicing some of these keys is enough to grant you favor. Practicing half of them will give you uncommon favor. Practicing all of them will put you in the marathon of divine favor. The Lord will help you in the mighty name of Jesus. This is the time to bring out your anointing oil. Put some drops of anointing oil on your palm. And I'm going to pray on that anointing oil on your palm now. Let your amen be dynamic as I pray on the oil on your palm. Put your anointing oil on your palm now. 
Father, we thank you because it is the anointing that breaketh every yoke. Father, we thank you because you have never failed your people. Father, we thank you because this oil represents the Holy Spirit. It's a symbol of the Holy Spirit. Your word says that anointeth my head with oil and my cup runneth over. It is time, Lord, for the cup of your children to run over. It is time to bless them, locate them for blessings. It is time for preferential treatment of heaven for your children. Father, let your power flow into this oil in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil of healing, the oil of deliverance and power. Let this oil carry the favor of God. Let it carry the favor of God. Let it carry the favor of God. Let this oil eliminate every bad luck. Let this oil eliminate every misfortune. Let this oil eliminate every unrighteousness of darkness. As you anoint yourself, there shall be breakthrough. Maritally, spiritually, maritally, spiritually, career-wise, in every area, ministerially, there will be breakthrough as you anoint yourself. Makita li kayabusha. I sanctify, consecrate this oil in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now rub this oil on your forehead. Rub it on your forehead. As you are rubbing on your forehead, let no man trouble you. For you bear in your body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Shout this after me loud and clear. Now that you have anointed your head with oil, shout this after me loud and clear. Make sure this prayer of favor, you say it from the bottom of your heart. Don't let anybody's voice be louder than you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So powers attending any meeting to destroy my favor. Destroy yourselves in the name of Jesus. Powers attending any meeting to destroy my favor. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Powers attending any meeting to destroy my favor. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Powers attending any meeting to destroy my favor. Destroy yourself. Destroy yourself. Destroy yourself. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every anti favor mark upon my head. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every anti favor mark upon my head. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every anti favor mark upon my head. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every anti favor mark upon my head. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every anti favor mark upon my head. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every anti favor mark upon my head. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every anti favor mark upon my head. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every anti favor mark upon my head. Clear away in the name of Jesus. Every anti favor mark upon my head. Clear away in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say this with fire and with power. Say, enemies of my favor shall mock and disgrace themselves in the name of Jesus. Enemies of my favor shall mock and disgrace themselves in the name of Jesus. Enemies of my favor shall mock and disgrace themselves in the name of Jesus. Enemies of my favor shall mock and disgrace themselves. In the name of Jesus, enemies of my favor shall mock and disgrace themselves. In the name of Jesus, enemies of my favor shall mock and disgrace themselves. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers, deny me of blessings. I cut you down with the sword of fire. Powers deny me of blessings. I cut you off with the sword of fire. Power deny me of blessings. I cut you off with the sword of fire. Powers deny me for blessings. Deny me of my blessings. I cut them off with the sword of fire. I cut them off with the sword of fire. I cut them off with the sword of fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. 
the battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. The battle of thou shall not be congratulated. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every power that wants my destiny to die in the womb of battles. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants my destiny to die in the womb of battles. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants my destiny to die in the womb of battles. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants my destiny to die in the womb of battles. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants my destiny to die in the womb of battles. Die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants my destiny to die in the womb of battles, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants my destiny to die in the womb of battles, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants my destiny to die in the womb of battles, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants my destiny to die in the womb of battles, die in the name of Jesus. Any power that wants my destiny to die in the womb of battles, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so, O oh God, arise. Overshadow me with mysterious favor. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Overshadow me with mysterious favor. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Overshadow me with mysterious favor. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and overshadow me with mysterious favor. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Overshadow me with mysterious favor. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and overshadow me. With mysterious favor in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and overshadow me with mysterious favor in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and overshadow me with mysterious favor in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise, overshadow me with mysterious favor in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and overshadow me with mysterious favor in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Language of the enemy against me, scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me, die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me, die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me, die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. Unity of darkness against me. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this again louder than anyone around you? Mad spirits assigned to bury my prayers. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Mad spirits assigned to bury my prayer. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Mad spirits assigned to bury my prayer. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Can you shout this loud and clear and be specific? If you want to say marriage, say marriage. If you want to say career, say career. If you want to say ministry, say ministry. If you want to say progress, say progress. Put something inside this prayer. 
Can you shout this loud and clear? Holy Ghost, overshadow my marriage with favor. Holy Ghost, overshadow my marital life with favor. Holy Ghost, overshadow my career with favor. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray now. Be specific. Holy Ghost, overshadow my ministry with your favor. Overshadow my life with your favor. Overshadow my body with your favor. Ask for favor all around you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, blood of Jesus. Arise and envelope you with divine favor. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus arise. Envelope you with divine favor. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus arise. And envelope you with divine favor. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus arise. Envelope you with divine favor. In the name of Jesus. Blood of Jesus arise. Envelope you with divine favor. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Put the oil on your palm again, beloved. Put the oil on your palm again. Makita likaya bushundoraba. Put the oil on your palm again. Father, let this oil become the oil of breakthrough. The oil of power, the oil of glory. The oil of strength. The oil that will disgrace every unrighteousness of darkness. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Now anoint your hands and anoint your legs with this oil. Anoint your hand and anoint your legs with this oil. And say what I'm going to say after me. Say, I, you mention a name, Daniel Olukoya. Enter into my season of favor. By the power and the blood of Jesus. I, Daniel Olukoya, enter into my season of favor. By the power and the blood of Jesus. I, Daniel Olukoya, enter into my season of favor. By the power and the blood of Jesus. I, Daniel Olukoya, enter into my season of favor. By the power and the blood of Jesus, I Daniel Olukoya, I enter into my season of favor. By the power and the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say divine favor. Envelope my hands in the name of Jesus. Divine favor, envelope my hands in the name of Jesus. Divine favor, envelope my hands in the name of Jesus. Divine favor, envelope my hands in the name of Jesus. Divine favor, envelope my hands in the name of Jesus. Divine favor, envelope my hands in the name of Jesus. Divine favor, envelope my hands in the name of Jesus. Divine favor, envelope my hands in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I see somebody praying this prayer. All the witchcraft power gathered to fight you will destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. And those powers that have been using your body as habitation of sickness. I said them a bliss. 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 In the name of Jesus. Beginning from now on, every good doors that have been closed against you, I command them to open. I command them to open. I command them to open. You will have testimonies. The glory of God will fill your life. Makapoto likayabo shenderaba. You that demon of frustration, I bind you and I cast you out. You cannot stay in that life anymore. In the name of Jesus. That rag that has been operating your foundation shall not capture you. In the name of Jesus. The rag operating your foundation shall not capture you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name. Within the next few minutes, about 21 transactions will take place. And as many people as are ready to cry out like blind Bartimaeus will benefit from those transactions. As you pray these prayers, focus your mind on heaven. 
You might have been passing through one or two other, one or two other things that are bothering you. But put that aside now. Call on him who has the everlasting word. Call on him whose word has the overruling power. Doctors might have said something. The lawyer must have said something. Conspirators must have said something. Your haters must have said something. But there is a voice in heaven that has an overruling power. His voice is the eternal voice. His power goes from country to country, from continent to continent, from village to village. His power is the imperial power. His power is the power that no man can contest with. Call on those power, the power of God now, that power that can disgrace any power. Call upon him with this prayers. I want you to pray now. And we have a few minutes to pray them. But each of those prayers carry a transaction. Destiny changing transactions. Thou want me to die in battle. You are a Lord. In the name of Jesus. I shall not die in battle. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are that person in this service and you receive an actual phone call from a witch doctor, a native doctor called you that your case has been brought here. Please run quickly to this altar and be on your knees as you pray these prayers. Can you shout this loud and clear? Power to erase insult. Can you shout this loud? Come upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. name we pray if you are in this service this morning my brother a sister and you are not married yet can you shout a loud hallelujah let your hallelujah be louder it is only those two groups of people I want to pray this prayer now Although as a parent you can pray it, you can stand in gap for your own children. There is a purpose for this prayer this morning. Brothers and sisters say, I'm not married yet. If you are a woman, you will say any power preparing the wrong man for me to marry. If you are a man, you say any power preparing the wrong woman for me to marry, die by fire. Are uh, those people ready to pray now? Let your prayer roar like thunder. Any power preparing the wrong man for me to marry. 
the name of Jesus. I said, sister, I need to pray this prayer loud and clear. But set a likayabo shenda rabo sanda. Naribo sopoli katende kayabo shenda raba. Aha, aha. A transaction is taking place. Jesus name we pray thank you Jesus and I thank you for praying that prayer Person. praying and fasting to see my hand can you say that loud lion of Judah Waste them in the name of Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, it is written that we will lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let your power fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Let his hands break yokes. Let it destroy multiple curses. Let it send back to the sender every arrow of darkness. Let it destroy every bewitchment. Let it break every curse of infirmity and affliction. In the name of Jesus. Your word says. Affliction shall be far away from your people. Oppression shall be far away from your people. Every spirit of oppression. Wherever you are hiding. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, or you are not feeling okay in any part of your body, smite it 21 times, shouting, go back to your senders. Let's go! Do it well, do it well. Begin to check your body now. That's right. The witchcraft sponsored infirmity in the eyes, in the womb, in the backbone, in that right leg is going back to the senders. Check your body very well. Do what you could not do before you got here. The spirit behind the migraine. The spirit behind the shortness of breath is going right back to the center. You, the spirit of death and hell, in the head, in the chest, 
in the womb. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Check your body now. Check your body very well. If you find that you brought a situation here, you brought a sickness here, it has disappeared. Find a way to this hotel very quickly. Don't let the devil put it back on you. Just find a way here very quickly. The Lord is touching one woman over there. You find it unbelievable, but it has happened. Check your body very well. Don't hide so that the devil will not put it back. The power that does not want you to sing your song and dance your dance. We bury them this morning in the name of Jesus. Now with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder. Say, my greatness hidden in the belly of the coven, sir. Jump out my fire in the name of Jesus. Something is happening over there. Jesus name we pray something is about to be taken out of the womb of one woman it's been troubling you but there's an angel by your side I'm going to count seven from here just smite that womb aggressively and then check back what the enemy has put there whether it's still there the doctor has said there's a problem in the womb. Get yourself ready now. When I can't begin to smite it. One. Do it well. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Check that your womb now. Once you find that what is there has disappeared, run quickly to this altar. Don't let the devil put it back at all. Don't negotiate with the enemy. Arrows from witchcraft birds. This is a very serious prayer. Can I hear you shouting it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Backfire! In the name of Jesus.
command their arrows to backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. Say serpents and scorpions. Hanging around my glory. Is that the Lord that can shout it? He needs to shout this loud. You are a lord. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray one hand on the head the second hand on your belly button something is about to happen your head is a symbol of your destiny that your belly button place it's a symbol of your inheritance. You are going to shout this loud and clear now. Foundational powers. Say, I will not go far. Your time is up. There. In the name of Jesus. This is not a money to negotiate. Masateli katela kaaba, baribo soponde kaya bo shente rabo santa. In Jesus' name we pray. My heart, in the word of the Lord. Prosper by fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray three prayers before you sit down Jesus confronted the fig tree and he issued the curse of God upon the tree we are also allowed to issue the curse of God upon anything growing in our life that we don't want. This is why I want you to pray this three prayers seriously. You may say I've prayed it before, but pray it under the anointing of today here. Every tree not planted by the Father in my life dry up down in the name of Jesus every tree not planted by the father into my life die in the name of Jesus Jesus. 
Jesus name we pray say whoa unto any satanic vessel assigned to attack me can you shout the word let me hear you Shout it again loud and clear. Whoa! Unto any satanic vessel. As in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray power sir defiling me in the dream can you shout it loud you are alive in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for your grace upon your people. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon everyone present here and make our lives a blessing. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Before you sit down, you need to walk up to seven people. I say, my friend, you shall sing your song and dance your dance. In the name of Jesus. Say it to seven people. You shall sing your song and dance your dance. Amen. Go to several more people. Say, my friend, any power that wants you to die shall replace you in the grave. In the name of Jesus. Any power that wants you to die shall replace you in the grave. Amen. Have yourself a few minutes. God bless you. Some time ago, we began to look at the school of winners the school of winners as many people as are here this morning and you love to be a winner can you raise up your right hand and shout louder than anyone around you anointing of the winner my life is available Come upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say any power. 
aiming to spoil this year for me. This is what to call banking prayer, advanced prayer. Can you shout it loud? You are alive. Jesus name we pray say any seed of wickedness planted in my childhood can you say it loud and clear your voice is not loud enough Holy Ghost fire destroy them in the name of Jesus destroy the seed of wickedness thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray all eyes closed please don't say anything as I enter into intercession for this group of people don't even say amen father I thank you because you can do all things I thank you because your word says every enemy that comes against us shall flee from before our face. They come against us in one way, they shall flee in seven ways. Father, these eight people here whose names have been taken to evil altars. And even as we speak now, their names, photographs are in the altars of darkness. And this is why they have been oppressed. Mapata Lika Rido Seteleka those eight people now let your power begin to move upon their lives one by one number one person number two number three number four number five number six number seven number eight Just be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. In the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying for these 15 people too who, who have been having confused and unprogressive dreams. And those evil dreams are they are manifesting physically. Father, where they are now, begin to lay your hands upon such people and let their deliverance be instant. Number one. Number two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen.
I decree upon everyone gathered there this morning that the Holy Ghost bulldozer shall clear away every power blocking your advancement in the name of Jesus I said Holy Ghost bulldozer shall clear away every power blocking your advancement in the name of Jesus a servant for the man introduce you to the atomic or nuclear power of the spiritual realm in Philippians chapter 3 verse 10 Philippians chapter 3 verse 10 That I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings be made conformable unto his death. Here was a prayer point prayed by Paul the Apostle that I may know him. Two, that I may know the power of his resurrection. Keep that at the back of your mind. In Gospel according to St. John, John chapter 11, verse 25. John 11, 25. The Bible says, Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, Yet shall he live. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Turn back to the first chapter of that John. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. All things were made by him. All things were made by him. And without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life. And the life was the light of man. And the light shined in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. The darkness could not just understand it. I pray for somebody that your life will be a mathematics the enemy cannot solve. The darkness cannot complain. The, can you just understand it? In Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. Colossians chapter 1, verse 16. For by him were all things created that are in heaven, that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or principalities powers all things were created by him and for him and he is before all things and by him all things consist by him all things consist I hope we are noticing all these sweeping words all things, no exception all, all, no exception whether it's visible, whether it's invisible, whether they are thrones, whether they are dominions, whether they are powers, everything. Ranging from your Bible to the air on your head. All things were created by him. Go right back to the Old Testament. In Ezekiel chapter 37. Ezekiel 37. Ezekiel chapter 37. From verse 1. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were very dry and he said unto me son of man can these bones live and I answered oh Lord God thou knowest again he said unto me prophesy unto these bones and said unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. 
Thus said the Lord God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause bread to enter into you, and ye shall live. Verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. And behold, a shaking. And the bones came together, bone to bone. And when I behold, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them. And the skin covered them above. But there was no breath. Then he said it unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man. And say to the wind, thus saith the Lord God, come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe unto this slave, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood upon their feet, an exceeding great army. A particular power entered into dry bones, and they lived. That particular power took the bones, put the flesh back on it, and breathed into their nostrils, and they lived. In Second Kings chapter 13, Second Kings chapter 13, look at verse 21. Second Kings 13, verse 21. And it came to pass, as they were burying a man, behold, they spied a band of men. They cast the man into the sepulchre of Elisha. And when the man was let down, and touched the bones of Elijah. He revived and stood on his feet. Connecting to the resurrection power. Beloved, there is a power known as the resurrection power. Again, this is another area of serious ignorance that many Christians don't know about. Paul, who had been born again for 30 years or more, Pray this prayer for him 30 years after conversion that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. There is a power that creates. There is a power that energizes. There is a quickening power. There is a power that can make a life and can also kill. Most powers can kill but they cannot make a life. Because it's easier to kill than to make a life. There is a voice that can speak to the dead and the dead will hear. Beloved, it is a lamentable tragedy. That there are many weapons in the word of God that we do not use or we don't know how to use or we are not aware of them. Our ignorance of these weapons is at our peril. Connecting to the resurrection power will certainly change your life. And that's what I'm introducing you to today. What is known as the resurrection power is the power that make it alive. The power that kill it without hands. The power that makes all things to consist. The power that changes dry bones. The power that speaks creative words. Creative words. A man got married for years and he was looking for fruit of the womb. But they've gone to the hospital. The hospital said the man has zero sperm cows. And once they say that, it's only by divine intervention. Then the man came to a meeting. And in that meeting, the man of God quoted John chapter 1. In the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And that word was God. All things, all things were made by him. Without him was nothing made that was made. Without him was nothing made that was made. The man of God out digressed for a few seconds. And said, this means God has every organ of the body in his warehouse. And that is capable of replacing the, any dead organ. Everything that the man of God said in the sermon, this man did not hear again. The one he just focused on. God has spare parts. God has spare parts. God has spare parts. God has spare parts. And when the man of God said, begin to pray, he laid the sounds under his tummy and smote the place and prayed vigorously. Prayed vigorously. He prayed more painfully because a woman who lives across their flat, one day that there was a quarrel, the man said, shut up, shut up. You did Mr. February. Mr. February. So, as he was praying there, you did Mr. February. You did Mr. February. Made him to pray more aggressively. By the next month, the wife became pregnant. I'm praying for somebody. 
any organ that is not functioning well, or that is diseased, that the enemy has attacked, or that the enemy has removed, or that the enemy has defied, I decree right now that the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ should fall upon that place in the name of Jesus. Receive that resurrection power in the name of Jesus. Receive it, 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 in the name of Jesus. A sevenfold amen. What do we mean by the resurrection power? Is the power that accumulates fire within your bones. It's the power that destroys stagnation and eliminates decay. It's the power of though dead but yet speak it. It's the power that brings the breath of life. It's the power that raises both physically dead and spiritually dead. It's the power that speaks living words to dead things. It's the power that speaks words that matter on earth and matter in the grave. Is the power that arrests coughing spirits. Is the power that actually ensures our justification. Is the power that shows that Jesus Christ actually defeated death. Is the power that confirmed all this truth of the scripture. It's actually the power that differentiates Christianity from all other religions. There is no founder of any religion that rose from the dead. Is this power that gives Christians a living hope. Is the power that affirms all that Jesus said. Is the power that frees us from sin. Is the power that defeats Satan. Is the power that actually demonstrates the uniqueness of Christianity. Is the power that sustains life. What is the most powerful force in the universe today? Is it the power of electricity? No. Is it the power of physical nuclear and atomic power? No. Is it the power of the waves? No. Is it the power of the wind? No. Is it the power of thunder and lightning? No. The most powerful force in this universe is the power of resurrection. Because it has the power to change lives. Changes people from death to life. Releases people from bondages. Revives people from coldness, physically and spiritually. The power of resurrection. Is the power I'm inviting you to connect to at this service. The resurrection power is a great and tremendous sign that God has said what he has to say and he will do everything he promised to do. It is the power that arrests the spirit of death and hell. I pray that tonight the ability to key into this power will fall upon you in the name of Jesus was many years ago at the press city. A woman was to deliver a baby. And by the time she got to the hospital, the nurse got confused. Everybody ran away. And they went and called the doctor. Meanwhile, this sister was already scared. She had prayed for that child for 11 years. And she fell into labor. Went to the hospital. And the first nurse to check didn't say anything. But ran away. Brought the matron. That one took him. Put the stethoscope on. Check. Ran away. At that level, the sister was already crying. She knew there was a problem. So they brought in the doctor. The doctor too came, checked, and said, Madam, we can't hear the heartbeat. And he said, That's not the problem now. Right? Is it heartbeat that is the problem? She didn't understand. She said, Madam, it means that the baby has stopped breathing. The baby is dead. She said, What? Dead? She started crying. It's okay. Why is your husband? Why is your husband? Why is your husband? They called the husband. The husband came. Now told him, what do we do now? Can we evacuate the dead baby? The man said, no. We are going to press it. And they came when the power of Saint was on. And as the prayers went on that day, there was a word that we should form ourselves into a circle of five. But the woman was the first one in the circle. And the prayer they were to pray for anyone in the circle is that receive the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. They prayed. 
and has left the circle, there was a word from the Lord that there is a pregnant woman in that circle. Your baby has come alive. And immediately, there was vibration. She ran back again. This time, not to the hospital, but to a Christian maternity home. And there, she delivered the baby. When the baby came out, the baby was as black as charcoal. It was already dead. But by the power of that resurrection, the baby started, was breathing again. And now, I think this child has entered the secondary school. Now, what happened in that meeting? This power I'm asking you to connect to was what fell upon that woman. I'm praying for somebody that that resurrection power will fall upon you in the name of Jesus. That amen is not loud enough. Remember, we are talking about all things. Body, soul, spirit, business, finance. There is none that resurrection power will fall upon them and you will see a blossoming. Jesus was meek and gentle. However, sometimes it becomes loud and noisy. Jesus himself is that resurrection and the life. The resurrection power is not theology, it's a person. Jesus said, I am that resurrection. Things can't remain still and quiet when the power of resurrection is manifested. The stillness and quietness of the cemetery will be disrupted once the power of resurrection appears. Jesus got to the tomb of Lazarus. He prayed to his father gently. He said, Father, I thank you. Because you always hear me. But by the time he turned to the tomb of Lazarus, the Bible said he cried in a loud voice, Lazarus! Comfort. And that young man had the voice of resurrection and came out. The spirit came back and reunited with his body. The resurrection power called Lazarus back to life. Anything the enemy has killed in the body of anyone today, in the life of anyone, the power of resurrection will bring them to life in the name of Jesus. Let that amen roar like thunder. How do you connect to this power? You must surrender your life to Jesus. Repent from all sins. Then learn to control and tame your tongue. Many of us talk too much. And so in the spirit realm, our words carry no power. Die to self. Receive the baptism of Holy Ghost and fire. Have violent faith. And pray the kind of living prayers we are going to start praying. So tonight, we are not here to play or to joke. Get yourself ready now. Bow down your heads where you are. Say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Wherever you are, why all eyes are closed. Just see what I'm going to say after me. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Few minutes to pray many life-changing prayers. Connecting to the resurrection power. I see destinies being restored. I see the yoke of delayed disappointment stagnant being broken. This is not a night to negotiate like I told you. It's a night to strike when the iron is hot. Down resurrection power!
we pray. Please don't be tired. These angels have just started work. I pray that the Lord will strengthen you here tonight. I don't want you to go away from here to say, Can you shout this again loud and clear? Every coffin arrow. Go back to your sender. In the name of Jesus. name we pray we are now getting into deep waters this is an arena where if you keep quiet it is very unfortunate every dead good thing in my life can you shout this with only anger For so many people there who can cling to it. By the power of resurrection, it is my turn to laugh in the name of Jesus. Yes. name we pray now you need to be specific if it's my body say my body if it's my career say my career if it's my marriage say my marriage you will shout this loud and clear power of resurrection blow upon my career in the name of Jesus yes Yes, yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, God, that destroy Pharaoh without mercy, shall destroy your enemies without mercy. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray for your friend like that. name we pray turn to somebody else point at the person say every charm speaking against you backfire in the name of Jesus In 
Jesus' name we pray. Now lay your weapon form against your life shall prosper. The Spirit of God will move you forward in the new way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. It is dangerous not to strike when the iron is hot. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers! Offering wicked sacrifice against me. In the name of Jesus. This is the first prayer. Pray it from your heart. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This second one, I want you to lose your temper in the Holy Ghost as you pray. Powers are signed to steal my laughter. Can you shout it loud? You are of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through. In Jesus name we pray. This is number three. Batus that wants my life to be like a dry tree. Can you shout it loud? In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray every list containing my name for new year disaster can you say that loud somebody needs to shout this loud In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This is number five. Can you say this loud and clear? Battle 
of praying without solution. Can you shout it loud? Expire! In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Tumor. Say, I speak to the womb of 2023. Favor me by fire. In the name of Jesus. Favor me by fire. In Jesus name we pray. Say so, oh God arise. In this year, turn me to fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. All those who want to enjoy the ministry of open doors, that is for doors to open to you, good doors, even where you do not expect, those who want that kind of testimony should pray like a man or woman that is not ready to take no for an answer the bible says in the days that i cry then shall my enemies turn back say this i know for god is with me oh god Allah, convert my days of battles to days of testimonies Can I hear the sisters shouting it? There is a sister who needs to shout this prayer. Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray it. See doors open already. As a student here, you just pray that prayers. Within one week, that door that you want will open unto you. Any power selling me or my family to agents of darkness.
Can you say it loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer, as we pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting, you notice that good opportunities come your way. Then you have a dream then the opportunity vanishes. Find the way to this altar and pray like a mad prophet. A good opportunity comes, a dream comes up, and that's all. Find a way to this altar and pray with fire and with power. Every agreement To bad luck. Can you shout this loud? Pray in the name of Jesus. You must not negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Every seed of bad luck in my body. In the name of Jesus. Aha, Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. Let your voice be the loudest sir, as you shout this prayer. Lion of Judah, arise! Kill every lion of darkness in my life. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. Lion of Judah, arise. Kill every lion of darkness in my life. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray whether you feel this prayer concerns you or not pray it power of polygamous witchcraft sitting on my glory in the name of Jesus Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. We are not here to negotiate. We are not here to joke. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive the fire. Receive that fire. 
that will burn away every plantation of darkness. Makapota setende yabo shende rabo sende yaba. Jesus name we pray any occultic power assigned to kill me kill yourself in the name of Jesus somebody is breaking through with this prayers name we pray silence please don't say anything even don't say amen just focus on Jesus the author and finisher of our faith there are 21 angels moving in the midst now surrounding this place and they're here to do mysterious things that will move destinies forward they're here to ensure that God raises a voice for you where you have no voice they're here to ensure that does open unto you in strange places. They are there, there to ensure that even people who don't know you will begin to fight for you. Silence. Silence. You, that person, always sitting for satanic examination in the dream. It is a dream of retrogression. A dream of tribulation. Right there where you are. The angels are already by your side. Yes. They are laying hands on your head. This may be why you may not be able to stand on your feet. There's a power of God coming upon you. Silence. Silence. That person here that the enemy has fired the arrows of financial embarrassment into your life. There are angels beside you now. They are taking things out from your eyes, from your chest, from your hands. From your eyes, from your eyes, from your chest, from your hands. That's the power of God coming upon you. You cannot hide. Silence now. I'm going to count seven from here. The power of God will fall on three groups of people. Group one. Those who are suffering from demonic delay of their miracles. Group number three. Those whose, whose helpers are being chased away by the powers of darkness. Group number three. This one, one problem goes, another one comes. One problem goes, another one comes. I'm going to count seven. The power of God will fall upon you. And you shall receive angelic visitation. One. Two. 
three, four, five, six, seven. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody will now shout this loud and clear. Before you sit down, let your voice be the loudest here. I want to encourage you to pray this prayer from your heart before these angels begin to take this back to heaven. Working hard to pull me down. Can you shout it with only anger? I think you should try harder than that. You are alone in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, you are breaking through. You are breaking through. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. name we pray can you shout this loud and clear aggressive altar priests attacking my life and this those priests of satan who are by evil altars attacking your life. Aggressive altar priest attacking my life. I scatter your altar. Duh! In the name of Jesus. name we pray <laughs> say every wicked pot used in preparing wickedness against me can you shout it loud Jesus. Aha, aha. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, thou wicked elder son. Of my breakthroughs, can you shout this loud? 
Your voice is not loud enough. Damn! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Bakate sete la kaya bo shende rabo sante. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. You have commanded the evil arrows to backfire. Therefore, every arrow of backwardness, every arrow of bad dreams, every arrow of loss, every arrow of failure, every arrow of infirmity, that place where you are is not your habitation. You have made a huge mistake by afflicting this sister, by afflicting that brother. For it is written that oppression shall be far from the people of God. Therefore, any evil arrow in anybody's body, in the spirit, in the soul, backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire, 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 backfire. Let your heaven roar like thunder. Backfire, 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 in the name of Jesus. Any curse issued against the head, let the curses backfire in the name of Jesus. Any curse issued against the works of your hand, let the curses backfire in the name of Jesus. There are 52 persons here who are about to receive a turn around miracle. Uh, everything will depend on how you pray the prayers. I'm going to ask you to pray now. We're not here to joke. We're here for serious business. Say, Oh God, arise! Connect me to opportunities that will change my story. Connect me to opportunities that will change my story. If I were in your shoes, I will pray this prayer with all the strength that I have. Opportunities that we change my story in the name of Jesus. Yes. Them we pray. Silence. Yes. As the first person. Number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight, number nine, number ten. God, 
let your voice say shake the enemy out of my destiny in the name of Jesus let your voice shake the enemy out of my destiny Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. The next three prayers. I want to specially appeal to you that as this massive number of angels are coming in now, don't miss that opportunity. Three prayers that must be prayed like blind Bartimaeus. Power, sir! Speaking to evil altars because of me. Can you shout it loud? I want to hear the voice of the sisters. Sisters, I want you to shout it in anger. Let the brothers roll and turn that. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Their altars must disgrace them. Their altars must put them to shame. Yes. Their altars must swallow them. Makate sete la kaya bo shendera bo santa. Yes. Jesus name we pray ah, this is very wonderful wonderful say come Jesus name we pray is this number three say it with boldness and fire voices saying I will not go far expire in the name of Jesus Continue, continue. That is it. Continue. Don't negotiate. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for another man of water service. And we thank you for bringing your children here by your power. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. As many as are gathered unto this program, any agenda of opportunity wasters, 
against your life is scattered now in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to push you to the back when you are supposed to be at the front with a sevenfold amen. I command that power to die in the name of Jesus. Every anti greatness power of your father's house, of your mother's house, no matter how long they have been traveling with you. I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Silence now. Silence now. If you are that woman here, or that man, and at the time you are having trouble they took you to a flowing stream you remove your clothes and threw them into the stream please quickly find a way to this altar and pray the way you've never prayed before that the marine bankers you release what they have stolen from you you really must pray very hard and this is not a day to joke everybody including those at the front will pray like this let your voice draw like fire and like thunder as you pray this prayers powers Assigned to downgrade my destiny. Can you shout it loud? Your time is up. Day. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Great physician! In the name of Jesus. Second touch. In Jesus. 
Jesus' name we pray. Say, so where is the Lord God of Elijah? Alright! Scatter the enemies of my breakthroughs. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That sister over there, that brother over there, I see river in your village that they worship inside this water. It's a huge warehouse killing people of prosperity and hiding stolen breakthroughs right there where you are the prayer you just prayed now has recovered your breakthroughs in the river therefore recover your wedding gown from that river recover your business from that river Recover, 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 recover. In the name of Jesus. Sapling. That person over there. A decision has been made by the COVID. That is, this, you, are, you are aiming for something now. Which no member of your family, living or dead, has ever attempted. And the enemy has been blocking your way. But that prayer you just prayed now has opened the door for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, before these angels leave here, shout this loud. Doors of my breakthroughs, sir. Open my fire. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. A seven fold man. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is your friend in the School of Prayer and Deliverance, Daniel Olukoya. You are most warmly welcome to the Revival Hour. A time for those who want to fulfill their ministerial destinies, and who have brought God determination to make heaven. God bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you for the power in the blood of Jesus. 
We thank you because the entrance of your word giveth light. We thank you for your grace which we enjoy day by day. We thank you for the manifestation of the Holy Spirit. We thank you for your power which is the absolute power and the greatest power. We thank you because you are Jehovah our strength. You have never failed, you will never fail. We give you all the glory, all the honor and all the adoration. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, lay your hands upon us tonight. Lord, visit us tonight. Lord, teach us directly from your feet tonight. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Today at the Revival Hour, we are looking at what I call the Ascended People. The Ascended People. In Proverbs 15, verse 24, the Bible says, The way of life is above to the wise, that he may depart from hell beneath. Psalm 24, verse 3 says, Who shall ascend into the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? In the book of John, chapter 20, verse 17, the Bible says, Jesus said unto her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended to my Father. But go to my brethren, and say unto them, I ascend unto my Father, and your Father, and to my God, and your God. John chapter 8, verse 23. And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath, I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. John chapter 3, verse 31. He that comment from above is above all. He that is of the earth is earthy, and speaketh of the earth. He that cometh from heaven is above all. And in Ephesians chapter 4, from verse 8, wherefore he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive, and gave gifts unto men. Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. There are two kinds of people on earth, beloved. Those from above, those from beneath. You can live down here in Adam, or live up here in Christ. Heaven is from above, earth is from beneath. You can live the ascended life, or descended life. Who are those who live the ascended life? We have read plenty of scriptures about the demarcation between the ascended and descended life, between the above life and the beneath life. Who shall ascend unto the hills of the Lord? Said, they have to ascend unto that hill. But who shall ascend? Who are those who live the ascended life? Number one, they are above the cares of this life. The cares of this life does not trouble them. What men run elter scatter for and get themselves involved in unnecessary rat race does not trouble them at all. They are above the cares of life. They understand the words of Jesus. They understand the words of Scripture. Jesus said, take no thought about tomorrow. The Scripture also says, be careful for nothing. But in everything by prayer and supplication, let the request be known unto God. Two. Ascended people are those who walk in the newness of life. They are new creatures. They are not refurbished creatures. They walk in the newness of life. Three, they are essentially spirits, not humans. You can see the words of Jesus that I'm from above, I'm not from beneath. You operate in the supernatural. You're a supernatural person. They are essentially spirits, not humans. Four, they are spirit beings trying to pick up with a human experience. So their first priority is to become spiritual. Their first priority is to operate in the supernatural. Five, they are eagle saints. So saints who soar above principalities, soar above powers, soar above the storms of life. They are eagle saints. I know eagle, which is the tallest branch of the tallest tree on the tallest mountain. They are eagle saints. No wonder the Bible says, They that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Six, 
They live the life of the high calling in Christ Jesus. They live the life of the high calling in Christ Jesus. 7. They are in union with the ascended one, who is the Lord Jesus Christ. They are in union with the ascended one, who is the Lord Jesus Christ. This is a very, very serious matter, and I want you to understand this very well. 8. They are members of divine secret council. Job chapter 15 verse 8. Has thou had the secret of God, and does thou restrain wisdom to thyself? Nah, they hear the secrets of God. They hear the secrets of God. Job 29, 4-6. As I was in the days of my youth, when the secret of God was upon my tabernacle, when the Almighty was yet with me, when my children were about me, and I washed myself with butter, and the rock poured me out rivers of all. They hear the secrets of God. The Bible says the secrets of God is with them that fear him. And that God does nothing except he reveals the secrets to his servants, the prophet. 10. They live in the inner sanctuary of God. They are members of the Holy of Holies. 11. They hear the voice of God distinctly. And like I used to say, the day you begin to hear the voice of God clearly, that day your progress as a Christian begins. They hear the voice of God distinctly. The ascended people. 12. They dwell in the secret place of the Most High, as written in Psalm 91, verse 1. They dwell in the secret place. God protects them as the apple of His heart. 13. They see things through the eyes of God, not through the fake eyes of men. They see things through the eyes of God. 14. They rub the salve of God upon their eyes. They rub the salve of God upon their eyes. So they can see where other men are not seen. 15. They look at their enemies through the eyes of God. They don't see their enemies the way the enemy is boasting. They see them through the eyes of God. They see them as giants that are already defeated. 16. They deal with their giants by knocking them down and cutting off their head. Caleb said, these people are bred for us. That's why the Bible said, thou hast gone up on her and thou hast led captivity captive. 17. The very thought of the ascended people brings strength to others. They are encouragers. They move people's destiny forward. It brings strength to others. 18. They exhibit wisdom from above. These are people who are known as ascended people. 19. They dwell in the Holy of Holies. They dwell in the Holy of Holies. You know there is an outer court Christian. There is the Holy Place Christian as only of only Christian. There is born again Christian, there is spirit filled Christian, there is mature Christian. There are external Christians, internal Christians, and eternal Christians. There are the 30 fold Christians, the 60 fold Christians, the 100 fold Christians. There is the out of Egypt Christian, through the wilderness Christian, and into the promised land Christian. 20. The ascended people exhibit gifts. From above. They exhibit gifts from above. Lastly, the ascended people identify their weaknesses and deal with them. They identify their weaknesses and deal with them. A weakness can sink every good dream and vision that you have. One weakness is enough to destroy a beautiful destiny. Your negligence of your weaknesses guarantees your destruction. God may even permit you to do experts. While your weaknesses are still in you, the enemy will always assign satanic agents to feed and strengthen the weaknesses. Beloved, every weakness has an agenda to cage life and sabotage the destiny of people. So our weaknesses, they are crouching lions that we should not allow to pounce on us in our closing years. Address your weaknesses if you plan to be one of the ascended people and become an enemy to it. Jesus said in John chapter 14, verse 30, Say, hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and act nothing in me. Listen carefully, beloved. You must identify your weaknesses and deal with them if you plan to be among the ascended people. But the Bible says, Who shall ascend unto the hill of the Lord? Who shall dwell in this holy place? In Psalm 24, from verse 3, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Or who shall stand in his holy place? He that hath clean hands, number one, a pure heart, number two, who had not lifted up his soul into vanity, number three, 
my son deceitfully, number four. He shall receive the blessings from the Lord and righteousness from the God of his salvation. This is the generation of them that seek him, that seek thy face, O Jacob. Lift up your eyes, O you guys, and be lifted up your everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. The ascended people must identify any area of their lives that is weak and deal with it. It is important that you understand this. Because your weaknesses will weaken your destiny. Your weaknesses will dilute your testimony. Your weaknesses will double cross your celebration. Your weaknesses have the capacity to move you from grace to grass. Your weaknesses can strengthen the enemy against you. Your weaknesses can erase your integrity. Your weaknesses can rubbish your mandate. Your weaknesses can make you a monument of disgrace. Your weaknesses will constitute a ladder of darkness. Your weaknesses will evaporate your decoration and energize your failure. Your weaknesses will stain your garment of glory. Your negligence of your weaknesses guarantees destruction. Ignoring your weaknesses assures tragedy. Every weakness has an agenda to cage your life and sabotage your journey. Your weaknesses will wreck every good dream you have and sabotage your lifting up. The enemy will always be quick to use your unaddressed weaknesses against you. Weaknesses has no respect for age. Your weaknesses can make you lose heaven. Your weaknesses can encourage close heavens and iron grand against you. So determine that the weaknesses will not keep you down. Determine that iniquities must be banished from your life. Determine that you not make mistakes, allowing your weaknesses to push you to the level of the descended people. Make up your mind that you will attach your life to him who is above all, not him who is beneath. Make up your mind that you no longer be at the low level of faith. You want to be the person from the holy of holies, not in the outer court, inner court, but the holy of holies. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. It is time to really pray seriously now, so that the Almighty will move you to the kind of level He wants to move you to. Say, I renounce every power and activity of the flesh which cannot please God. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every power and activity of the flesh which cannot please God. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every power and activity of the flesh which cannot please God. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every power and activity of the flesh which cannot please God. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every power and activity of the flesh which cannot please God. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, I shall not be addicted to spiritual milk. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not be addicted to spiritual milk. In the mighty name of Jesus, I shall not be addicted to spiritual milk. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be addicted to spiritual milk. In the name of Jesus, I shall not be addicted to spiritual milk. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, Holy Ghost, catapult my spiritual life to the highest height. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, catapult my spiritual life to the highest height. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, catapult my spiritual life to the highest height. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, catapult my spiritual life to the highest height. In the name of Jesus, Holy Ghost, catapult my spiritual life to the highest height. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So, O oh, heavens arise, overshadow me with the mantle of discernment. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, overshadow me with the mantle of discernment. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, overshadow me with the mantle of discernment. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, overshadow me with the mantle of discernment. In the name of Jesus, O oh, heavens arise, overshadow me with the mantle of discernment. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so every dark power assigned to infiltrate my spirit. I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Every dark power assigned to infiltrate my spirit. I bind you and cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Every dark power assigned to infiltrate my spirit. I bind you and cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Every dark power. Assigned to infiltrate my spirit, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, every dark power assigned to infiltrate my spirit, I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen. Say, so, O oh God, arise and open my eyes that I may behold great and wondrous things in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and open my eyes that I may behold great and wondrous things in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and open my eyes that I may behold great and wondrous things in the name of Jesus. O oh God, arise and open my eyes 